Hello, how's it going? How's it going? Welcome in, guys. How are we all doing today? Why is everyone attacking the booba? I don't. I think they're friendly pats. You know, uppies. Come on, then. Bring it in. Bring it in. Everyone gets uppies. Um, how are we all doing, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're all doing it fantastically well. It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday. Welcome. Wait, is it Wednesday? <laughs> I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> All right, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, dude, my my brain this week is not it. It's not it. Guys, one extra, dude. If you'd have if you'd have played along, you'd have got a stream tomorrow. You'd have you got you'd have got a bonus stream. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Yeah, sorry, that was the that's the correct one. Wait a sec. Yeah, if you'd have played along with that, I could have been uh, un unknown to it, you know? Wait, it's Tuesday. Ah, uh, you won't get me like that now. Look, now I'm bringing up my calendar. Wednesday the 10th. You could have you could have convinced Tuesday the 9th. I would have fallen for it. We would never betray you, my leash. Okay, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Don't add a work day to my week. <laughs> well, you could have just told me after the stream tomorrow, and I'd be like, ah, shit. I would betray. You'd betray me? The sort of thing a traitor would say. Lobby apparently self uh, self reported tra treachery there. How are we doing, guys? How are we doing, guys? Chuck a little alu in the chat if you didn't already, uh, or if I missed your name because it's gone off my screen. But I'm going to go from the top right now. I see in the chat. Wise Dorf, the Eris Sinclair, Cozy Rosie, Opus Man 99, a Devil Bird, Hori Hori, Safi, Bumble Beaver, Mutant for Hire, Double C Direwolf, Fenrir Matsu, Kami, DK, Shvatalek, Azuri. Mut uh, I think I said Mutant Fire, but hey, you get a little second one from me today. What's up, Uzil, Dragon, Fraser, Cafe, Spindle, Tung, Kniv. We have also with us Nuts Boo. We got Small Apple Pie. We have uh, Amatoria, Carbuncle, Sionidi. We have uh, Princess Cunty. It's the only time you get your name said like this and with the bits. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just princess. Okay. Uh, what's going on? Hoofy, Zero Winter, Malbar. We have um, Dr. Mox87. We've got in the chat, uh, let's have a look. Uh, Lobosaurus, Alexa Mari, made it before the guild today. Easy clap, easy clap. Um, we also have Force Spain, Dirty Sock. Uh, I saw a lot of 40 stream streaks coming in as well. Um, let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. Yeah, we got a lot of 40 stream streakers. Velufa with the 25 as well. Damn. We got Matt the Oracle. We have, uh, Telfindos in here. Nathaniel, man. What's going on? What's going on? Um, Germantis, Saki uh, Sakiara. Let's have a look here. Dude, remember this song? It was like a... I feel like this song was like a big meme at one point. Um, well, who else do we have in here? We have, uh, did I say Dragon Fraza? Silent Pain 2, what's going on? Reggie, Ouija, Mayhem, Frexor. How are we doing, guys? Welcome, welcome. Veilufa, Danvar2412. We have got uh, no cummies. Wait, what? What? what is going on in the chat here? Trekiratsia, hello, hello, hello. Butts, 40 stream streaker. That was a dab, but... I guess this thing is covering my other arm. Um, Quarren, how are we doing? I think I got everyone that's on my screen. If you came in a little bit early, then I might have missed you because I got pushed off. But how are we doing, guys? How are we doing? How are we doing? Um, this chat's filled with streakers. <laughs> yeah, wait. Hold on a sec. I meant like 40 stream streak enjoyers, you know? Big moist kiss for the lurkers. <sighs> 
fine. I'm, I'm in a good mood. I was kissing the look as you're you're good, nuts, boom. You're good. Okay. I'm getting good thumbnail picks. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Um, right, yeah, I hope everyone's having a good old day, though. I hope uh, everyone's having a good old Tuesday, innit? Okay. Um, yes, we will do the Dragoon quest. Uh, someone also said about the New Year's. Yeah, it did. So, if the New Year's thing doesn't take too long, maybe we should do the New Year's thing into the Dragoon quest, into the MSQ. Surely we get to Harris Velga today, right? I mean, we are when we when we're MSQ in, we are kind of freaking pumping. I'm not gonna lie, all right. Great kiss, my liege. Thank you, thank you. Um, yep, Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. Yeah, you know, I was making a joke about the the previous uh time earlier when I was joking about the Tuesday thing because I didn't didn't actually think it was Tuesday. I was just, like making it a little joke, so I was like doubling down on on that, you know. What's up, Fiox? How are we doing? Welcome back in. Small apple pie with the stream streak. Sheesh. I'm exhausted. Dark Souls gave me anxiety. I thought today. <laughs> I thought it was today's morning. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you joined on the dark. Which uh, which Dark Souls did you fire up, Dragon? I think maybe on Monday we might do Dark Souls stream because it's maintenance, right? I could move the stream to Thursday, but I kind of like having the Thursday off. Um, that's like, that's like the day that me and my girlfriend hang out. So, I think uh, I think we'll just do some variety on Monday instead. You know. This song kind of slaps. Nuts be with the forty streamer. Sheesh. Am I gonna have to sheesh everyone now? Hi Kyoto, how we doing? Did your team win? <clears throat> Did the Blues win? Did the Blues take it? I was rooting for them all day. Sheesh. Hi, Hydro. How's it going? How's it going? <clears throat> um, dude, my sheesh was on point with that with that sound clip there. Hmm. Yeah, it's like Dark Souls week or something. Return to Lordran or something week right now. Or two weeks, maybe. So it's actually like an event. It's actually like a good time to play the game. Uh, so if you guys are going to play together, great. But yeah, we, I might do it. I might start a fresh Dark Souls 1 run on Monday just because uh, servers will be down anyway over stream time, right? Um, could be fun. Could be fun because I actually know what I'm doing in Dark Souls 1. So like we can semi speed run the game. It should be hopefully fun. Like I have a build in mind that I'd like to try out. So we can do that. Um, but in the meantime, it's fun of fancy all day, baby. Uh, and Friday will be the cooking stream. We're going to make... Popoto's grat gratin, and we're gonna make. Uh, it's like pork. I think it's like pork schnitzel. I can't remember the actual name of the dish. And uh, then we'll try making some coffee biscuits as well, which is AKA chocolate chip cookies. So, I'll post. I forgot to post in the Discord. I can't remember who who was trying to get the ingredients to cook along. Was it Doctor Merks? Or was it Mean Cupcake? Or both of you guys? Um. But yeah, so there was a couple people, or at least at least one, that wanted to cook along with me. So I don't know if they heard the recipes because I talked about them like yesterday or the day before. I think you have the book. You want to as well. Okay, tell you what, I will. Uh, it's remastered, remastered. I will post screen like I'll take pictures of the pages of my book and I'll post them in Discord tonight. So you can see all the ingredients, so you can see the recipe. So if you don't have the book, you can cook along even, right? Um, so I'll just put, I'll, I'll take pictures on my phone of like the pages, which I, um, I'm going to use and I'll post them in discord and in like the announcement, um, in the news announcements tab. So you guys can like buy the groceries you need and stuff. And we'll do that Friday. All right. Use your best Julia Child's voice. I don't know how Julia Child sounds. Hi, Senra. How's it going? Michigan is American Football College playoff champions. Let's fucking go! 
Nice. Good shit, Kyoto. That was all you. That was all you. And a little bit me. Just like a little bit me, you know? Um, time to break out the giant dad. The giant dad. What's that? I think the build I'm going to go with, I'm going to play a dex build because I've never done a dex build. And I think I'm going to maybe go for the falchon or whatever the, that weapon's called. Falchon. Fal Fal you know that weapon? And then I might switch. I might switch to the great scythe later on. Because I heard the Great Scythe is sick and I've never had it. Also, I need to check if does Remastered include the DLCs because I've never done the Painted World and I've never done um like Night of Artorias and stuff like that. So some of that run could actually be blind as well. Pretty sure it does. Yeah, I think it might do as well. I've never done uh, the DLCs. I've heard Night of Artorias is like one of the one of the best bosses out of all the Souls games. Even in Dark Souls, he plays Reaper. <laughs> well, I've never, I've never even found the Great Scythe, but now I know where it is. It's somewhere in the cata catacombs, right? Uh, so I'll go find that. I might even go down there early to try and get it, but I think you'll pro I'll probably need to have some points and decks first. Um, what's the last boss in normal Dark Souls? Gwyn. Like that's the that's the boss that when you kill the game resets. Cause I I killed him like a couple of weeks back on my old save, and then the game just reset, and I'm like, ah shit, I hadn't farmed everything I needed to before like new game came in, so I missed out like Titanite slabs and stuff. Um, but I never found the big 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 Ember anyway in that save, so I I need to work out where that one is. I think it's in um. New Londo somewhere. All right. Um, let's pause this. And let's start this. Fashion. Dude, I, I still don't... I've played Dark Souls 1 four times, and I still don't understand how armor works. Like, how armor pieces work. All I know is, like, poise is good. And that's all I know. I don't know how, like, what to wear to tank stuff. Let's just get the screen on right here. <sighs> I'm currently playing through DS2 on my second stream. Dude, today we are getting to Harris Velga. But first, I need to do the New Year's event before it goes away. I also need to. Get my a couple of my dragoon job quests done, right? You know, your brother tricks. Uh, you just equip what looks cool. Yeah, I just try and stay medium or light roll. I'm actually fine with medium rolling personally, so I can equip a bit more. Um, yeah, I just stay like medium roll or light, and I don't know. I try and have good poise or something. I don't know. DS2. Honestly, the further I get into DS2, the more I enjoy. Uh, I'm enjoying the game. The only problem with DS2 right now is like I can't find a weapon that I like really like so far. I'm pl I'm playing with a bastard sword plus five at the moment, and it's pretty good, honestly. I I do enjoy my bastard sword, but now I have like all these other things like the twin blade, and I have like uh the great scythe. The thing is like some of the skill sets like the scythe's a bit wide. You can't really use it in like confined areas because it just clap. Claps every wall. Um, what if I consider Havel to be fashionable? Well, then you definitely need the ring to even be able to uh, possibly medium roll with that. Meow. Yeah, look at her. Look at her. Meow. All right, let's get in. Yeah, DS2. I mean, it's not bad. Honestly, I think probably compared to 3... And even one is probably like I heard one, three is like a masterpiece. One is also considered a masterpiece, but I think people think three is like just better. And uh, two is uh, like the uh, the middle child, basically the the just Russ of the bunch, right? And uh, but you know, people still were like, you know, what? it's okay. 
It's a pretty good game in general. Just not as good as the other Souls games, right? When's Aura? Uh, I feel like it hasn't been long enough that I've been Catgo to change. Otherwise, I would love to go Aura today. <laughs> I feel like it hasn't even been a week, right? Oh my god. Dude, how? Every time. I just saw him walking circles looking for me there. <laughs> It has. Has it been a week? I feel like it was last Friday, was it not? When's Benai? When the wheel lands on Bunny, that might be when Bunny happens. Stan. <laughs> this this guy looks like a Dark Souls character right here. Fresh out of Lord Run, dude. Okay, let's uh let's jump up have to use the wheel of fanta no no i don't <laughs> no i absolutely don't have to i might do sometimes but no i do not have to all right <laughs> i will use it when i would like to and sometimes i might just go aura because i want to and sometimes i might just fanta because i want to but most likely i won't most likely i'll just randomly do a spin sometime ah there's loads of you guys here today Look at this legion of cuties. Absolute legion of cuties. Yo, you just got long range doted truck. Big long range dote. From somewhere from over here. Yeah, look. I think it's Volps. I think Volps is long range dote sniping. Yeah, look at him go. Oosh. Oh my god, he's quick on it. He's quick with it. Good morning, cute chat. Hi, Stormcrow. How's it going? Wokage. Wokage. What time is it for you, Storm? Is it like is it like 10 a.m.? Or is it earlier than that even? Alka's still showing up. Honestly, Alka, I'm not going to say he's the most consistent um, Marauder Guild enjoyer. Because I actually think that some of you guys are just as consistent as Alka. Which is quite impressive, to be honest. There's, there's people, there's some people here who... I see just as regularly as I see Alka, which is kind of crazy because he's he's a terminally online sick boy, this guy, okay? He literally never logs out. 100% attendance. Cute bun. When's Benai? When will Russ go bunny? That's the question. And will it be bun boy or bun girl? That's also the question. Get a life, Alka. <laughs> Alka looks in the chat. <laughs> maybe someone, maybe maybe someone has a uh, Alka account. Yeah, maybe Alka. Maybe someone's a fan of him. They just made a uh, thingy. Both? I can't be both at once, though. Can I? Oh, no! Wait. Oh, you know what? It's okay. You get a dope too. Good afternoon, Eleanor. Ding. That is so cursed, Stormcrow. Alter Zolka. When will Russ go Femroth? I probably will go, uh... Hey, I keep getting told off for this. Rothgal. Sometime in the future, when I can. At some point. But we'll have to make it a big thing, you know? Gotta get the bun superiority out of my system for... Yeah. Yeah, are you gonna are you gonna be changing to uh female Hrothgar Kyoto? Oh yeah, true. I'm not allowed to I have to be an ultimate before I'm allowed to go Hroth. And even then even then I'm only allowed to be Hrothgar for one week max at a time. Until I beat every single ultimate. Like, this this is it, right? You're allowed one week uptime and then you have to change away again. Until you've beat every single ultimate, then you're allowed to uh then you're allowed to full time it. Only then. One week only, week. Yeah, because you'd have to earn Hrothgar Nef, okay? It's something that is uh, is earned, not given. All right, you have to be an ultimate before I can even spec into Hrothgar just for a week. I'm banned. It's literally banned off my spin the wheel of Fantasia list because I have not earned the right to be a Hrothgar yet, you know? I'm not doing top. I'm going to do Ucob, okay? I'm doing Ucob first. Earn it by buying it. No, it literally doesn't accept your credit card until uh, until you beat an ultimate. At least not on mine. Bad Wolf. 
What has been going on? What has been going on? Kyoto, what have you been doing? The opposite side of sweaty raiders. <laughs> there is another way you can play. Wait. Wait, what's the opposite side of sweaty raid? Wait. Are you talking about extreme raid progression? Is Kyoto bad wolf? Kyoto, what have you done? Hmm. When you compete in ultimate, you get a handwritten letter from Yoshi P giving you permission to Fanta to Rothgar. <laughs> oh shit, look at these lalas. Yo, Mini and Mika. Look at them. Oh, hell yeah. That deserves a cheer. <laughs> Neff, what do you think of my cat girl? She looks less angry. She doesn't look that angry, but in cutscenes, she looks pissed. And on the character screen as well. She looks spicy. She is like, she's like ready. Like, she's battle scarred and she's, uh, she's like mean looking, you know? She's sassy. Yeah, sassy and like a little bit of resting bitch face going on, you know? You see the G pose? Yeah, I think I did. Wait, hold on. Old. This one? <laughs> Giga side eye. She looks good though. She does look good. However, she just looks a bit angry. You know? Oh, this one's also cool. I'm absolutely ready to fuck some shit up right here. The bombastic side eye. Have I tried the thick eyebrows? Uh, are these ones not thick? I feel like, were there thick ones for Catgirl? I couldn't see any thick ones. Unless they ones that aren't in the pre-made character selection thing. I definitely think the eyebrows I've gone for make her look really pissed off. Oh, face paint? Oh, I think I did some like very discreet eyeshadowing with the face paint. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not sure how I feel about like giga thick eyebrows. Makes her look angrier. Yet, yeah, what? These ones are the ones like thick ones. I don't want her to look angry. Like, I'm quite annoyed at the face I gave her now. But I think the rest of her looks pretty good. You know? We went for the floofy tail. We changed from a uh, from thin from thin dyed tail to floof at the very, very end. Mad because small. I think she's actually like tall-ish. I think as far as uh cat girls go, she's she's semi-tall, you know. I'm slightly, slightly shorter than Feline. But my cat, wait, but I'm not standing up straight to be fair. Oh. Damn it. Maybe I am small. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, I'm taller than Aurora. Yo, Kyoto, thank you for the gift sub to Nefsi. Easy clap, easy clap. Plus one, baby. Plus one, baby. First sub of the day. Let's go. I think I'm six. I think I was 60. Yeah, I think I was 60. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, let me get this out of the way as well. All right, nice. Bad wolf. Kyoto bad wolf. Look, okay, like now I look pissed. I'm like Kyoto bad wolf. Pissed, mate. I'm taller than you. Henry, you're a lala fell. <laughs> There's no way. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. We need to check a plate right here. It was, it's been two days. I just dropped something. Help me find it. Still wholesome. Are you sure? Is this an innocent dropping of something? Just Ruth X6. Hi, thank you for the follow. Similar name. Yeah, actually kind of true. Welcome in. 
Wholesome indeed. Binoculars. Wholesome ID. <laughs> that plate's as wholesome as rust. What does that mean? <clears throat> what does that mean? I am extremely wholesome. What? Absolute, absolute shenanigans. Absolute shenanigans. They say a cult resembles its leader. How many times do I have to go over this? It's not a cult. And there is no leader, okay? It's a special club. And I am a chairman. Difference. Very important differences, okay? Like, we have a member's uniform. And, uh, like, dude... That's just a club. It's like scouts or brownies or whatever, you know? No, not a cult club. I never... <laughs> Jesus Christ. That thing is unhinged. That thing is unhinged. Look, I am wholesome with a with a W at the start, all right? Okay. Yo, Fido, how we doing? No, not a special club. It's just a uh, Final Fantasy enjoyer, enjoyer of entertainment club, you know? Don't have a club uniform? Well, you need to talk to two softies. She'll sort you out. Nice plate. S see, if you know when Fido comes in and says nice plate, it's not a wholesome plate. All right? You just know that. That's literally the test. Same with Canon. Same with Sinra. Okay? If these guys ever say nice plate, you know it's already not wholesome. Lala, when? Well, I'm really trying to go back to Aura. Like, but, but chat won't let me. You know, like, last time I was ready to, like, okay, I was Lala, then I got Aura, then I had to go Catboy, and then I was like, finally, I'm going to go back to Aura from Catboy, and then chat made me spin a wheel of Fantasia, because they, because they gifted a bunch of subs, god, I hate when they do that, you know, and then, uh, and then I was like, fine, I'll spin a wheel, but I'm putting Aura on the wheel, and then land on Cat Girl. Which is probably the thing I wanted to go least at that exact moment in time, you know? And here I am. And that is why she's pissed. Although she looks a bit like... She's like... Doing that, like, modeling look. Like... You know? Giving that side eye over the shoulder right there. When's Trange? Haven't had a Trange in a bit. Yeah. But hey, they happen when they happen, man. They happen when they happen. That makes them more special, surely. The man hates gift subs as more, almost as much as he hates trains. <laughs> she hangry, dude. She just ate. She just ate all them fishies, all them fishies. Grr, I hate trains. Yeah, I use that pose a lot, so it gets. Yeah, this one. I know this is the armpit sniffer pose for sure. Scam train. Yeah, like, no, 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 it's called a hype train, okay? It's very hype when they happen, very hype. And I get extremely angry when they happen, especially when they go level 8 or above. That is when I'm at my peak angriness that I can possibly be as a streamer. Otherwise, I would just have to end stream if it ever went above level 8, you know? Because I would just be too angry to go on. Yep. Full angry, yeah. Well, like, usually I used to just kind of, like, ignore them and then... There was like two days last last uh, month. In fact, I think the subpocalypse is coming in a couple days, guys. I think in a couple days, subpocalypse might happen, and uh, you guys will all have to convert your tier, your your gift subs into tier ones. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. We're gonna lose like t like 300, 260, uh, 256 gifteds. We're gonna lose tomorrow. So, ready your uh, ready your uh, transitions into. Uh, into continuing the gift subs into tier ones, you know. Then it'll go towards partner plus at least, which is great. So, I mean, it's not all bad news, you know. F. Oh, yeah, for the subs, for the subs. Transitioned. Hell yeah, mutant. Easy clap. Thank you for that. Um, I live near one. My condo shakes when they pass. What, a scam train? See? Even your house gets angry. Even your condo gets angry at the trains. It would be sick. We are on the last month of Partner Plus. We are on 152 out of 350 right now for this month. And it's not quite half, half, halfway. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's not quite halfway through the month. So we're on track. But we do need as many people as possible to uh, keep their tier threes, twos and ones. 
or change from primes and gifts to two ones, twos, and threes. And then it literally it's done for an entire year, right? So if we drop the ball now, I would be Thank very you sad. Three, Smile. <laughs> pow, pow, thank you very much, Sierra Sinclair. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for four months at tier three as well. So I really do appreciate that. Kyoto ruined mine. How? How did Kyoto ruin your partner plus? It's like my uncle Kaki Yo, Adir. With great power Thank you. Great big booty big booty bi uh, 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 uh. Adir Tan, thank you very much for the um, three months resub as well. At tier one, partner plus baby. That's plus one PP point. Yep, that's plus one, plus one PP point. I was going to say plus one inch, but I'm just going to say plus one PP point. All right, easy. He ruined me subbing to you. Oh, true. Kyoto. Nefsi was about to tier one for the part. Nef, you'll just have to cancel it in tier three instead. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules, okay? It's just, it is what it is. Russ's PP growing in front of us. Uh. Partner this streamer. <laughs> Why is there an account with that name? <laughs> Yo, dear Tad, thank you very much. T3 for T3? <laughs> Are we going to T3 each other? <laughs> Wait, that's like follow for follow. That's illegal. I don't know if it's even possible to cancel your thing. Maybe your tier three would start next month. However, I might I might have to come in and, and help you help you towards your partner plus when you're when you're doing the when you're doing the pushy push. Are you going for that at the moment, Neff? These PPs grow up so fast. <laughs> Look, we have new chatters in here, okay, guys? Enough of the PP talk, all right? It's Partner Plus. It's what it stands for, guys, as an acronym. Uh, Wonini, welcome back in. I'm good. How are you? How are you? My name's a bit difficult to pronounce. Um, oh, Annie? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was just calling you Wonini. -ni. Okay, Annie. Whoa, Annie. Whoa! All right. PP, yeah, partner plus. That's is that's what it stands for. But we need to make the PP bigger. Yeah, right now we are on uh, one fifty-two out of three fifty for this month. Oh yeah, I already said that, didn't I? Yeah. But last last month we had a huge cushion. So hopefully, as long as people uh, just keep their subs going and we don't have like giga drop off, we should be fine. We should be get it. We should get it. And then we're chilling for twelve months, guys. It's gonna be fucking sick. I don't have to talk about partner plus for like twelve months. But you know, you can keep your subs going if you want. You can keep your tier threes going if you want, because apparently every every single month we hit it, just extends the contract by a month, which is great. I have a proposition for you. If you were interested, check my plate. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh hey. <sighs> Princess Cunty. Okay. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Hey, stop it, chat. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Whoa! <laughs> it's their name. It's their name. I'm just reading the name. Thank you for the five gift subs to Hyperflat, Whoa Dude, uh, BB Jams, Ultraviolet, and Zakor. All right. I appreciate the uh, the five gifted. Guys, if you were in here right now and you got a gifted sub, um, if partner this streamer is in here, make sure you thank Adirtan. And uh, anyone of those other five, make sure you thank Princess. You only get it one time. Okay, um, make sure that you thank Princess for those. Uh, thank you, Princess. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, apologies, my liege. I realized it was out of line for me to refer to the esteemed Partner Plus program as PP Plus. It was child. <sighs> Keep it calm. You Keep need it calm. To shut the Keep it calm. I will. I will. I will keep it within me. I will keep it within me. No trains. No trains allowed. I was in a good mood. I am still in a good... Dr. Mux. That's how I feel right now. He's getting angry. Choo choo. <laughs> level three. Don't make me end stream at level nine. Don't do it. I just, I want, I've got a lot to do today, all right? We have the New Year's event to do. We have the Dragoon job quest to do. And we have the fucking MSQ to do. Here we need is. to get to Race Velga today, all right? 
Dragon Fresler, thank you for the five gift subs to Noir, Wolf, Benzamor, Wolfman, Meep, Dragonheart, Ooga Booga. Ooga Booba is Ooga Booba. And uh, Dr. Merks for the three gift subs to Always Frown, Mushroom, Huang, and Crystal the Wolf. Thank you for those guys. Make sure you thank the gifted subbers, the people that do in the gifties, if you get one, all right? Because um, um, I like, I try to thank them, but it's nice if you also thank them because they're like, they're like giving you a free ticket to the community train ride. I didn't mean it like that kind of train. Princess Cunty. Mwah. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for the 100 bits. Um, but yeah, make sure you thank them as well. Okay. Because uh, then it's like, two, they're making like two people's day. You know, they're helping me out. And they're giving you uh, no ads, plus emotes, plus community vibes. You know? Russ gives kisses for subs. For bits. For bits. Kisses for bits. Subs is uh I don't know. I mean may maybe I can maybe I can make an exception and do a kissy for kissy for a sub, I suppose. Yeah. I, I you can you know, I, may maybe I can be swayed. Are you expecting a kissy for that? That's a lot of damage. Jesus! Guys, I, did I, what did I just say about the train? I just said it's not leaving the station, okay? It's not leaving the station, right? All right, I'm with the Princess Cunty, thank you for the gift sub to Officially Wicked. Kyoto Grey Wolf, thank you for the gift sub. Uh, sorry, the five gift subs to Alistair ha Owl High as Fuck, uh, Athena Rain, the Junder the Junder Dome. Now that's a cool name. And Ness T44. Princess Cunty, thank you for the hundred bits. Mwah. Stop making me say that name, man. Okay. Kissies, what is this? Is a Gnosis Vex stream? This is a Just Rust stream where he's about to get pissed at the fucking train, okay? Let it die, all right? It's got 420 left, That that's a sign. I looked at it, it had 420 left. That means it's a sign not to not to let it leave the station, okay? I'm, I, I'm in a good mood. I'm still currently, it could be redeemed. I can get my vibe back, all right? Don't ruin it with a train, all right? Don't you dare, don't you dare. What name? Upside down face. Princess Kunti, thank you for the 100 bits. God damn it. Damn it. Try telling them to keep going, maybe. Reverse psychology. Ah. So if I tell them to keep going, they'll be like, whoa. I wouldn't do that. I want to do the opposite of what the stream is doing. So then they won't extend the train. Yeah. Keep the subs coming, guys. Keep the subs coming. I love hype trains. I love, I love hype trains. Urgh. Princess Conti, thank you for the gift sub to now 27. All right. The trains. <laughs> they keep going anyway. Oh, no, no, they won't. They won't. I, the, if I said keep the train, keep the train going, they actually wouldn't keep it going. That's the thing. That's what, that's like twi what Twitch chat is about. Like, it's, it's just, fully the streamer when it's just do whatever out. they say don't do. It's literally it. Wicked Sins, thank you for the 100 bits. Mwah. Okay. It's Bully the Streamer Wednesday. And I, unbelievably, I thought it was Tuesday, innit? You know? He fell for the reverse psychology. It's okay, though. I don't see it getting to level five, so we're good. <laughs> Princess Tuesday, innit? Tuesday, innit? It, it almost was. It almost was. Princess Cunty, thank you for the 100 bits. Matthew, MJB, thank you for the follow as well. Appreciate that. Hi, Matthew. How's it going? How's it going? What's up, Mimia? How are we doing? Uh, hey, old Russ, you need to say it with more conviction. Uh, all right, give me a line. Give me a line and I'll say it to my best ability, Mimia. Devil Bird, you suck and your call... And call my liege. How did I read that as you suck? Um, you know what? Never mind. Uh... You're a poopy head. Nefsi. You can't be get head. you can't be getting in on this, all right? You can't be doing this too. Train. <laughs> Devil Bird, Friends, thank you for the 100 bits. Mwah. Safi, thank you for the 300 bits. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay. Fenrir Matsu, thank you for the five gift subs to Oslid, Namusai, Zakade, Fox, 136 Jack. Nefsi, thank you for the gift sub to Seal Dancer. Hey, oi, oi, oi. Stop it. I'm a stud. Now I'm getting pissed. I don't take no shit from anyone. 
I, smoke I myself apparently with take shit from you, though, huh? I don't have to find a apparently. Kiss you didn't like give me my you. kiss for the last one? I did! I did not miss any kisses, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh my god. That is so many bits. That, the worst part is that so many kisses! That is so many kisses, dude. That's, is that 50 kisses? <sighs> well, I guess stream's cancelled. I guess content is cancelled today. Yeah, I guess content is cancelled. Uh, Fenrir, thank you for the five gifted. Telfindos, thank you for the five gift subs. Okay, to Megafan, Yulen Spiegel, uh, Luca Riuna, Ethion, and Chaos Zima. All right, if you guys are here, make sure you thank Telfindos. Um, also, just any, anyone who's... Now I have to give 10 more kisses as well. <laughs> guys, don't you dare level up that train. I'm ballsy. Shut up and take it. What the anyone. hell, Aditan? Yo, Kyoto, Grey Wolf, thank you for the 5,000 bit. Wait, you. hold on a sec. <laughs> Nefsi, thank you for the gifts up. Wait, wait, I'm missing stuff. Gu guys, uh -oh. I'm falling behind. Stop. Stinky. Stop. I'm falling behind. <laughs> Choo choo, have a cup of tea. <laughs> I just had one. That's why I'm all caffeinated. Okay. Uh, Nefsi, star. thank you for the gift sub to It's Zena. Kyoto, thank you for the 5,000 bits. I, I, you will listen to me. Once. You will stop. You will stop. Like all right. You. Kyoto, <laughs> thank you for the 5,000 bits. <sighs> How, would you like 50 small kisses or one or like five mega kisses? Or like a mixture of the two. You can you can work you can work out. Like you. <laughs> Adir Tan, thank you for the gift sub to shut up and take it. Chaos Zimmer, thank you for thanking uh, the gift subber as well. Kyoto, Giga Chad, Bad Wolf. Pookie, thank you for the gift sub to Gargamel. Uh, Gargamel? <laughs> thank you for that. Princess Kunti, thank you for the five gift subs. Okay, to uh, NJ3 Fate, Lucas King, Peak Ace. Uh, Inca and Aravin Kalen. All right, look. <clears throat> Fenrir, thank you for the 1,000 bits. All right. What would you guys prefer? Uh, Wen's Beans. <laughs> Pookie, fuck off. Who is Gargamel? Is this, a, is this a joke I'm missing? Streamer thinks he owns the place? It's my stream, my rules, okay? No trains. That's level six, and it's making me... Sorry, I just had to get out of my system. It is making me angry. I, I, some of it escapes a bit sometimes, you know. New emote time. Yeah, we hit the other day. We're back to 2,000 sub points. And we have... I think I have two emote slots to fill. I was thinking about maybe commissioning some of the artists that we have in our Discord to make me some emotes and stuff, which could be nice. Maybe some emotes of, like, my aura doing some cool shit, you know. He shat himself. No, 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 no. Okay, look. Kyoto, you get, you get 10... Quite big kisses, okay? You get the, the wet lips. How many was that? Dude, I lost count. <laughs> I lost count already, man. Uh, okay. I think that was four. <sighs> there you go. Big ones. Big ones. Fenrir. What did you want? You want, you want, uh, wait, 10. You want two big ones or 10 little ones? Nope, start over. That was, it was four, then six, I think. Okay. Fenrir. There you go. You just get 10. Oh, shit. You want it too big? All right, look. You have to gift 1k more bits then. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. I already gave out the kisses. <laughs> B kisses. Uh, Russ is uncultured. Gargamel is the evil person from the Smurfs. Oh. Tongue kisses, fake kiss. All right, look. Just because I fucked up and I didn't await the answer, Fenrir gets one free big one, okay? Mwah. There you go. Scam. Uh, uh, look, uh, he got he got 15... He got 1,500 bits worth of kiss. All right. He'll get the extra one. Look, I'll even give you the free one to keep, all right? You get two extra big ones. Mwah. Mwah. All right. Boom. I'm up to date. All the kisses. Did I miss anyone? I think I gave out all the kisses required here for free. Just because I, it was it was my bad. It was my mistake. So I have to uh, I have to you know it's all about customer satisfaction. You know I have to I have to you know sometimes you gotta take a loss. See some companies should learn from this. Sometimes if they fuck up they should just take the L. You know bigger bigger. Those were tiny. They were. Okay, you get 
This is an AOE one for all of chat, just for being so cute today, okay? I got some of the anger out with that one actually yeah yeah i think that was an angry kiss guys i think that might have actually been an angry kiss a little bit yeah aoe doting Oof. that one was like there was a little bit of like hatred within the kiss but it was like a big aoe dot yeah russ made me uh wait what uh Benrit? you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna move past that one that's okay that's okay i didn't feel any heart in that one God, you guys are hard to please, huh? And there was no heart in that kiss. He hates us. <laughs> God damn it. Did we okay, look. Here you go. Here's a happy kiss. Wait. <clears throat> that, that one was the fake smile. There you go. Hype train success. Thank God we didn't make it to level 8, so I didn't have to end stream there. Thank God. All right. Thank you so, so much. Such strong support. Such strong support. Level 6. 42 subs and 8k bits. Guys, that's too much. Choo choo. Choo choo, baby. Crying in the club. I'm not crying. You are. Thank God I didn't have to get any angrier than I was. Because I was I was getting close to exploding there. Yeah. Dude, I haven't done any content yet. You guys gifted 43 subs and like... Yeah, like, what's that? Like, 7,000 bits? What was it? 8,000 bits altogether? I'm standing here. Is it because I'm showing you my armpits? I'm close to exploding too. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, look. Just as a treat for you guys because you were so good to me just then, okay? All right. Silly. <laughs> Please close your armpits. Bruh, they are clean. These are fre the these are the freshest armpits in the West. All right. Look how glossy they are. All right, they're the freshest in the West. I am no longer close. Okay, is is that a good thing? Wait, wait what ruined it for? Just out of interest. I know that I should just gloss over this, but is that because of the armpits? Sniff foot. Yeah, guys. You can take a you can take a page out of Sinra's book here, okay? If you see my plate, okay. <clears throat> Feel free. These these ones run me. Free steppies for all. These ones run me, okay? Uh, by the way, I just like to put a disclaimer out there. I am not sus. I am wholesome with a W at the start, okay? Wholesome with a W. Meow. Yeah. Meow. Standing here, I realize you're just like me, trying to make history. Not a sex cult leader. It literally says it below the stream. Okay, look, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It literally has a disclaimer on my stream. Not a sex cult leader. Okay, literal disclaimer right there. Okay, seriously, guys, thank you for punching this back up to 2k. That's actually nuts. Dude, you've doubled my sub goal. I didn't even realize I still had this. <laughs> it was hit so long ago. There you go. Thank you, though. Easy clap. Ad starts in three minutes. Oh, shit. Uh, well, better be subbed, I guess. <laughs> 3K when? Dude, I just hit 2K, and that's the highest I've ever been at. I don't think I can push for 3K sub points. That would be that would be too much. That would be too much on this, this, this little old guy down here, you know? I'm a, I'm a 31-year-old... I'm a 31-year-old uh, middle-aged man, uh, maybe. I don't know. Does that make me middle-aged? I don't know. Sus Russ. Look, Wonini's been in here just a few times so far and already calling me Sus Russ. You know what? I have everyone... Ev Why does everyone call me Sussy Russy or like Sus Russ? Or like, especially after like one time. Yeah, or like just Sus, dude. Like, like after the, after the New Year's stream, like... I was DMing with Momo, and then she goes like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's sort a thing out." Hi, Sussy Russy, and I'm just like, "Dude, what do you mean, Sussy Russy? I haven't done anything. I've just been a wholesome streamer. It, like, it, it just like I've never done anything like weird. We we always talk about content and content alone in here, you know. 
So it is what it is. I have no clue. <laughs> 31, couple more years left. I know. Uh, right now, that's what the sub money is for. It's raising uh, money for funeral costs and things, you know? Like, I'm getting there, man. I'm getting there. 31 years old. I'm timing out soon. Look at all these steppy receivers right here. Look at all the steppy enjoyers. Volps is just, uh, are you trying to talk me out of it? Look at this wholesome streamer offering steppies. Ain't nothing wrong with steppies. Dinosaur. Pookie, how old are you? Aren't you like a couple years younger than me? Is that it? You're like 29, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you're about to you're about to get hit big time on your next birthday, you know. I am still older, but hey, it is what it is. You know what they say: the older, the wiser. The older, the wiser. Proportion still. Oh, shit. Proportion still stands. Oh, oh yeah, shit. I need to check your plate. Okay. You can sell skin for roughly ten dollars per square inch. So give? Uh, uh, okay, in what capacity? Like, do I have to shave my skin off? Or like, is it like a an eyeball thing? Or is it like a, yeah. Do I have to like, do I have to like peel my skin in $10, $10 per square, square inch? That's like that much, right? $10, that doesn't seem very worth it to be fair. For like skinning yourself. There are bugs under your skin. <laughs> This procedure, uh, you get to... There's a procedure you get to do if you do it. Wait, what kind of procedure? How does it work, truck? Use a potato peeler? That does not sound like a safe procedure. Poor average good. Yeah, how good does a sample have to be? I think it's $10 per inch, uh, per hour? Duality of mods, yeah. Truck's like, there's a procedure, I can tell you about it, it's great, and then... And then Bumble. Potato peeler? Yeah, what about a potato peeler? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Wonini. Go clean up your keyboard and screen, all right? Sorry, sorry. Not sus at all. I mean, this is not my plate, I'll have you know, okay? Look, this is very clearly Volp Silverfang's plate and not mine, all right? My imagination ran wild. Wait! Do I need to ask you to expand on that? What what kind of hold on a sec. I like like I feel like this is this could be a double edged sword. Do we do we ask Wonini to to expand on the imagination running wild or do we just leave it at that? You know? Like uh I I feel like it could it could get degenerate in here if we if we go if we push that any further, you know? Can I order an adventure plate inspection, Mr. Stream? Anything that could get improved? Nerdy bits? Of course you can. Which character is yours? What kind of peeler would you use? <laughs> Are you red, Kaida? Uh, what kind of peeler? Definitely one of those like heavy. Ju you know what? No, no, no. I'm pretty sure they would use a knife, right? There's like a there's like a special um thing. It's like a special knife for it. You know? Um, right, guys. I'll check some plates. And then we have a lot of content to do today. Like a lot, right? I'm chilling in Tonbury all the way on the Japanese server. Smelling the sussy rusty. Smelling? You can smell me from fucking J Japanese servers? Jesus. Is it these pits? Or is it my good perfume smell? Because I, I did put perfume on before, before the stream. Content, people leave. Like, 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 okay, okay, look. We'll do some in a little bit. In a little bit, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll leave you guys hanging for a little bit longer. That'll be me. All right, nerdy bits. Guys, you gotta... Ooh, look, you have two weapons. Wait, what the heck? Ninja alert. All right. N chat can also give feedback. Is that is that allowed? Lick, uh, sniff, uh. <laughs> we, we have many. Butter knife, kitchen knife, butcher knife. Bruh. Imagine trying to get skin with a butcher knife. Oh! Oh my goodness. Now my imagination's running wild. Okay. Let's have a look here. Don't look at me so closely. You might discover something. Ooh! I think this is a pretty good plate. I like the blue on gold look. It looks nice. 
It's, it makes my eyes happy. Very content. What are we talking about? We're talking about um, just adventure plates. Nothing sus. Uh, oh, oh wait. Yeah, Volps wanted to, to buy some skin for $10 per square inch. So if anyone's looking to sell, Nathaniel Man in chat is looking to buy. Okay. Uh, I am not some kind of dealer. I'm not like a middleman hooking, hooking this deal up. I have nothing to do with it. Okay. Check general. In Discord? Russ. What the fuck is this? Russ practicing for butthole extreme. What the fuck is this? Where did this come from? How? Why were you so quick? What's happened? <laughs> Motorboat EX. Oh my god. <sighs> I think most people in this chat come to Russ for the plate check. And then MSQ second. Honestly, that's probably a good way to have it though. That means that when I finish uh when I when I finally finish the MSQ, we can still do plate checks and people will show up, so it's great. You're welcome. Thank you, Ko Tommy. Just another thing. Just another amazing piece of content Ko Tommy has provided this stream. Honestly, Ko Tommy is a content king wizard. Alright? I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me your skin. No vaults. There are others offering, I'm sure. Okay, who can give me higher than $10 per square inch, though? We're, we're gonna make this a bidding war. If Volps is gonna get skin, we're gonna we're gonna drive him up. Okay. But yeah, seriously guys, join my Discord, okay? There's a lot of people in there. Uh sorry, uh Neff. What, what, what's the question marks for? 1001. Do I hear 1002? <laughs> uh, join my Discord. There's a lot of nice people in there. Always chatting, always doing stuff. We got we got a react suggestion channel, we, which I actually need to go through and uh, do some reacting. I need to, uh, we got a nice little screenshot channel where everyone posts pics all the time of cute stuff that they're doing in game and whatnot. Uh, yeah, join it. Join it right now. Um, but yeah, nerdy bits. I think your plate is pretty nice. I like the white hair. I myself am a white hair enjoyer. Uh, yeah, you look very, uh, very samurai out. Two katanas. You... You look like um, that bloke out of that thing, that anime thing, you know? Jora, Joda, uh, out of the One Piece thing. You know the guy with the green hair? Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, I like the blue on gold, honestly. I don't know who this is, don't tell me, because I'm probably not supposed to know. But looks cute, looks cute. I like the background. Zoro, yeah, what do they call him? Jonah? Yeah, Jonah right there. Good though, good though. Ooh, whoa, I like that sword though. Wait. Yeah, we look. We got the same. Uh, we got the same swimming costume on right now, Sinra. Hell yeah. Jonah from One Piece. <laughs> One Piece bloke with the green hair. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that sword is nice, sir. Nerdy bits. Good job. Good job. Uh, the white and black aesthetic. Random. He gives Gojo vibes. Who's Gojo? All right, is Gojo also in One Piece, guys? Classic cat girl activities. Honestly, see, this is this is why I'm looking forward to going back to Aura. So I don't want to be associated with this. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a cat girl. Like in my brain, you know. I, I don't do this kind of degenerate behavior. I'm. I'm not, just not a cat girl player. You know. Uh, yeah. You want me to go Aura, right, Aura? Your worth is not dependent on others. Be proud in yourself. Oh, nice. That's a nice little message. True, guys. True and real. Be proud of yourself. Cute. So cute. You think auras don't do this? Look, 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 look. I am in a fellowship. I am in one fellowship. Totally awesome aura. 
Just a group of to find and meet Aura. Buddy up, lock horns, and have a good time. Enthusiasts welcome. Okay. It's it's literally just like normal people playing normal auras, doing normal things, and appreciating them. Enthusiasts welcome. Okay? Like there's no weird sus activities or anything like that. Alright. Yo, Sun Throne, by the way, how are we doing? Have a good time. Yeah, like lock horns, have a good time. It's like going to uh like going for drinks, you know? Like, alright, guys, time to initiate. Let's lock horns. And let's have a good time. Like chatting, getting up to cool honest. stuff. They're just less honest about it. Look. Aura are not more sus than cat girls. There's no way. There's no way. Look, if I if I okay, look. Here's the true test. If I open a cat girl plate right now. That, that honestly it could be worse. Three steppies, jackpot. Honestly. That's not actually even that bad of a plate, you know? That's a, that's a good one. Are you sure about that? I'm a real member of the sex cult. It, it's not. Look, also, grats on the gift sub. If, uh, did you get the, wait, did you get the gift sub, uh, Fiox? Um, you did. Yeah, from Fenrir. Nice. Make sure you thank Fenrir for that one as well. Uh, he's in the chat. And uh, also, yeah, it's not a sex cult. Just need to di put that disclaimer out there. I need to keep, apparently, I need to keep saying that, okay? Does the active, does the active time say but? I think it might. <laughs> I think it does say but, yeah. <laughs> See? Exactly my point. Exactly my point. Cat girls are sus. All right, now let me take a random aura plate just to prove my point further, okay? Let's see. Uh, where's the first aura? Uh, all right, here we go. Are you running because you have a sus plate and you don't want me to look at it? Dude, I actually just got dipped. I got fucking dipped on by Silent there. Jesus. All right, where's the next? Dude, where are all the auras today? See, look, Lena. All right. Oh, shit. There's Niji up there. Okay, look. Lena would not have a sus plate. All right. Look, this. Look. This is a wholesome aura right here. Okay. Fully clothed. Just, just looking good and standing there, minding their own business, okay? I'm going to check Silence Plate when they come back. Endwalker this year. <sighs> what do we think, guys? <laughs> Not a single chance. Not a single chance. There's just no way. <laughs> There's just no way. Oh. Good joke. 10 out of 10. No cringe. <laughs> Paid actor. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Where do we doubt? Should we open a year long gamba, guys? A 2024 gamba. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> Fenris starts clapping. Great joke. Great joke. Just like when we have the dad jokes on the on the plates. Speaking of which, <clears throat> wait, hold up. See, and now let me look at a cat girl plate, all right? And let's see if this one's sus. Just to prove my point further, all right? I mean, that's not sus, I'd say. It's like you don't need an you don't need me to be wearing an eye tracker to know where my eyes go, though. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I wouldn't say it's like sussy though, you know? Where's the eye tracker? I haven't I haven't set it up yet. I haven't set it up yet. Neff, are you still here? On New Year? We were just talking about random shit. Okay. And I made a joke. That if people gifted a hundred subs. Because we're talking about this thing. It's called a Toby Eye Tracker. You might have heard of it or seen it. <laughs> As you can see, I now own one. Because I made a joke that we would do an eye tracking stream and it would be funny to see where, where people's eyes go when out clubbing in FF. And uh, I made a joke. Chat delivered instantly. I, I'm a man of my word and I couldn't take... Before I could take it back, now I own an eye tracker. So... 
We're going to do some cool content with it. We're going to check some plates with the eye tracker. We're going to go clubbing with the eye tracker. We'll probably do some progress rating with the eye tracker, which I actually think will be quite interesting. Um, but now I own one. And it was not cheap. I'll tell you that. <laughs> that was the fastest plate switch. Yeah. And it's thanks to Mari for pointing out that it was on sale. Which is the entire reason I was like, sure. Yeah, I'll buy it. And then it happened. Thanks for that one, Mari. No, I actually think that we can make some funny content though. Wholesome here. Yeah. Plate switch. Wait, did you just do another one? Yeah, see? Damn. Cat girl not being sus there now. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right. We just need to check Nud's plate. This won't be sus because Nud's is not sus anymore. See? That's pretty wholesome. Minus. Yeah, I think it was 223 or 233. I think it was 233 maybe. Minus 233. But I think it will, surely it will pay for itself in the in the laughs and giggles and content that we have, right? You know, as long as we get some gifted subs on the on the eye tracker stream, it will be a good investment, you know? It's growing. Who's Gaz? I don't know, actually. Who's Gaz? Okay. It's a cute bum boy right there. No time for plate. Thumbs up. Still no time for plate. Yeah, still no time for plate. I see. I see. How is Gaz? Yeah, everyone asks who is Gaz. No one asks how is Gaz. Yeah, exactly. Sus muck sus. <laughs> Russ muck sus, dude. Okay, look. Matilda, let's get some positivity in our day, guys. Hey, Alka, look at me. Oh, wait, he already is. Who's a good boy? He's not a dog. He's a Lala fell. He's not got that dog. <laughs> oh, who's a good boy? <laughs> wait, no, wait, 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 wait. You, you're wrong. He's looking at me. He's looking at me, not you. Yeah. Dehumanizing Lala fells. <laughs> pss, 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 pss. Alka's Alka. Pss, 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 pss. Yeah. This is a cute cat girl. See, this is a non degenerate cat girl right here. This is probably the least degenerate cat girl there is. Matilda Will O Wisp. It's a good looking one, too. Lovely hair. Lovely eyes. You know? Dressed like. Tastefully. Looking at me. No, 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 no. Look. These eyes. Alka has eyes for one person and one person only. And it's Russ just stalling. Okay. Oh, sorry, Alka. These pits are off limits. Okay. You know. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Today we're going to guess. We're going to guess. How out of 10 Bumble Strokes going to be? Is it going to be a 10 out of 10? Is it going to be like a strong 8? We're going to guess before we before we review it. 7? Also, you're not allowed to look before. I'm going to go with 7. I think I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to predict it's like a solid 9 out of 10. What's a herd of masturbating cows called? I, I was like, Jesus Christ, I saw masturbating in the first line. What's a herd of masturbating cows called? Beef stroking off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Beef stroking off. Jesus, can cows can cows actually do that? That's crazy. Yo, also known as Etchy, how we doing? Hello. Very wholesome. A very wholesome plate. Hmm. The joke, 10 out of 10. Exceeding expectations, Bumble. GG's. Got him. <laughs> Beef struck enough. Fuck me. Wouldn't it be bulls? Uh ooh. Well, I mean bulls are beef, right? So I guess still it's technically beef, but yeah. Balls strong enough. I, I'm not sure which which one works more. 
Uh, what do you think of the white stuff? Wait. No, no, no. Wait. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Wait. Kami's an Elizan now. Do you have the infinite Fantasia glitch, Kami? How many? Okay. Be honest. How many Fantasia in your bag right now? Or in your uh, Chocobo saddlebags? None? You have nine? I was thinking, like, do you stock up? Because it's a sale right now, right? Like, do you stock up in the sale and then you just, like, let them rip? I would love a Fantasia in my bag right now. Oh, no. Yeah, use them all. How many have you used in the last week? I, f I feel like you've used two in the last week, which is actually pretty good. That's not too bad. Never touch it. See, I have, uh... I have six in my bag right now. I think I might buy some more before the sale's over, though. Just because... Will it go away on the patch day? On uh, Monday? I, f I assume that's when the sale ends, right? Single-handedly ruining Dawn Trail's development. Oh, funding it. Yeah, yeah. Three. You want to use three in a day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like the Ellison, though. Looks good. Looks good. <clears throat> Aw, look at these guys. Possible lap provider, guys. We have an unsitting in lap here. And it's cushion too. We need a Lala over here. Rosie's yoinked. Rosie's yoinked it. Very nice. Fingers crossed for tomorrow's appointment. Hell yeah. I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well. They need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, in between as well. That one's cute. That's cute. There we go. We got two mummies for Rosie now. Benra's rocking the Luffy. Oh yeah, shit. Look at that. We got a little mini Luffy over here. Squash this bug, Daddy Russ. What what the hell? What the hell? Jeez. What, what the heck? That's a Lala plate, man. That's a Lala plate. Jesus. Well. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Well, that's just how it goes sometimes, I guess. Okay. Does anyone else have a plate they in, are in dire need of inspection? Any plate that's in dire need of inspection right here? Nope. Are you trying to block me? Oh, nice. You covered the armpits. It never happened. I'm wholesome. Look, the Moogles holding up your top right there. Thank God for Moogles, guys. Thank God for Moogles. Otherwise, Catastrophe just would just be in shambles right now. They're covering the armpits and holding up your top just to make sure it doesn't fall down, you know? Good job. Hats off. Do you inspect dirty plates? Um, I sometimes, I mean, if they catch me off guard, they, they just catch me, you know, like sometimes they're just dirty and I don't realize it. I have some in my sink. <laughs> no, 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 Not those kind of plates. Not those kind of plates. Is this going to be, is this going to be wholesome, Makina? Is this going to be wholesome? Spinny skirt, go burr. Oh, dude. Dancing. Wait, hold up. That's too revealing. That's too revealing. This is a PG-13 stream right here. That's too revealing. <laughs> it's a nice, it's a nicer, uh, it's like a good amount. It's a good amount. It's taste, I'd say that's tasteful, you know. And literally always, always wholesome. Good plate. Very nice plate. Okay, wait. Where where did Silent go, though? I actually need to inspect Silent, because Silent just pegged it away from me. I mean, ran away. Ran away. Legged it. Legged it away. Sorry, sorry. Dude, I <laughs> I can't believe the whole pegging conversation. Like, not pegging conversation. Like, peg, peg it when I was explaining it. Silent pegged it. Like, look, I, I'm literally... 
<laughs> it's the video I'm currently editing when we talk. You know, you know, we watched back the Dragoon retrospective, and I was we were talking about Ding Dong Ditch or like Knock Knock Ginger, I called it, because I'm editing this at the moment. And I was talking about like, oh yeah, you know, when like a warrior tank like pegs it over to the other side of the room, and then like I just thought that was normal terminology, like, like oh peg it, mate, you know. But you guys, you guys heard the word peg, and you all were like. Like ears up, like whoa! He said peg. Oh my god! Everyone lose their mind. Okay, like I, I just said it. It's like a, it's like a very normal thing, you know. No, it's not about pegging. It's like when, when you need to run away, you'd be like, oh, peg it. It just means run away quickly, you know. Yeah, neuron activation. If, if we could have like hooked your brains up to a scanner or something. Canon La Colossa. Who's getting pegged? Look, no one is getting pegged, all right? Nothing's happening. Oh, my God. Apparently, I am. I'm sorry. I take it back. Jesus. Want to cry. Remember her? Ariange does. Oh, no. Moon Breeder. Oh, man. Russ runs away from pegging. Russ likes a quick pegging. Don't write that down. Don't no don't note that Quarin. You can't lobby, you can't be right no 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 no. Ah. Who's that again? <laughs> Moon breeder, you know. You know, uh, everyone's favorite. Yo, look at these guys. Look at that armor. That looks cool as hell. There's no paradise for you to escape to. Dude, this is some fucking Dark Souls plate right here. This looks sick. They call him Peggy. Yeah, imagine. Is any guy, any of you guys IRL name Peggy? Because, uh, like, if you ever say your name to people, do they go, <gasps> Peg? Because that's, it's just not a normal thing, guys, to be like, oh, the, 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 the letters P-E-G in a row. Whoa, what's going on? You know, my grandma's name is Peggy. Yeah, I bet you don't go around to her house and be like, Peggy? Peg it? <laughs> Pegging? <laughs> I know a peg. I know a peg when I see one. <laughs> it is a nice granny name, to be fair. Peggy. Peggy 16. <laughs> Don't be sad because sad backwards is das. And that's not good. That's not good. The European racing thing? Yeah. Yeah, Peggy. Exactly. Peggy 16. You know, they say it on the uh, game adverts and things. No, it's not a pegging rating. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, I had to look up like real hard at uh, Dragon Fresa there. Like Dragon Fresa towers over me. Elizan, the Elizan lady. Pegging is a normal thing, huh? I, I mean, yeah, it is. Wh why would it not be? It's pretty normal. Like it, it really just depends what you're into, you know. I ain't got no problem with it, guys. If you're into it, great. If you're not, great. It's fine. No kink shaming here. What peg rating would you give Onia? I mean... <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, like, I didn't actually get pegged, guys. I didn't actually get pegged by Onia, okay? Alright, I just saw a very tall lady standing behind me. You're making a lot of noise over here, Tongue. God, why is that such a cute voice? Ah! Again! We got they then again. Genders, guys, our genders. Our genders are in shambles. They've been stolen. F. My gender. I'm stealing your gender. That was all that all that commotion. Making all those noises. That was just so I would check the plate and you could steal everyone. Are you just having a sniff? Okay then. Okay then. What does tongue do with all the genders? Uh, occasionally they are they are they are used they are used to um, just decide on the gender for today, you know. Making my own plate line more relevant. Okay, let me find you. Let me find you. All right, and then guys, we actually have to do the content. All right. Getting to the bottom of this cult before it gets my bot. 
It would never. Also, it's not a cult. Okay. It's it's not a cult, firstly. Secondly, it would never get your bottom. Alright? Okay. Can't see. Oh, sorry. I forgot about that thing over there. Yeah, it's a club. It's a club, okay? It's a bit of a cult. No, 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 no. It's okay, Druk. Sorry, I'm used to having it in the top right. I just forgot that track of things over there. It's the last day for the uh, for the Call of Dragons thing, by the way. So if you if you can and want to, if you're close to a level 11 base, if you want to push it up before tonight, like midnight or 2 a.m. my time or something, that's when it ends. So um, feel free to smash 11 before then if you're close. If not, thank you for participating. Um, there's definitely time to go to five if you haven't tried at all. But yeah, the link will be in the chat. Um, exclamation mark COD for that. Um, just let me know if you need it. Um, content, Peepo, leave. Yeah, we need, well, we need to, it'll be like light content to start with. So we'll be doing some, uh, we'll be doing the New Year's event. I need to get that pet and uh, just see what, what the kind of uh, vibe is for the New Year's event thing. Yeah, the links for PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tickwick, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. I'm prepared to get some hate for this. Peggington Bear. <laughs> oh dear. Guys. <laughs> you guys, you guys definitely fixate on the pegging a little too much. I said peg it. Like, like run away, you know? I didn't say anything sus. As I said uh, multiple times to stream, I am extremely wholesome. Okay. Oh my god. Dude, it never ends. It literally never ends. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Just as I was saying it as well. Yeah. So so the, the, the content plan, guys, is New Year's event, Dragoon Quests, MSQ. That's the that's the plan. Let's go. <laughs> Some hole. No, wholesome. Wholesome. With a W, okay? Alright? Um, he thinks he's doing content today. I am. No, you can't say Frodo Peggins. Stop. Hi, <laughs> Stormcrow. Haven't seen this cute cat boy in a bit. Oh, we're getting wiggles. I'm going to be a Pictomancing. Peepees left and... Is it me, guys? Is it me or is it you? Is it me or is it you? Because I swear we were never this sus. And I was not this sus, guys. It's me? What did I do? All right. Tell me. Write, write a nice essay about what I did to make you guys like this. It's Final Fantasy. I think Final Fantasy is frying my brain. So maybe... the fi Okay, I think it's collectively the Final Fantasy culture has fried my brain to make me think it's acceptable. And then I say some silly stuff. And then you're like, oh, well, he said some silly stuff. So now we can play into it. So I think it's, it's you guys indirectly and then me indirectly to you to to you guys directly it's like a it's like a mirror situation you know chat reflects the streamer chat reflects the streamer yeah yeah you corrupted chat see remember remember when i started and i was just like guys we do the content we play the game we do the stuff we we, we make some we have some memes and now it's all pictomancing pp look that means partner plus though to be fair that doesn't mean partner plus it's not even like you know, this is the wrong kind of PP, pee -pee, right? You know, successfully groomed Russ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, you guys definitely um, depicted some culture upon me, you know. I'm still wholesome. That is true, Murray. That is true. In fact, I think Murray got more wholesome as time went on. At the beginning, Murray was uh, first to sit under anyone squatting, you know, all that stuff. Murray just got more wholesome over time. What? Why can't you guys be like Mari? Getting more and more wholesome. You're going in the opposite side of the spectrum. You started the PP stuff. Well, it's just a good way to abbreviate Partner Plus, right? PP, you know? Saved you from the pits of despair that is wow. Oh, yeah. I, I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that at all. Okay, guys. It's about that time. Oh. We make a good, we make a good team, Panic. People just need to fish more. Yeah, that will honestly that will set you straight. That'll set you straight. 
You ruined me turning Miko. <laughs> MSQ time. First, it's the New Year's event time, I think. Because on Friday, we're going to do a cooking stream with the Final Fantasy cookbook. And that means... Uh, yeah, that means... That uh, we won't really get too much time to play the game. I mean, we could start. Maybe I do the New Year's thing on Friday. And then we go into the cooking stream. So it's like a little like the New Year's event. And then we start the cooking stream. Maybe, maybe that's the plan. I think that that could be a good plan, actually. Um, so it gets, gives some time to get in, get in here. It gives people some time to get in here before the cooking stream, perhaps. So maybe we do, maybe we do the New Year's thing on Friday, and then we'll, yeah, we'll just do Dragoon Quest into MSQ Pump today. I think that that sounds like a better plan in my head. Uh, have you had a fashion contest yet? Yeah, I've done two actually. I did one on EU and one on NA, but they were a while ago. I'll probably be doing some quite soonish, actually. Probably in like a month's time, we'll be doing some more glam contests. I'd imagine we'll do some, uh, we'll do some in the subathon and stuff. Hopefully, the subathon goes quite well, and um, we get a bunch of sub. I'm going to set a ton of sub goals, sub goals, donor goals, and stuff. And um, as that happens, we'll we'll kind of do them as we go. So I'm going to plan out. You know, I don't know. I don't know what my plan is for the subathon yet. If it's going to be like a, you know, like a ten-day cap or a two-week cap or something like that. Um. But yeah, it's not going to be one of those ones which is like indefinite because I do like having a day off now and then. You know. Please, NA. Yeah, I'll probably do. I'll probably do uh, both. Right. If if we if we get if we hit a goal or something, it'll probably be both. Um. It was nice though. It was really fun doing the glam contest. <clears throat> right. Guys, look at these lalas. I'm inexperienced. Please use it sparingly. Use what? Whoa, this is this is trippy. This is hella trippy over here. What is a? Uh... <laughs> Is this a is this a very concerning Lala play right here? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yo, Stormcrow, what are you doing with what are you doing to them? Stop! Jesus Christ. How dare you out suss me? This one right here, Officer Mika I. <laughs> All right. Let's see minis. Eepy girl in a wakey world. See? So cute! Why couldn't we all be wholesome and cute like mini itty bitty, huh? Why are we all squash this bug? Use it sparingly, you know? Stormcrow trying to... Yeah, I know, man. I know. Very sus, that one. Mika, hella sus Lala right there. Mm. So cute! Um, right, guys. Uh, how is getting our rods out gonna... <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna quickly, uh, we're gonna quickly go, uh, see, see my boy. Bing bong! Hello! We're gonna, we're gonna quickly, uh, go and see, uh, my boy over here. In Koathas. Uh, what's his name even? I can't remember his name. It's been so long since I've talked to the bloke. My dragoon trainer. You know? What's funny in being wholesome? Yeah, true. That is a good point, Kami. That is a good point. That's a sick outfit. It is indeed. It's a nice one, Kryphos. Uh, Right. Wait, hold on. Look. Cat girl, plate check. Are you guys ready? It's gonna be hella sus, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Wow. The first ever wholesome carbuncle plate. Um, in a release in me. No, never mind. Never mind. In a release in me. Ass size, please. My hands are full. Never mind. I take it back. That is still probably one of the most wholesome there has been. Yeah. Totally wholesome. So cute. Cute and funny. So cute. Mine was kind of not sus. It was sus. What do you mean? 
You winked at me and, and said and said the P word, you know. Uh, when you finally get to Endwalker Main City, the music is elite. I'm ready. I'm ready. Is that? Yeah, I I need to find the new cities actually. But so far, I've got I've got two of my favorite songs in the game. Okay, Sid's theme, Dreams Aloft, and uh, the new zone that I just got to. The new one I just got to in uh, Dravania. Wait, where is it? The Churning Mists. This one had banger music, not gonna lie. I'm absolutely ready to fucking quest in this zone today. It's gonna be nuts. Skipped twice. Guide us, oh mighty fury. I, I don't know how the lyrics go, like how the song goes. Peach Milk Tea, thank you for the follow. I recognize that name from... Uh, some other chat, I think. Peach milk tea. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you. You skipped me too. I can't possibly open an owly wood plate right now. Can I? Also, oh. See? This is prime cat girl behavior. Why is Russ Little enjoying it so much? You skipped me. Look, I didn't. I said I'm not opening every plate today. New Year, same devious little cutie. Russ Little. What, what Chad? Don't look at me anymore. What's happening to us? What's with our relationship? We're not in a relationship, okay? Okay, I'm not in a relationship with anyone in chat. All right, look, you guys, you guys can be in a relation, this kind of relationship together. It's okay, all right? You guys do, you guys do you. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news there, okay? What? Yeah, uh, sorry about that. Uh, did you get, did you get the wrong idea? Sorry, sorry. Okay. Let's go do the dragon, the dragon stuff, the dragoon stuff. Yeah, it is. See, that's what you get, Canon Lacolos. You get a spank from that dog thing on the screen there. Fenrir, thank you for the gift sub to Canon Lacolosa. Okay. Ponto is my parasocial girlfriend. I was perceiving you as my parasocial boyfriend. <sighs> I, uh, have you told Ponto about that? Hi, Hina. Hello. How dare you, Fenrir? Cannon wanted to be unsubbed. All right, fine. I'll check the plate. Congrats. It's a wholesome one. Ah! Nice. Guys, we passed the test. We did it. We goddamn diddly did it, okay? Oh, look. We have another Lala in the gang. Porta de Kumana was an inside job. What a banger trial that one is. What a banger trial that one is. It was an inside job. Wait, what does that mean? Does that mean it was like a betrayer with from within? What does an inside job even mean? Like uh, someone that was within it was, was responsible for the destruction? Porter, my beloved. Yeah, I really like Porter. <coughs> yeah, it's like when you have a double agent, right? Just hit me with a bell. Oh, it's a pan. Okay, honestly, this Lala is kind of cute, though. That's a golden pan right there. <clears throat> you already got kisses. Look at these cute outfits. Oh, uh, it's still a sus plate though. All right, we'll just look at the outfits. I know, right? Yeah. Cute Lala right here. The pan weapon draw uh, animation is the best. Yeah, the pan weapon was cool. Hey, look. Hedgehog ears. Dude, there's so many cute glams here. You look so angry. What are we doing? Did your nose just flash? Look at the little reindeer. Did the nose just flash for a sec? Or did I see things? Oh, there we go. Cute. I think Cozy Rosie had a similar glam to this one before. 
Look at all of these. Damn, every plate in use. Uh, this is the one. I recognize this one. I recognize this one. Okay. Guys. Is it time? Is it time? God, I am so good. <laughs> I can't believe how quick you whip this up. Honestly, at least I'm passionate, you know? At least I'm doing that with passion. At least I'm passionate. It's, it's all within... What was the clip from? I think I was giving a kiss. I think I was giving chat a kiss and it got turned into... Butthole Extreme, you know? Like, I was just trying to do something wholesome and it got turned against me in the biggest way, you know? It's just how it goes. Okay. Uh Someone the sprout just came in. Guys, this sprout just entered. <laughs> Yotsuyo steps on you. This isn't one of you guys even, I think. Uh, whoa! Look up! That's an ult. That's no sprout. That's a fake sprout. But they're not getting in the circle. They're just doing quests. Look. They're just doing quests. It's not one of you guys, I think. Fake sprout. Whoa! <laughs> look up! <laughs> Yay! More Steffies! Yeah, okay. It may, may be a fake sprout. It may be a fake sprout. All right, guys, I need to get my glam on for the day. You know what? I'm feeling like it's a it's a day that we're going to meet Race of Elga. So I think it's acceptable that we get dressed up, you know? I think it's an acceptable day to get to get glammed up the wazoo, you know? Name is a meta joke. Yeah. Steps on you. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. Wait. Were you not a, a Highlander yesterday? Oh, wait, no, you were a cat girl, but you had different hair, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just changed hair. Aha! Uh -huh. Honestly, it's surprising how, how different you look just from the hair. Push forward, even as your strength wanes. There you go. See? Guys, it's possible to be a wholesome cat girl. It's possible. Finally, we have living proof from Amatoria here. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to uh, my dragoon trainer guy. I'll probably see some of you guys around the world somewhere. Okay. Thank you for coming to the guild as always. Let me hit you guys with a bow. Peach is doing the drive-by on me. Why is it called a building when it's already been built? Oh, no. Oh, no. Now that's going to be on my mind all day. Why would they do this? I am wholesome. You know what, Sinra? Sometimes you can be. It's rarity, though. I am your yo Sue steps on you. No, you're not. You're Owlywood. Wait, hold on. Are you? Maybe, maybe you're not. Maybe I've got it all wrong. Okay, it's time, though. We're going to Kothas. We're going to Kothas. It's actually time today. We're getting some Dragoon abilities. It's going to be fantastic. Oh yes, but I don't have space on my uh, on my action bars for them really. And then, and then we're pumping up the uh, the MSQ straight after, straight after, literally.
Time to get the fourth hot bar. Ooh, maybe, yeah, actually. Okay, how do I do that? Hood layout. Ah. Fucking wokage. Goddamn fates, man. Content, no thanks. Come on. I can still I can still chat you guys, chat to you guys and stuff while we do the content, you know? We can still do some cool stuff. I love fates. Honestly, those fates that we did yesterday were actually kind of fun, you know? Damn, I love Terra. Yeah, that is a nice mount. That is a nice team. HUD judging. Okay, look. Let me see. So, what do we do? We go hotbars, current UI. All right, hotbar four. How do we turn it on? Oh, there it is. Maybe I'm going to put it like... Can I put it vertical? Oh, I can. Ooh, okay. Three by four. Oh, that's pretty nice. So I can put stuff down there now. Like, like, wait, what? Uh, I need to turn it on, I guess. So now it should be on. Okay, nice. So I can, uh, I can like chuck this compass and stuff down there. And these emotes. Oh, beautiful. Why have I not had this the whole time? I should put one like above my chat and down the side as well for like emotes. Learning so fast. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. I should put one for like my mouse stuff, actually. Like my potions and things. That could be cool. All right, I'll brick. Hotbar's in the wrong order. One, two, three, four. How is that the wrong order? One, two, three. One at the top. That's how it works, man. Okay, I don't make the rules. Yeah, you guys are... Actually, yeah, I feel like we've had this conversation before. You guys are weird. Like, you put one at the bottom, right? That, that's, that is strange, dude. Do you read a book backwards as well? Do you read a book backwards? It's Japan. Oh, wait. So wait, just... Okay, but that doesn't mean that you have to, right? Okay, if it's in Japanese, you know, reading it in Japanese, yes. But, but, but are you though? But are you actually? Like, I am English and I don't know Japanese or read Japanese books. So for me, I put it in the way that I would read, you know? From, from top to bottom. Wow does the same. Not me. Not me. I mean, Wow does put your main bar at the bottom, yes, and then you put your other abilities at top, but I always like reshuffle them so my top ability so my top main bar is at top. That's just what I do. Maybe it's maybe I'm weird. Maybe I'm the weird one, yeah. You do four by three arrays left to right. So wait. You have them in like these, uh, four by three, four by three, four by three. Interesting. Wonder why. Uh, oh yeah, but yeah, then you should do it right to left. Yeah. <laughs> I use crossbars because I'm on a controller. Yeah, dude, the controller layout looks like kind of kind of crazy with the whole like you have like two little spinners, don't you? And then you is it is that for holding triggers and then it like brings your spinner to the front and then you like let go of the controller and it puts it to the back and stuff. Cause it looks kind of, it looks kind of, kind of crazy when when I see people with controller stuff. Yeah, it looks cool though. It does look cool. Done my report, so I'm done working for the day. Ooh, very nice. That's actually, I mean, wait, hold on a sec. Aren't you in NA? So it's like 11 a.m. and you finish work for today. That's actually pretty nuts. That is a nice work day right there. Done by 11. Um, yeah, sure, Cage. I, I see, like, I watch Ponto quite a lot, and he has controller set up, so whenever he's raiding, I see, like, all of his bars are, like, flipping around all the time and stuff, and I'm just like, dude, that looks so confusing. But I suppose it's just if you're holding a trigger, right? Like, that's, like, a modifier, essentially. I should, I should probably try it at some point, because I really like cozy, comfy controller gaming, but I feel like, uh, like, my fingers work better on a keyboard for MMO stuff. Yeah, muscle memory. Yeah. 
Well, it's like playing any game on controller, right? You just kind of... It, it feels very natural. Uh, do it, Wawanini. Do it. Make a, make an EU... Uh, I mean, you don't have to make a special account. You just need to make a character on uh, on a on data center. You don't, you can just switch, change data center on the character select screen. Um, yeah, and then you can just put an EU character on an EU data center, and then you you'll have one on like my server or any of the EU ones. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to make a fresh whole account. You just have it on your main one. All right, sky's the limit. Sir Albrecht is mustering reinforcements for a battle. Okay, this is the first Heaven Sword Dragoon quest. Russ, I'm pleased to see that you're in control of the dragon within. Nonetheless, I must remind you to remain vigilant at all times. It takes but a moment of weakness for the eye itself to make you its thrall. But... But Astinian has the eye. I don't have... Wait. Do I have half the eye? I thought I thought he had the eye, but I'm just... And it, like I'm also just the Azure Dragoon as well. But then he was like, "You're not the Azure Dragoon. I'm the Azure Dragoon. So you're the Warrior of Light, but you just are a good Dragoon." I'm so confused now. I can have a little bit of an eye. Yeah, because I feel like I feel like it doesn't make sense the Dragon Quest line going into Heaven's Ward. I need to go back through it, but I feel like. They said, oh shit, there's two Azure Dragoons. That's crazy. And then uh, they were like, all right, well, we'll give Astinian the eye and you'll just have the power anyway. And then Astinian's like holding the eye, you know, like in the quests that we've been doing, he's like holding the eye. He's got it under his un armor. He feels when Nidhogg, fe what Nidhogg feels and stuff. But I don't feel any of that. I just have my like crack headaches when I, when I get a crystal of light, you know, or when I reignite a crystal of light. So I feel like for the dragoon quest line, it doesn't like fully add up with the heaven sword stuff so far. This it's throwing me off a little bit. Forgive me, this abrupt change in subject, but we have urgent need of your lance. Some days ago, a horde of dragons began re wreaking up bloody havoc within Ishgardian territory. An elite regiment of dragoons has been dispatched to deal with this threat. Alas, though they fight bravely, they are sorely outnumbered and are struggling to gain the upper hand. Indeed. But moments before you arrived, we received a request from reinforcements from a unit engaged in battle north and west of Whitebrim. A fellow dragoon and I will go to their aid, and we shall be grateful for your presence. Pray go on ahead. We shall follow in on. Yeah, and go first. I'll go first then, shall I? All right. Yeah, we're in Koathas at the moment. We're doing some dragoon job stuff before we get back to the Heaven Sword MSQ, because I'm getting to the point where uh, I'm missing some abilities now. And, um, yeah, I I've got a... Uh, I'm missing some abilities and I've got the uh, dungeons, trials and stuff to do where I should have them, right? Let's go. Golilla. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, the only thing I remember being a bit jarring was the difference in perception you have as Yeah, Yeah, that, that's the thing, yeah. So like, Astinian, if, if I hadn't done the dragon quests, I would just be like, oh, this guy's kind of a... Like he's being a bit of an asshole, but he's kind of a badass. But because it because I have some history with him, it's just a bit jarring because um, I feel like his agenda like changed randomly and no one said anything about it. I feel like there's a bit of an elephant elephant in the room there, you know? Yeah. Do I get an AOE spender in one of these? Because that would be huge. Uh, I have seen some, yeah, jib, jibs are. I've seen, uh, I've seen the stuff I'm, like, allowed to see, I suppose. Um, I saw some of the graphics update. I saw some of the, uh, like, Pictomancer stuff. But I wasn't allowed to watch the, uh, Thorn Trail trailer or anything like that. We watched the final Dragoon cutscene. You know what? I, I, I might do, actually. Uh, let's see. ARR, Dragoon, cutscenes. Oh, that's just all of them. Um, I mean, I could go to my VOD channel, actually, and see me doing the quest, right? Hold on a second. I'd have to find it, though. It might be a bit of a mish. Maybe I'll do that off stream. 
Uh, it will be. I think it will be in this stream actually. Just go to an inn. Oh, that could work. But I think it's just right here. Into the dragon's maw, right? This is it. This is the duty. So, like, me and Estinian have a showdown. He's he's pissed that I fancy myself as the Azure Dragoon. The eye revealed to me a truth. I loved you. I understand that you keep the Archbishop. Pay yourself, old man, for us to lay, lay waste to all you hold dear. I shall claim Nidhogg's head, okay? And then... We find out who the eye's true chosen is. There can only be one. And then we fight each other. And then I obviously win. And I kiss my muscles. Okay. Infinite content, Bowie. Voice from within. That must be Nidhogg, right? Look to thine anger and to thy hatred. Is a. There... I'll just let him speak. I'll just let him speak. See? He's like Nidhogg's buddy now. Oh my god, guys. We have 44, 45. See? Like... He got empowered by Nidhogg. Voice acting. Oh shit, there was ads playing. God damn it. This is impossible. Wait. We both run away. Okay, wait. Now I am now I am the Azure Dragoon. Now I'm him. And then I execute him. See, I'm still confused. Wait, now he's pissed. Okay, we're going back. Okay. When the beat... When the being of darkness closed upon us, you appeared to me, the spitting image of uh, Huldrath the Dragon's Eye, as he is depicted in the Holy Scriptures. I thought that mayhap the years had been taken their toll on my mind, but behold, the soul of the Dragoon shines as it, as it never did in all these years I bore it. It would seem you have achieved what has been impossible. You have weakened the ability. Uh, totally momentous achievement. Summon a self-same dragon male won by Huldrath. I bore witness to many... Uh, could it be that you are? Spit from the first dragoon. As the being of darkness faded, so did Nidhog Nidhogg's aura subside, and now his kind of been ceased. Get the truth eventually. Darkness brushed against me. 
And it just says, like, we'll find out in time. And that's it. Like, I'm still confused. I'm still... So... Estinian called upon Nidhogg's power. And then I became Haldrath and executed him? Banished him? And then he just disappeared. And then he comes back. He's like, yo, I'm your bro now. That doesn't, to me, that doesn't make sense. There has, there's like some kind of disconnect there. It's a title, but he still holds the eye. So technically, he, he is, at least, and he is, a Azure Dragoon or the Azure Dragoon. Yo Zavolo, how's it going, man? How we doing? How we doing? The NPC called it Spirit of Darkness. Uh, it said like inner voice, right? And then, and then Astinian said, "O mighty Nidhogg, bestow upon me power like fury and claw, or like fang and claw." Sorry. But then I just randomly became Haldrath. Yeah, he's the official one, right? I exercised uh, Nidhogg from Astinian, and he ran away. I exercised him. Oh. Okay, that makes sense then. You got Haldra's soul from the crystal and banished Nidhogg's influence. Okay, wait, how did you get that? Yeah, I need to I need to watch that whole bit back off stream or something. Yeah, and I showed him I'm powerful. Well, he, he now refers to me as the Warrior of Light. He doesn't call me the Azure Dragon now. He did back in ARR stuff, but now he just calls me Warrior of Light. But I guess technically I'm also an Azure Dragoon, right? Sevo, have a great day, man. So, okay, so he was possessed. And that's why he was being a bad, bad boy. And I exercised him. That makes more sense. I didn't want to record twice the lines. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Well, that makes much more sense then. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So that's why we're now bros. But like, because when he, when he comes back at the end of ARR, he's like, Hi, Russ. I'm not here to fight you today. So I guess he's like, okay, well, now I'm a good guy kind of thing. I passed the Dragoon exam. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Boom. Oh, he's getting rolled, mate. Can't even stop me. Okay, wounded dragoon. Hello. Eating? Old? Okay, that makes much more sense. I'm, I'm a bit more happy with that, yeah. He also, yeah, okay, I guess everyone just has the same armor set. I owe you my life. That beast would have torn me limb from limb. Hello. Oh, now they're here. Our lances were not needed, would seem. Such is the might of the Azure Dragoon. Yeah, so I am still one. And they, they call me Azure Dragoon in the Dragoon quests, right? You have not pledged allegiance to Ishgard, yet come to our aid nonetheless. For that we are grateful. Their deaths thus avenged. Our comrades may go their rest in peace. My lady, I shall attend to the fallen. Yo, I like that gold glam though. That looks good. I guess I could dye that set. Mystery Dragoon. It is an honor to see you Ooh. Hi, Dyron. How's it going? Hello. It is an honor to see you again, my friend. It would appear as I am not remembered. I suspect the armor is to blame. This is some nice. This is a banger, this one. The armor is to blame. Yeah, uh, who could this be? Uber. <laughs> the dragon song. Oh, here we go. Hustanin. Hustian. 
Hey, uh, hey, Permit me to introduce myself anew. I am Hustine of the Order of the Knights Dragoon, and I had the pleasure of assisting in your training. Hi, Nark Dark. Me song. As we approached, Sir Albrecht and I bore witness to the final moments of the battle. I could not help but notice that, though you have been instructed in our ways, there was something distinct about the manner in which you fought. Oh, am I better than everyone else? I believe I know the reason why. As an adventurer, you have done battle with foes the realm over. Though these many encounters, your techniques have evolved to produce a, a style that sets you apart from who we fight. Uh, sorry, sets you apart from we who fight dragons exclusively. Yeah, that's true. I kill all kinds of creatures. The dragons only kill dragons. That's kind of. I feel like it's a waste. Such instincts you must possess. If I may speak frankly, I wish to train under you. Will you accept me as your pupil? Oh shit, this is cool. You see, a fearsome dragon has been terrorizing Koth as of late. Grauli is its name. And I have been charged with leading a mission to slay it. What's a waste, Iron? Though, I am second in command in the order. I am not confident of my chances against the creature. Such is its ferocity and cunning. If I am triumphant over Grauli, I must needs grow stronger. And I believe I can under your tutelage. What say you? Will you consent to training me? Grauli. Growly. <laughs> Five. Dude, five in a row, Dyra. That's pretty big, man. That's pretty big, huh? Having big poopers and not showing them. Look, she's she's dressed in armor, okay? As we teach, so do we learn. This I know from experience. I wholeheartedly urge you to accept Hustin as your pupil. I guess I have no choice, really. Yeah, now I'm the job trainer. That is kind of cool. Good job I dressed up for this, guys. Thank God. You need not give me an answer right this moment. Think on it, and let Sir Albrecht know your decision. Till next we meet. Of course I'm going to take you in. Someone wants to learn from my powers. I'm finally being acknowledged. I'm finally being accepted. Especially by the Elizan. People that hate everyone. Is this different? Yep. Wait, I don't hate you. In game, in game. Like everyone, like, no, no, no. The Elizan, the Elizan hate me in game, you know? Like, at least the uh, Ish Guardians. Do, do. I've, uh, I've bit the bullet and made an alt for EU. Time to speedrun. Honestly, Bonini, you'll probably catch me within uh, a week. I'm not even kidding. I still hate the summoner quest for Heaven's Ward. It baits you into thinking you'll get R Ramu. Eggy? What's Eggy? Archie Edmund. Elamain? No, it's a. Uh, what was her name again? Hulamain. What was her name? Oh, Hustin. Hustinian. Alright. Hustinian. Albrecht, hello. Here she is. Have you made a decision then? Will you agree to teach Hustinian? I am grateful. I swear I will not disappoint you. With your guidance, I shall put an end to Growly's end of terror. Reign of terror. Now. I should like nothing more than to begin my training at once. But duty calls. For the time being, I shall endeavor to emulate the deadly lance work I witnessed you employing earlier. It's, it's nice that like there's one dragoon that wants to learn how to fight more than just dragons. So Albrecht didn't think to be like, you know, you know what? And maybe I should encourage other people to do this. He was just like, yep, one more. One more that's going to be good. And all the rest aren't. I'll teach her the 1409 combo. Yeah. 
Hustinian is among the very best in re in recent generations. If you are to train one of her caliber, you must yourself rise to new heights of mastery. Resume your own training and return hither when you are satisfied with your progress. Oh, I'm satisfied. I'm absolutely ready for new abilities, baby. The next quest, the next dragoon quest will be available from Aubrey. Oh, it is 52 cage. 50, 52, 54, I think. Your requirements for undertaking subsequent quests can be reviewed in your journal. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for 52 quest. Battle Litany. Increases critical hit for self and nearby party members by 10%. That's pretty nice. Christine is ready for her first lesson. And Sir Albrecht would direct you, your steps to her. Let's do it. Greetings, Russ. You look very much a teacher today. He noticed. Look at me. That is well for his seen as eager for her first lesson. Now, that you agree to accept her as your pupil, I suspect that you are not without reservation. You worry whether you will be equal to the task. Well, worry not. I have every confidence that you will make a fine mentor. Were I to offer you advice, however, it would be, it would be to have patience. Though Hustine is a master of her art, it is all she has ever known. As such, it may prove a challenge for her to adapt. And like all of us, she is not without pride. And there will be times when tact is required. I must also mention that Hustine is zealous to a fault. I worry that she will overexert herself in her pursuit of strength. But I am keeping you from her lesson. Hustine left word that she will be in the Western Highlands testing her lance against Dragonspawn. See her, seek her out near the pike. Western, right? So I actually go into the new zone now. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Um, up here. And I can fly here as well, baby. We trained him wrong as a joke. <laughs> yeah, I apparently I just did my own dragoon training. They're like, wow, you became such a good dragoon. Like, yeah, practice makes perfect. That guy, Albrick, he just stands there doing nothing most of the time. No wonder I'm outperforming him now. Do you just unlock flying there yesterday? Oh, did you not sniff for the uh did you not sniff for the airstream cell? Pain fighting a dragon god? I literally, yeah. They're like, alright, fair play. He killed Barmut. When you're dragging so wrong that you create an entirely new style. I mean, she looks like she kind of pumps. Like, she just slayed three dragons. She's chilling there. <sighs> there are too many. Look out! Let's do it. Oh, now I am soloing three. All right. Oh, too easy. Too easy. Boom. Boom, baby. Three more down. We got this. Okay. Eating? I am over leveled, to be fair, and I have a level 60 weapon. <laughs> I owe you a debt of gratitude. Our lessons have not even begun, and already you have seen me on my knees. Don't even do it. Don't even do it, chat. No. Don't you even do it. No, 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 no. no stop typing her. Already done. <laughs> I had been trying to match what lance work of yours I had seen, but without success. That was how the dragons managed to overwhelm me. Pick up Samurai and do Shadow Ringers. Is that a Samurai expansion? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I definitely will pick up Samurai at some point, yeah. Just Riz. Yeah, just Riz, dude. Like, already. They managed to overwhelm me. But I had fallen back on my tired and trusted techniques. I would have made short work of that ilk. But what would I have learned then? Nay. What I know is no longer enough. 
The war ex exacts a heavy toll on us all. But none more. But none more so than we dragoons. If we are to survive, we must grow stronger. I must grow stronger. On her knees for your love's work. God damn it. Russ, will you demonstrate your techniques to me? I would study your movements up close. I, I suppose you have the right of it. There is no substitute for li live foes. Count with me then. There is a suitable place west of the Black Iron Bridge. Okay. Uh, let's go. <laughs> really fitting music. Yeah, we're going. We're just jamming now. Dragoon baby. No. <laughs> My immersion. All right, here we go. We're going to fight some Mylodons. Okay, destination. Let's do it. Surveying. Hold. Mod check. Mod check. Oh, wow. I'm really surveying hard. Look, I'm actually mod checking. Alright. You sense a hostile presence. Okay. Oh, fuck. There it is. Granite rain. Oh, shit. We fought this boss in the dungeon yesterday. Wait. No, no, no. Don't kill my dragon. I got fucking scammed. Was that a random person that just flew down and killed it? Oh, man. Wow. Scammed by a random sprout. It was me. Time, time to start over with a new character. God damn it. Outside Elpers. Yeah. I can't even say, guys, don't do it. No help. Because it wasn't even one of you guys. Uh. Hmm. The techniques you employ differ, no, differ not for mine. Yet you overcome the enemy with such ease. I wish I could say I did. What is it that separates us so? What is it that you were doing that I am not? I'm putting my heart and soul into every thrust of my lance. Did I hear you rightly? You see no difference between our lance work. But in the course of considering this, you conceived a new technique. Yeah. Wait, why are you concerning? Nothing sus even happened that time. All right, new ability, baby. Check VOD and report them. No, no, it's okay. Oh, shit, here we go. Ooh, new animation when I get stuff now. The dragon thing comes up. I haven't not seen it, Darren. Hustinian wants you to hear more of the marvelous technique you have conceived. All right, I'm ready. A way to draw out your comrade's strength. Such an approach had never occurred to me. A small wonder, perhaps. But we dragoons are taught to be relentless in offense. In, uh, in order to bring down dragons, we strive to jump higher and strike harder. But in my single-minded pursuit of what I believe to be perfection, it would seem I ended up fighting only with my lance. So focused was I upon delivering that next blow. I rendered myself blind to other possibilities. You have opened my eyes, Russ. If I am to transcend my limits, it is plain I must cast aside my preconceptions. Ah, but the hour grows late. I must needs return to the congregation. Would you care to accompany me? It may interest you to see how your fellow dragoons live. Okay. I guess... Oh, hey! Alright, this makes up for the dragon right here. Okay, guys. 
Ready? Oh shit, I don't have the battle. Alright, I'm doing the battle litany. Nice. Boom. Wait, did jump crit as well? I feel like... Oh, it didn't actually, it didn't. Can it crit? Can everything crit? Yeah, I'm not sure where to put this keybind though. It's a two minute cooldown. Uh, ah, shift down. I guess I can put it on G. I don't think I have anything on G. That works. Everything can crit. Nice. Uh, you want to master something, teach it to someone else? True. Oh, I could fight a fate. Land of the Freeze. Dawn of the Mylodons. Dawn of the Mylodons sounds like a boss, right? Surely that's a boss. Oh, wait. Paluda. Oh, they look like big faces. They're yeah, like this, right? Okay. Okay, this is it. Oh, wait. Level sync. I'm not going to even get to use it, am I? Oh, wait. I can, I can, I can. I definitely did not need to flip that. Okay, this guy, uh, I mean, I'm full HP still. It's actually kind of fine. Thrusting techniques for Rust to penetrate the foe's rear point. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I do got the technique down though, let's be real. First time chatter. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm still pretty healthy here. I'm doing this. I guess this is a soloable, uh, soloable fate right now. I grow the second one. I really don't want the second one. Okay, nice. We're fine. Oh, I've got this in the bag. Timer? Oh, shit. Big deep. Dig deep. Dig deep. Surely if I'm in combat, I'll be fine, right? 14 sec. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way I can finish it. Oh, that is... I'm getting scanned again. I would be fine as well. Look. Bruv. <sighs> Such despair today, man. Such despair. Failure POV. God damn it. I would have won though. Can we just agree I would have won? Mm -hmm. Copium? I would have won, man. I 100%. 100%. There she is. Hustine. 
really seemed like he had the upper... I, I hadn't even... Look, I just popped second wind just before it ended. And I had blood buff coming up and faint coming up again. And I still had a stun, which I didn't use, to be fair. Yeah, the mob... It doesn't even, like, despawn. It just walked away healing. That was sad. Why is face is so little unless you hear Torn from the Heavens playing? Oh, does that mean it's, like, a boss one, right? Yeah, like, yesterday, that one was... Penetrate this, Jesus Christ. Oh, and Chaos Thrust should be positional. Um, just Chaos Thrust. Full Thrust is uh, any anywhere. But Chaos Thrust is um, you get extra potency from behind. Rear combo potency, 260. But, I mean, you, if you don't lose too much if you don't get it from the rear. Only 40. So... Effect of wheel in motion ends upon execution of any melee weapon skill. Wait, what's that? Wheel in motion? Oh, I don't have that ability. I don't have the wheel in motion. That's probably the next part of the combo, I guess. Used to lose your combo too. Thank God that's over. Yeah. Welcome to the home of the dragoons. I had mine to visit... Uh, I had a mind to show you the premises, but my father has paid me a sudden visit. This is my father, Montagrains. Montor, Montor Gaines. Oh, shit. Mr. Gaines. Mr. Gaines. Father, allow me to present you, my mentor, the Azure Dragoon Russ. I am. It is an honor and a pleasure. Both to make your acquaintance. I hope you will forgive me for inconceiving your plans. Inconveniencing your plans. But what is a father to do? Dedicated to her duties as she is, my daughter scarcely comes home. And so I must go to her. Father, please. We have spoken about this. But I strive to be a dragoon. Worthy of the name. As you yourself were. All that I do, I do to honor you. My child. You would honor me best by taking care of yourself. Well, I shan't overstay my welcome. Seeing you hale and hearty is enough. Till next time, Mr. Gaines. Monsieur Gaines. What a chad. What a legend. He is so kind to me, even though I share not his blood. Like so many others, I was orphaned by the war. I would have died long ago, cold and alone, had he not taken me in. All, all that I have, I owe to him. It was no other reason than to honor my father that I followed in his footsteps and became a dragoon. But if I am to live up to his legacy, if I am to protect Ishgard as he once did, I must needs grow stronger. And I will, under your sage guidance. I look forward to our lessons to come. Ah, it nigh slipped my mind. Sir Albrecht wished a word with you. Pray seek him out of the observatorium at your earliest convenience. Perhaps after you have met. After you've had a wonder inside the congregation. Hmm. Let's go. Let's actually have a look inside here. Oh, yeah. We've been in here, right? Is this where the trial was? This is where the trial was, uh, was right? Lucia's there. Here. Yeah. And handle soup. I know not what you are planning, War of Light, but I pray for its success. In the event that your gambit fails, however, the Horde shall not find us unprepared. I do like Lucia. That's different. Was it not in here? We definitely did something in here, I think. Oh, yeah, this is Amrix. Oh, this is... Yeah, we went in his office, right? It's that one. That's when we wanted the trial by combat. Like we came to chat chat shit with him. Tesca Legion. He told me I was too old to take up arms against the Horde. That I couldn't possibly make a difference. It wasn't until the Wyverns came that I realized that they were right. <laughs> He's just given up. Alright, let's go. Let's go back to Amrick. Have you tried last boss in the new Alliance Raiders melee? Absolutely not. Designed. Oh. Yeah, I guess, like, as you get more positionals, I guess you start running low on true norths. Because right now, I only have to true north my Chaos Thrust if, if I'm fighting something, like, solo. And uh, it's generally fine. Bow, bow, bow. 
So Mr. Gaines is one of the lucky dragoons to live to an old age. Yeah, see, he don't fall off no ledges. That means he's skilled. Xylophone. Oh look, I never saw this little garden out back. Okay, hello, Elbrick. My thanks for coming, Russ. It's no urgent matter, but I was wondering about Hustine's progress. Tell me, how fares her training? Well, she uh, she does want to get better. She almost got overwhelmed, but she did pretty good. Ah, so you've met her father. In this day, Mr. Gaines was a dragoon of no small renown. He served Ishgard with valor until he took a grievous wound and was forced to hang up his lance. As Hustine herself told you, she follows in her father's footsteps. From the first, she exhibited tremendous potential. In all ways, she was a Stinian's equal. Ooh, and a, the rivalry they shared raised both of them higher. Oh, she's pretty important then. That's why she's Hustinian. Alas, the eye chose a Stinian and not her. And since then, she has taken to training with a fervor which borders on self-punishment. Damn. Damn. She got second best. It is well to strive for greater heights, but a dragoon must never lose sight of his conviction. It is the only thing that shields us from the dragon's wiles. So I beg of you, keep watch over Hustinian. By your shining example, see to it that she never forgets what it means to be a dragoon. Is this Roach at actually doing a quest? Mom, get the camera. Dude, I literally always do quests. I don't know what you mean. When's the last time I had a stream where I didn't do a quest? Okay, probably New Year's. All right, that's that's like ten days ago. Okay, I'm uh, it's not MSQ. No, no, because I'm doing my dragon. Because every time I do MSQ, people tell me go do your dragoon quests, and then when I do my dragoon quests, people are like, hey, this is an MSQ. So how can I win, guys? I'm just gonna ditch and go back to the guild in a minute. You know. By your shining example, see to it that she never forgets what it means to be a dragoon. Boom. You hear that? <sighs> that is some... That is some quest completed music right there. Do what I want. You did seriously pump the MSQ yesterday? Yeah, I did. I did like 10 quests yesterday. I unlocked... I did an entire Heavensward zone. Entire zone. You know, Hildebrand, when's Hildebrand? When's Dark Souls? We'll probably do Dark Souls on Monday when it's server maintenance. Should be good times. Should be very nice. So guys, if you're in Dark Soul Enjoyer or a, a Just Rust Stream Enjoyer, Monday, we'll do both. A guy near the Cabbage Patch is a 15 second quest that gives an emote. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm ready. Well, if I'm both, then you should definitely be there Monday. All right, Mal Colin. Which one? Speak softly to me. Hosfit workout. Hosfit. Throw. Oh, torn between curiosity and scorn. Mal Colin would re report an odd sighting. I can't see. Uh, I can't see as how I ought to care, but I saw a fella out throwing snowballs at a snowman. Why'd anyone engage in such japery in the cold? I can't right say. Went nut gathering. <laughs> and lost more than he found, is my guess. You better make sure that don't happen to you, lass. Not that I know precisely what happened, mind you. What's that? Me? Ask? I got my chocobos to see to. If Duvakarix, if Duvakaru wants to end, uh, upend his head soup on the snow... I can't see what business of mine it'd be. Yep, that's his name. Duvi Kora. Uh, I don't know. He sells things, goes places. Don't seem like no kind of life to me. Begging pardon. You want to see him? I reckon he's somewhere about. 
Okay. He's just over there. Not collecting. And now he's going to throw it. They call me the nut gatherer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Duvikura. Walking softly, eh, adventurer? Those around here think I'm winter drunk. I'll wager. Ha. Never seen a snow thrust before, the lazy bye blows. Sit on your ass in front of a poor fire for too long and soon you'll get the swiving white knuckles. You'll sleep the better for tossing snowballs without needing Lady Mead or Mistress Ale to sing the lullaby. What'd you say, eh? Why not give it a try? It's as simple as you'd imagine. Just reach down, grab some of the powdery white, and throw. Powdery white? Wait a second. You've learned the emote throw. I got you. Hold up. Boom. All right. Hey. So wait, I could have done this all that time ago. I'm moving between casts. Wait, you actually have to have line of sight. Oh shit. Wait. I need to keybind this. All right, this is going on my main bar. Wait, I can't get any now. Dude, this doesn't count as snow. <laughs> Bombarding. Dude, I'm being AoE'd. Dude, my, I got good sniping skills. Yeah, some of it doesn't count. Snowball fight! Let's fucking go! Dude, I can't reach nuds. Damn it. Get him! Kill him! Wait, hold on. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have too much range. There you go. Get rolled. Batter the guard. <laughs> oh no. Poor Helm Oregon. <laughs> Beat them while they're down. <laughs> We're supposed to be we're supposed to be smashing Helm Oregon now. Joel Lines. <laughs> oh. The fadeaway. Alright. Does he have another one? White mischief. These are sus names. Stop, she's already dead. Okay. Do these give any more emotes? Nope. Nope. Rolling with snowballs. Wait, does he want to have a snowball fight? When there's more snow on the ground than hot meals on the table, all you can do is join Duvicoro, Duvicoro in a little snow toss. Ah, you learned the motion. How about we have ourselves some fun with it? Reach down into the powder and throw a goodly sized lump at me as hard as you can. Though so make sure to, you make you take aim first. As much as I get a good laugh out of it, I doubt Drivet here would fancy a face full of snow. <laughs> oh, you've got an arm to write songs about. I bet that felt good. With cold hands, warm heart. It's a secret to long living. Honestly, he kind of has a point. Like, you know when you are out in the snow and your hands get so cold that they like get really hot? You know what I mean? Oh, wait, <laughs> got a firing squad on me. <laughs> you know, you know, like when they get like sore with the cold, but it makes them feel so warm. Yeah, there could be rocks inside. Really, there ain't much more. Just throw where it is, uh, where there's snow on the foot. Of course, if you try to do the same on other kinds of ground, you'll end up with a fistful of nothing. Where's the gain in that? Anyhow, what you'd like to do is toss snowballs at snowmen. That way you can hurl them as hard as you fancy. 
All right, people. Snowmen don't mind. They're made of the same stuff. Go on. Give it a go. Throw it at the snowman right outside. This one? I can't target it. Maybe it's a different one. I did slash throw at the snowman. Look at the mini map. Oh. Oi. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> okay, I see. I see. Aha! Uh -huh. Snowman. Too far away? Dude, I'm doing it! I'm literally doing it! There we go. No, I eat dummy dummy. Dummy likes to throw like zero. Only become yummy yummy if throw like a hero. What the hell? Ah, aim is yummy yummy. I still much fear though. Hero not here. Throw to me again. <laughs> oh, he gets happy. Why is it talking to me? Is there someone inside? Wee! Finally, a throw of a hero. All yummy, no dummy. Here's snow. All my boots. I'm happy now. Snow tossed the hero made. I tried. I tired. I need to sleep. Don't worry what they say. They call you crazy. Revolutionaries always get called crazy. Okay, well, that's that, I guess. Okay, ready? Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Dummy, dummy. <laughs> All right, we got this snowman here. <laughs> Oi, were you... did I actually not see you behind the tree there? Yo, the snowman is throwing back. Wait, there was someone I missed. Where did Sithiri go? Yeah. Oi! Alright, easy hits. Dude, I got lock on aim. Aimbotting right now. Boom. Look at that aim. That's nuts. That distance. Oh shit, there's a fate going on over here. Got some fate enjoyers. Oh shit, I don't have a thingy on my bar. Alright, nice. Thank you, Discord TK, by the way. The icon, the icon on map thing did actually really help. <laughs> Oh god, we're owning them now. Come on then. God, you have like no abilities to level 3. Doo, 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 doo. I at least get my full thrust. And my jump. Easy clap. That's 3k experience. That's like the same amount of XP I was getting from post ARR quests, pretty much. See, I feel like I have abilities at level 50. I feel like it's a simple rotation, but I have I have a rotation, you know? Wait, life surge to crit my throw? Wait, hold on a sec. Cocktail gets the crit. Whoosh. The mods have arrived. 
Oh, are you just doing it now? Everyone get the throw emote. Oh, dude, that, look where I'm fucking pump pulling him. Dude, that is rude. I'm just going st straight for his fucking nuts, mate. Oh, that's more like a stomach shot, that one. Didn't work, he had an umbrella. Okay, Cocktail's got protection now. Sill stands guard. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen Mari in gunbreaker mode. Or paladin mode. I'll have to get through the defenses. I will get through the defenses. Oh my god, there's two. There's two! To get through the next line. There's three! Come on. That has to break soon. I can finally go for the target. No! <laughs> That's a goddamn warrior on my ass. Okay, let's hand it. There you are. You are at it a while. Nothing like a little hoarfrost on the nose hair, eh? Hoarfrost? Snowman talked, you say? Don't see how. I rolled the thing myself and it was like... And it wasn't like I engaged in swiving white mage. Now, you go lie down a spell. And don't go saying nothing to them inside. They'll figure out you're winter drunk for sure. They might even put you in for a leeching. Come by for another snow toss when you're feeling less fanciful. This damn winter can last forever. But if it does, maybe I'll start a snow toss tourney. And see if I can make a gill or two. Ooh, that might be a little follow-up quest. Quest complete, baby. Make them really small, hyper-dense so they hurt when they land. And No, cannon! No way, man. No way. Stop tossing at the nuts. I didn't mean to. I wanted to hit him in the face, you know. Yeah, no nut tossing, guys. No nut tossing. Intrepid sword to hunt the ravening horror. Well, that one sounds not like it's to do with snowballs. Toss this! <laughs> oh shit. We're going maid raid? Oh, I can't even change it. Who was that? Hey! 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 Ah! <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> hey! Oi! You can't damage me. I have a golden outfit. Okay? I have a golden outfit. It deflects it. It deflects all. Ah. <laughs> stolen the stolen. Uh. Good modding. What do you mean good modding? Yo, Ponto. How's it going, man? Gang bang. No, this is just a snowball fest. There's a, there's a big difference. Hey. Guys, change target. Ch change target. Don't, don't be hitting me. Ch change target. No. <laughs> don't beckon me. Yeah, see? Mario's saying bring it on. Ah, oh, shit. She ran off. Kill him. <laughs> oh, whoa. What the heck? Half of you guys just despawned. Did you get a Q-pop? Ross is covered in the white stuff. PP vanish. PP vanish. What did you guys queue into? Oh, maybe it's redacted. My bad, my bad. Yippee! Uh, yeah, streamer covered in the white stuff, getting hit with tons of balls. I'm all covered up. They're throwing the entire left nut at me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, next quest. 
Do I do another Dragoon quest? Then, then it will be a 54 Dragoon quest. Then I'm up to date with my Dragoon quest for now, right? So that I'll be like up to date with dungeons and things. World of Darkness. Oh no. Wait, why are you guys in there? What are you guys doing in there? I actually thought that one was pretty fun with the going inside the dog. And the dog's stomach thing. That was nice. So Albrecht has just received word of an impending Dravanian offensive. Increase the potency of jump and spine shatter dive. Wait, it's just a ta Oh, it's just passive? So I just do more damage. Yo, that's nuts. Okay. Let's go. Thank the fury you're here, but moments ago we received word that Growly's horde is advancing on Ishgard. Even as we speak, Christine prepares to go and meet him in the field. Alas, with most of the dragoons absent on another mission, I fear she sorely wants for lances. <laughs> okay. I would have you lend her yours, Russ. Pray make haste to the congregation and join her. Let's go. We're going back to the congregation. Oh, the dragon. Uh, had to buff. Uh... You see a buff you had to you had to activate and then maintain. Yeah, that's like uh I heard I think it still works like that, right? Or is it called Fang and Claw or something? I think Mr. Happy you talked about it. And Yeah, like it's Fang and Claw and, and you basically like keeping that up by just doing your rotation or something. Lend me your lance. Yeah, I'm gonna lend her. Dude, she is sus, man. She's like, oh, you've seen me on my knees. Lend me your lance. All this crazy stuff, dude. They don't help himself. I can see why you guys are like cult cultured like this. You know, like like they definitely uh, they definitely put sus things in quests to make you your mind wander. You know, I can see why you guys are all like, you know, down bad. I'll lend you this. Even Ponto, see? Ponto's been streaming the game so long. Look how sus he is. The FF uh, XIV is just really horny. Yeah, but it, there must be like, yes, I agree. But also like, <laughs> they like, you pick up on like everything, like dirty mind kind of thing, right? I'm wholesome. Meow. I mean, he is a froth daddy. Let's be real. Yeah, it's, it's Koji lines. Like, it's, it's cozy just putting everything in, right? That's why everyone loves him. Sorry. Wholesome. Yeah, he's no fool. He's no fool. Koji, he's a bit of a king, let's be real. Oh, Owly, you need to put some clothes on. It's cold out here. All right, we're good. We're good. Everything's repaired. Is there anything I need to sell? I think we're kind of good. Inventory is not looking too bad. I, I vended all those fish. I don't know if that was the play, but I vended all the fish. <laughs> so maybe I lost some gill there, but it's, it's fine, I suppose. I had like 40 fish taking up my shit, you know. One boiled egg. I'm going to eat that right now. Thank you. Mm, 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 mm. Look at it. Eat egg. Eat egg. Okay. Uh, so we got to go to Ishgard. Time to vibe. Time for some vibing. Need more fish. We'll have to go deep ocean fishing again at some point. Yeah. Wait, why does this one have a name? Galkomad and this guy. Poor guy. It's not even an Ellison. Someone snuck in. Snuck in on duty. Fourth era we relic weapon done. Congratulations, Silent. Good job, good job. How long does each one take, roughly? 
You can name him. All right. So Jefferson is born. The guard on the left at the bottom of the stairs. Way too long. I heard they're a bit of a slog, but I guess you get cool stuff out of them, right? Russ, you've come to aid us. It improves the chances tenfold. Allow me to thank you as well, Mistress Russ. I am but a worried father, and it gives me heart to know the Azure Dragoon shall fight besides my daughter. Though my training is far from over, the situation will brook no delay. We must head off Gr We must head off Growly and his horde before they reach a populated area. It shall be my honor to fight shoulder to shoulder with you. The experience alone will teach me much. Of that I have no I have little doubt. Promise me you'll be careful, Justine. Take no unnecessary risks. Do you understand me? Oh, she she's going to take risks. Remember the dead cannot serve their nation. And what Ishgard needs above all is brave souls like you to protect her. Worry not, father. I swear I will return to you. I bet she's going to get herself in a pickle. See that you do, my child. Now, before you go, there is something I wish you to have. Old. The Lance, Peregrine. It is yours now. Oh, that's the name of it. Peregrine. Ooh, that's a nice one. But why? This lance was bestowed upon you. Upon your forebear by the Archbishop himself. I am no true child of yours. Yet you would entrust me with the family treasure. I will not betray your faith in me, father. With this lance, I shall strike down Growly and protect Ishgard. Christine. It's time. It has been a while, my friend. I had the honor of overseeing your training when you were but a fledgling dragoon. And I shall be honored to fight beside you. Let's fucking do it. Dragoon squad. Assemble. Comrades. At last report, Grauli and his whore had gained the Western Highlands. We shall lie in wait for them at the pike. With me. Dude, I feel like I need to put my dragoon armor on for this. Mistress Russ, may I have a moment? Each time I see my daughter off on a mission, we dance the self-same dance. I tell her to be careful, and she promises to do so, but I know her all too well. Christine burns to distinguish herself in battle, that she might repay me and my lady wife a perceived debt. I fear that one day that desire will cloud her judgment, and she will not come home. And so I beg you, pray watch over my daughter. Yeah, classic overconfidence, wanting to prove yourself, you know. Bam Snacks, thank you for the follow. But let me let me dress up real quick here. Uh, let's see. Can I? Oops. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta go to the inn real quick. Uh, where's an inn, guys? Is this an inn? This is a pub, right? Oh no, this is the congregation. This is the inn, right? Okay, surely now. What? Is it downstairs further? the innkeep NPC. Oh, I have to like be inside the uh, actual thing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this dude. Uh, innkeep. Oh, right. So I actually have to go into the room. Okay, retire to an in room. Let's do it. I was going to make a set for dragooning. Let's see. Um, mm 
that's not the one. There's no way I sold it, right? Well, maybe it's in my bag, actually. Oh, it's that one, right? Red worm spear. Okay, wait, I need to deposit it. Uh... Matron's teats. Wait, what is going on here? <laughs> right, discard those. Uh, armory. Green hand. Wait, what? Dreadworm spear. Okay. Red worm spear. If it's our food. There it is. Wait, that's not the one. I swear I had the one that they use. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have it. Yo, this looks cool though. I think I'm gonna roll, roll with this one. Titanium. That looks like the one that he just gave her. I guess I don't have it. That's also not the right armor piece. I think I, think I put that in. Yeah, here we go. Kraken helmet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, what else can we put on here? Earrings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Man, I, I feel like the weapon should be snazzier here. I guess we can run with that one, right? Like, that, that looks pretty cool. It could be slightly more superior than them. I think I'm just going to go with the gold one. Yeah, we'll just run with that. Alright. We'll go Dragoon mode for this. Not the Mog. Uh, this is like my official Dragoon set, you know. There we go. When we're really trying to Dragoon it up. Wait. The Taru's still here. I made some supper for the tavern workers and they liked it so much they put it on the menu. Might I suggest the Dawn Tea and the Logan... Logan... T Logan... Lo 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 Logan Stew. Oh, look. Yo, Genesee. We're good. How are you? Oh, finally. Owly's warming up. Finally. Got my little tail here. This is why it was Aura, so that I'd be super spiky with the spiky tail and everything here. Near the pike. Let's go. Let's go do this. Can you cook that Friday? I'm going to cook. I'm cooking. Uh, What am I cooking? We're doing a cooking stream Friday, guys. If you have the Final Fantasy cookbook, you can cook along with me if you'd like. The recipes, I'm going to post them in my Discord later today. But we are going to be doing... D 
deep fried Okeanos. Okay. And we're going to be doing... But we're not going to be doing the, the chips from that one, okay? Or the, the fries, okay? We're going to do... Uh, we're just doing the meat part from that one. And then we're going to do... Instead of the instead of the fries, we're gonna do I mean you can do the fries if you don't want to cook multiple dishes. I'm cooking multiple dishes, right? Uh where is it? Pot Popotos o gratin. That's the side I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna have that like so that one with the with the pork from the uh Okeanos. And then Probably just make a little side salad or something to go with it. And then uh, also I'm going to try doing some uh, coffee biscuits. So we'll do a little bit of baking as well. Make some chalky chip cooks, you know. Pretty good. La la au gratin. Yeah, it should be good. It should be good. Okay. Let's go. Let's go be a dragoon. Let's go teach the dragoon ways because we are now. To be fair, being the Azure Dragoon, it does feel like I should be the teacher, you know? What's that kind of fate with the exclamation mark? That looks delicious. Also, Alu Russ and chat. Lovers. Yo, Rocky, how's it going? How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh my god, they're at the same place as before. <laughs> I guess it is a uh, Growly in his horde, right? Russ, already we've suffered heavy losses, and that was but the first wave. All right, it's going to be a duty now, isn't it? They come. Brace yourself. Let's go. How many Lala's will be sacrificed? I think probably uh, like four, maybe. Four or five Apotos. Okay, let's, let's get some buffs up here. And then... Boom. Wait, what? Why couldn't I? Oh, okay. I was slightly... Uh... I forgot you, you don't get like 180 degrees of the target being in front of you. It's like a code, isn't it? In this game. All right, let's go. Alone, grant me strength. I got this. I got this. Oh, they got they got stuff going on up there as well. Boom, big dick. Huge. Boom. You heard me. I will buy ankles. Don't worry, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't cook any of the popotos from the stream chat, okay? You guys get to eat the gratin and not, uh, and not be in it, you know? Boom. <laughs> Just got home from working on site. Ah, oh, no from, no, no work from home today, Sag. Oh shit, there's a big dragon up there. Oh god, okay. Maybe I should take out the ads first. Wait, Hustinian's getting rolled. Hustinian, hold on. Don't stand in that. Don't tank that. Move out of it. Oh my god. She's sucking. She is sucking. Come on, get better. I'm supposed to be training you here. Who, Stinian? <laughs> okay. Blazing trail. Get out of that! Alright, I'll faint it for you. Don't worry. I, I got your back. Oh, easy clap. Easy clap. I mean, Ustinian true thrust. Honestly. Oh, sorry. Yeah. She, uh, she did okay. She tanked it really well, to be fair. Easy clap. Oh no, they're all injured. And she's chilling. 
Me and her are chilling. Bro, why are we letting this guy just... That was the last of them. Yet Growly is nowhere to be seen. Were the reports mistaken? Such a price we have paid only for our quarry to elude us. Can we help this guy? Oh, here he comes. Growly! So, you finally show yourself. No, don't do it! I promised her dad! Is she just gonna fly off with the dragon? Wait. Couldn't I have followed? What is she? Who's seen? No! Dude, if she falls off from... Dude, if, if the dragon shakes off and she dies, I'm gonna be pissed, man. Yeah, she just like, later. Okay, I mean... She's gone. By the fury, this is a disaster. I know, I know not how to say this, but Hustine, strong as she is, she cannot have survived that. Here, I discovered this in the aftermath. This is a fragment of her. What? What do you mean? She just flew off like nothing. Must have broken off during the bat. What? There's no way they just killed her off like that by her flying away like that. Pray see it to her father's hands, knowing him. Dude, he's gonna kick my fucking ass. I literally just promised him nothing would happen to his daughter. He will be at the congregation awaiting his daughter's return. Dude, she, she better come back. What? She just, dude. Why did it not show her like falling down or or like fighting him? It just like looked like she was like, all right, I'll just ride the dragon, and then they just rode off into the sunset together. Why'd you let her do it? I I wanted to go with her. God damn it! To be fair, idiot. Have I tried also? Yeah, I should. I I should just do that, right? Wait, does she? Oh, she was in combat, so she would have died of full damage. That does make sense. That does make sense. So, Jefferson? Well, time to get my ass kicked. Time to get my ass kicked. And the solemn music and everything. Mr. Gaines, I've let you down. Mistress Russ, what has happened? Where is my daughter? Oh, he's going to kick my fucking ass, bro. Polished cool it. Only attached to the bottom rim of a breastplate to protect its wearer from deadly thrusts of buttocks. <laughs> this collet appears to have become detached from Sir Hussein's suit of mail. Oh no. This scrap. A piece of her armor. But why bring it to me? No. No! Deadly thrust to the buttocks. I refuse to believe that Hussein is gone. Me too, to be fair. I didn't actually see her die. She might have just, like, lost a piece of armor, you know? It's too early to know for certain. Tell me everything that happened. Everything. Honestly, not that much. I don't know why we're just saying she's dead. Like, we just saw her fly off. That's it. This has to be... I have to do the next quest now. I have to know. I have to know what's going to happen. So she leapt upon the dragon, piercing its hide, after which the creature carried her westward. Yeah, see? If none saw her fall, then it means that she may have managed to safely dismount. There is hope still. All right, there you go. Me and Monsieur Gaines have got the same idea. 
We know it. If Hustine is out there, I shall not rest until I find her. Russ, I trust I can rely upon your aid. Let us speak further at the observatorium. Don't copy him that. Come on. Are you guys queuing up to see Albrick or a Amrick? What is going on here? Why is there a queue to get into Amrick's office? Hmm. I guess we gotta go back to the observatorium. Because he's hot. Why not just go in all at once? He can he can be AOE hot, you know? Efficiency. Efficiency. What happened? Uh, after what happened to Sunil, I think it's fair to say, show me the corpse or they ain't dead. True! Actually, artificial. Asinian got purged. Alright, let's... Uh, what, what, kind of, what kind of vibe are we feeling here, guys? It's like, maybe sad. But I, I actually refuse to believe she's dead, so we're going to go with, um, yeah, this is an in-between. We want a one-for-one one LB3 of hot. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I can't blame you for that. Next quest, the funeral. No! <laughs> God, do that. <laughs> oh, you guys are all still here. Take that. Oh no. They have a Q pop. Wait, no, what does that mean? What's this icon? Oh, a party finder. Ah. Oh, leader. Okay. Without further ado, let us consider a course of action. As Montagains dares to... Uh, Montal Gaines dares to hope... If Justine was not shaken off Growly's back, there is a chance that she still yet lives. Do, 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 do. She will have ridden the dragon until such a time as she saw an opportunity to dismount. The question is where? The worst possible outcome. Dude, why does it keep sending me... I guess it makes sense. Like, if we're looking for her in the Western Highlands, why do we keep coming back to the observatorium? This surely doesn't make logistical sense. The worst possible outcome is she has been taken deep into dragon ruled lands far away from her allies. Well, I pray that this is not so. We must be prepared for anything. Hussein is one of our very best, and Ishgard can ill afford to lose her. For the nation's sake and that of her father, let us find her and bring her home. Dude, I hope this quest is like, we're going to find her. She's going to be great. And then she's going to get trained and she's going to join the Heavensward Dragoons. That would be sick. I will track Growly's movements in order to ascertain Hustin's location. Like as not, the search will take us into the heart of enemy territory. Pray keep your lance arm owned, for we shall soon have need of it. Jesus! What timing on that? New ability, guys. Blood of the Dragon. Increase. Oh, yeah, that was the, uh, yeah. Passive damage increase right there. You're welcome. Thank you. What did you do? Boom. Dragon within stirs. I did just get the throw emote, yeah. Because, this is, yeah, this is, I guess like the Dragoon Quest hub in it. 
Okay. So Albrecht has acquired a lead pointing to the missing Hustine's whereabouts. Bang and claw. All right, this one's huge. Delivers an attack of potency 260. 300 when executed from the flank. Can only be executed while under the effect of fang and claw. About bard. Sorry, fang and claw. Bard? Bred? Bed? Bed. Fang and claw bed. Granted by full thrust. Okay. It seems your training proceeds apace. Sit, uh, Russ. Uh, would I could stay the same, say say the same of our research of, for Hussein. With heretic activity on the rise of late, our forces are stretched thin. The Temple Knights have not the men to spare for the search effort. But that as is that as it may, we are not without leads. A short while ago, a peculiar report appeared from the front, arrived from the front lines. In a recent skirmish between our knights and a band of heretics, one of the enemy was wielding a lance bearing a striking resemblance. To Peregrine. The lance is a treasure belonging to Hustine's family. If the reports are true, these heretics now have it. However, the villains came to possess Peregrine. It is more like more than likely that they know something of Hustine's fate. If we can find them, we may yet find her. West of Camp Riversmeet, in the Western Highlands, a regiment of knights hunts the self-same band of heretics we seek. I would have you join them, Russ. It is our best hope for a clue. I know exactly the camp we're going to. I know exactly where we're going. We're going to see a uh, jibber jabber guy. What's, what's his name? Muchos jibber jabber. Bang and claw bread. <laughs> Bang and claw. Yeah, Fang and Claw is, is one of the... is That's like the combo style, right? Uh, Tony Macaroni, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well today. Okay. Uh, so, full for us. Grants Fang and Claw. Uh, bad. Okay. Extends upon execution of any melee weapon skill. Alright, this one should be like a game changer for the rotation, right? Oh, I'm not going to the, this camp. I thought we were going to this camp here, the Convictory. Alright, let's 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 head over. Yeah, the fourth step of the combo. And then there's something about like keeping up uh, a buff or something, isn't there? Let's go. Glorious music for a glorious day. The glorious day that we... That we receive Fang and Claw. This one, this one kind of, I like this mount music actually. Move between flank and rear. Yeah, yeah. Very FF. Oh, we're going down. Hello. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you okay, buddy? This guy is just standing in the frozen wastelands looking at a rock. I think it's called Alkanost, that mount. Oops. Yeah. Not sure where it's from. It got traded to me. Yep, rock. Are you okay, Temple Knight? Ah, Sir Elbrick sent word that you would come. The heretics retreated through yonder pass. The man with the lance peregrine among them. Our forces are giving chase even as we speak. Needless to say, we should be grateful for the Azure Dragoon's aid. That's me. Alright, so we go in. We're going up. We're going up the uh, up the river. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a run to go. We might have to mount it. It might be a mount angle. Hey, 
wait, wait, what? Ooh, the black one. Does it have the same uh, music usually? I just turned off the mount background music. So I'm enjoying the uh, Heaven Sword vibes. Endwalker treasure maps. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was traded to me. I have a couple spare. I'm going to give them away next month. I'm going to do some giveaways. Going to give away some expensive and medium expensiveness mounts. Some that are worth a couple million. Some that are worth a lot of million. Oh, interesting. She's in the Yeti cave. No, she's not. Alright, looks like I might have to fly. I forgot I could fly. <laughs> Here she is. Yo, she's alive! Let's go! Alright. That's it. Oh, this guy dies way easier. Boom, baby. Get out of here. Aiding. She, how did she get rags? I find myself thanking you often of late, Russ. When I leapt upon Growly and pierced his hide, the creature responded by soaring and attempting to shake me off. It was all I could do to hold on to the shaft of my lance. High as we had climbed, I could not safely dismount. So I bided my time, waiting for the right moment to jump clear of my unwilling mount. Alas, the beast had other ideas. It bore me straight into the heretic's mist, and I was swiftly overwhelmed and the divested of my weapon. What am I saying? What? It was a sighting of Peregrine that led you here, to have seen my forefathers watch over me. Hear me, Russ. The man who took my lance is the leader of this band of heretics. I overheard the guards say that he has departed to meet with the leader of yet another group. In all likelihood, they are plotting a large-scale assault on the Holy See. Oh, I know them well. The Temple Knights must be warned. You must bear word to the congregation that we might bolster our defenses. No, I cannot return with you. There is a task I must needs attend to. Should someone ask whence this information came, tell them that you wrung, wrung it out of a heretic and tell them that I, that I fell in battle. What the hell? What is she up to, man? What is she up to? Yo, Jasper. It has been a bit, man. How are you doing? How are you doing? I know full well I ask much of you, and it pains me to deceive my father, but I have no other choice. Whatever you might think of my request, believe me when I say that I remain firm in my purpose. All right, we trust. Oh, is she good? Uh, <laughs> there's nothing. I took but a glancing blow to the chest. Oh, no. I must go now, as must you. When you return to the congregation, deliver my message to Sir Handeloup. Please take care of my comrades and my father. God damn it. She's going to fucking die at her chest wound, isn't she? What a dick, man. Okay, back to Ishgard. One, two, three, four, alt three, and then one, alt one, alt two, alt three, four. That's how my combo is layered. That's the th that's the two combos. One, alt, yeah, one, alt one, alt two, alt three, and then four. Uh, why don't you have one alt two alt three alt four? So it works more like you're not your first combo. Oh, I see. I see. 
four is four. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Let's go, let's go. To the congregation. Cure on hard times. All right, we're going to talk to Handle Soup. Hello. Christine? Slain? I cannot believe it. To lose one of our best while Growly's shadow looms over us still. But we must deal with each threat as it comes. <laughs> we got over that quick. First, we prepare for the heretics. Thank you for alerting us to their plan. Now, loath though I am to place this burden upon you, Mo Monsieur Gaines must needs be informed of his daughter's passing. He has gone to meet Sir uh, Albrecht at the observatorium. Pray bear the news to him. Yo. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Tet tet. Thank you for the prime. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yo. That's a new sub right there. Hey, I got them. New sub right there. Welcome into the rap scallions. Thank you very, very much for choosing to support the stream. Appreciate the prime. And yeah, hope you're having a great day. Feel free to say yo. Enjoy the MOs. Enjoy the ad free and all that stuff. And uh, thank you, thank you. You're here now. You're here. You're stuck. You're here for good. Mmm, soup. Handle soup. We're praying bearing the news to Monsieur Gaines. Of course, he's at the observatorium. Time to go back to the observatorium. God, there's a lot flying around, isn't there? Been right. Had some major life changes happen. It's been rough. Um, hey, that's all good. As, as long as your health is in check, we recover from those, Jasper. Okay, we're good. We're good. I hope, uh, I hope you're doing all right, though. Sparkly horse. Does this one have a cool theme tune? Old? Oh, it's the same as the Phoenix. Ah. <sighs> okay. Here he is. Monsieur Gaines. Ah, Mistress Russ. Have you learned aught of my daughter's whereabouts? What? Slain? No, it cannot be. I am sorry, my friend. Hussein is one of Ishgard's finest dragoons. She would not fall to common heretics. This must be some kind of mistake. Y yes, a terrible mistake. Uh... I think we have to remain silent. She said, like, don't, don't disrupt. Maybe I can tell her dad, right? But I feel like she, she really wanted me to, to say slain just so she can do her thing. Why do you not speak? Are you hiding something from me? <gasps> Why? You are, aren't you? This writ plain upon your face. Please, I must know what became of my daughter. You may think to spare me pain, but I must know the truth. What? Hussein chose not to return. Oh shit, he, he rumbled me anyway. I know not what compelled her to act as she did, but it is enough for me that she lives still. Thank you for giving me this hope at least. All... To, the, uh, to those who do not know her, it may well appear as though Hustine has deserted. But I believe I speak for all of us when I say that she would not forsake her vows, let alone her people. Indeed. Indeed you do, Sir Elbrick. However, inexplicable, uh, however inexplicable my daughter's actions may seem, I will not cease to believe in her, no matter what it takes. I will find her and bring her home. The illusion of choice, yeah. Now I thought we were going to get the good ending. Monsieur Gaines puts on a brave front, but I hit, I fear the weight of worry may prove too much for him to bear. Yet another reason to find Hussein with all haste. Now, 
It seems plain she means to go after Growly and to recover Peregrine. But all well, these objectives alone do not explain her decision to, to leave. They reveal to us where sh she is like to be. Why can't we just leave her do her thing then? I get she wanted she wanted to be left alone. I shall track down the leader of the heretics, the man who has Peregrine. You, meanwhile, must continue dedicating yourself to your lance work. The trials of recent days have made you stronger, but I sense that the greatest tests are yet to come. See to it that you are fully ready to face them. Fang and claw, baby. Boom. I'm a real dragoon now. Four part combo. Whoosh. I'm a real dragoon. Okay. Where do we put this? The question is where to put this. On four? And then I have to move Disembowel to... Somewhere else. I'm getting a lot of abilities now. Yeah, I was thinking about moving these over here. Move that one up there. Move this one down there. Thing is, like, I I like doing my key bindings like properly when I have all my abilities, right? I've got shift Q. I like having my defenses on alt now. I guess I could use like alt Q. Or alt E. I don't need my glow stick, you're right. Put it on shift four, maybe. I'm not going to be pressing this that often, right? Okay, wait, let me... Is there anything to practice my thing on here? I need a target dummy or something. Press it very often. But I don't... I'm going to... Am I going to press it more often than disembowel? In which case... That's fine, it will take the spot on four, right? As much as full thrust? Okay. In which case, disembowel will get the demotion, in that case. Because that's only every 30 seconds, right? Or like 25-ish. So that one will take the demotion. Up at the Aetherite? Oh, okay. I'll go there in a sec. I really need to pee. One sec, guys. Pick your song for the Pete for the, uh, yeah. All right, here you go. Let's go with, um, <sighs> let's see here. All right, bear back a sec. Okay.
What a banger this one is. <laughs> we're almost... Oh, we're in sync. Damn, we are so in sync. I bless the rains down in Africa. Oh, uh, VOD, VOD enjoyers, we are currently listening to Africa by Toto. If you want to re rewind and rewatch the segment in sync, we're on 350 right now in the song. Down in Africa. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You are hearing Russ Radio. <laughs> Toto is a Lala Fell name. We couldn't we count those? Hell yeah. <laughs> now presenting Russ and the Stallers. <laughs> little bit of dancing. Little bit of dancing. The songbird emote is good. That it was this was a good purchase off the store for sure. It's like what? It was only like like three pounds or something like that for me when you start the idol career uh i don't think that'll be happening but we may do some karaoke at some point in the subathon when that comes around yeah mutant that does suck when you're buying the raid bus fucking hell what is this No, it's actually Ross Radio. Lockdown, baby. This is not live. This is not live radio. Okay, wait, hold on. I guess we're raving. I guess it's Uno Mass. One more song. Push the button. Yeah, I think I think I might need to get that one out. It might be that time. Let's see how it goes down. Who no mass sludge happy? Who this? This is uh, Elysian Moonchild. Okay. Guys, Vodfrogs, we're listening to Elysian Moonchild. Although it is a weird radio edit, okay? But we're like 1 minute 30 in. I arrived to a rave. Yo, Vosen, how's it going, man? How's it going? Let's, let's see how it goes. Let's see how the song does here. It's a, it's a mellow start here. The vocals just came in, Vod Frogs, okay? Okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's a little build up going. Oh, we're jumping in sync as well. Insert Cat Jam Mellow EDM. Sync your vocals. Okay, I'll. Child. There you go, you can sync to that, okay? Crack 
group therapy. Okay. Moon. Wait, hold on. Moon child. There we go. Push the button. <laughs> there we go. Left to pick my dog up. Came back to a party. Ain't even mad. I hope your dog is okay. Okay, it's about to drop. It's about to drop. Hold up. Okay, let's go. Look at that. Look at the ravers. A small rave today. We got dancers in the back. We call it build up. No stalling in music. This is a nice one. Moon child. <laughs> Dude, if streaming ever doesn't work out for me, I'm going to go into radio. It has to happen, man. I've got to just become a radio DJ or something. Yeah. Or a DJ, yeah. 10,000%. Yeah. Push. The Look, I can do it too. Push the button. <laughs> it's Tuesday. I just have to make sure I don't get the days mixed up. I'd be like, it's Tuesday, isn't it? On a Wednesday. <laughs> do good in radio? Maybe, yeah. I might do. I think I would need to take a... Uh, Take some acting lessons or something. You know, what? I've been I've been watching a lot of. You're not having Justin Bieber. Okay, we, I I I've been lis listening to a lot of Josh Strive Hayes, and he says like, like he's really good at never having like a second of dead space in his streams, right? And he said like, yeah, just take acting lessons and like learn how to speak properly and stuff. So I actually might do that even for streaming, just because then you always have like infinite things to say, right? Okay. Do you guys want me to do some do some quests or is it Uno Mass? No Mass? Or is it Uno Mass? Let's see here. Let me see if we get a good shuffle here. Oh shit! This song, dude. It's not like a rave one though. Let's have a little look, yeah. What do I have for you? I can't remember how this one goes. Oh, we can have a real cat jammer here. Bounce. We bounce now. But we got we got a little personal chef at the rave here. With the golden pan. Bounce. A small little observatory raid. You know what? A rave, sorry. I take we take those. Oh, that's Keecher. I was like, who is this little Lala fell? Oh shit. Yo, Raviol. I saw you. I saw the flip. 
Okay, now we, now we go, it, it goes straight in this one, but then it's a slow build up after that. Okay, hold. Hold. Man really singing about how he likes his ringtone. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, what did what were the lyrics? Nobody something my telephone or something, right? <laughs> yeah, this is a nice cute little glam there. Same with Cozy Rosie. Look at that. Yo, is that a scythe? Yo, that scythe looks sick. Wait, I meant to examine. Oh, it's a bow. Oh shit, okay. This one's about to go heavy. Rosie Play is so cute! Mm -mm. We bounce. We bounce. Got a line dancer over there. The rave is building. Cocktail is confused. I accidentally deleted my EU alt. How? Can you get characters back on this, actually? Okay. Is it back to quest time? This is the song that shuffled. Are we hearing this one out? Or is it quest time, guys? Vibe off. <laughs> I feel like this one could build. Or... Oh, dude, that's such a good Dr. Disrespect song. Oh, dude, I just found Fisher. Fisher has some bangers. Yeah, fishing? Anyone who might happen to be fishing right now. This is not his best, though, I think. His best has to be uh, losing it or stop it. Or take... Uh, what's take it off? <laughs> Welcome back, Dr. Mux. Disparage. Fishing disparage. Oh, dude, the rave is building. The rave is building. Dude, I actually thought this was one of you guys. <laughs> the Levo Mente guy. But look, Merid. Join us, Merid. Let's get the Sprout involved. Let's get the Sprout involved. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Is Merid one of you guys? We need we need to get Merit involved. Come on, bring out a glow stick or put put or throw some shapes at least. Now right now the rave is in uh, the observatorium in a uh, central Kothas Highlands. Okay, this song this song got good. This song got good, yeah. Nothing like raving in the cold. We're just keeping ourselves warm. Why are we raving again? I don't remember. I went for a I went to the toilet. I had a toilet break and then we shuffled onto a song and it was like it was kind of rude to pause it mid song, you know. But I, I did intend to do some more questing, you know. You mean sync? No, no, no. I went to the toilet break, not a sync break. All right. And now the rave is growing. It would feel rude to stop it right now, you know. I was like, who's Volps looking at? And this bun boy rocks up. Hey, wait a minute. He took my top. Benny. 
Aww. Look at him go. Hey, look. Mary joined us. Let's go. Level 62. Merit's higher level than me. Oh, Dancer right there. Literally. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, look. This one's this one's jammer. Jammer for the jammers. Oof! Meaty base. On point, Raviel. On point. Yo, look at that long range dot snipe right there. Look at the lalas in the. Look, Mini, there's a spot right here for you. If you said on. I think she said she's on her way. Spot right here between Rosie and Holo. I'm lost. <laughs> All right, here we are on the map. We're at uh, Camp Dragonhead. South of the Aetherite. How's the MSQ going? Uh, it's going to start in just a sec. In just a second. Thank you for the gift. You know? Tier Yo, Tweety. Yeah. Tier 3. Oh, shit. Pow, pow. Thank you. Thank you for the Tier 3. Four months as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Going towards that partner plus, we are going to get it, guys. We are going to get the partner plus. If you just keep on doing what you're doing, you've been amazing. You've been amazing. Surely we get it. We're on track. We were lied to. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we're at the Dragoon Trainer guy, you know, south of the Aetherite. Where did you guys go? Over here? They keep saying the observatorium when I, whenever they go questing. Look, that's the observatorium, right? But yeah, actually, you know what? When I think about it, there's another observatorium down here, isn't there? Somewhere. Monument Tower. Or this place? Oh, this place? No, you've been amazing. No, you guys have been amazing. Rip, have to go to my meeting. All right, Rocky. Have an enjoyable meeting, if, if it can be said. If it can be said to be done. Uh, I've done, I've got flying on the first zone, Frostbite. Frost, uh, yeah, flying on the first zone. Uh, let's see. Bomb dollar. This guy's got some bangers. Hmm. Here we are. Yo, look, we got Smug Dragon go up on the roof as well. Damn. This is a multi-level rave right here. More Lala Fells. More Lala Fells. We're really packing out the place now. Did you guys see there was a... Uh... There was a concert that a V I don't know what the name is, but a VTuber threw a concert and sold out an entire stadium. Can never have enough Lala's. I should switch to Lala. I have been Lala like two or three times now, I think. I, I do enjoy my Lala first. She's very cute. Hell yeah. Miku? Yeah, and it was like a link to heavy bass song. Uh, which one, Truck? This one right now or the previous? Or one of the previous? Oh, 
I'm rooting for Femro. Femro will come at some point. The previous one? Yeah, I got you. I got you. It's called Stop It by Fisher. Here you go. Here's a link on Spotify. So San Fran Disco. San Fran Disco, like San Francisco. You know? Bom, bom, bom. Yeah, there was Armin Van Buren. Uh, that was the one. That was the one singing about their phone, the phone ringtone. <laughs> Wasn't that probably the AI? I'm not sure. Yeah, was it Miku? You said. Yeah, I've I heard. I heard they sold like a twenty thousand stadium or something, and it was just a VTuber on stage doing this, and everyone had glow sticks in the audience. <laughs> it looked like a good time though, honestly. It's just crazy that like a VTuber threw a concert, you know? This must be the first time. Like a proper one. Yo, fancy yo. We were just uh we were taking a sl I, I took a I took a slight pee break before we got before we got back to questing and um Well, it turned into this somehow. It turned into a little bit of a rave spot. Good for them. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yo Dawn, how we doing? How we doing? Get that Nessie out. Pun based on the city name. Exactly. Exactly. San Francisco, where's your disco? Ooh. This is a shuffle. Niku's older than VTubers? Oh, okay. Yeah, big deal then. Oh, wait. Pecora? Hold on. Yeah, it was Pecora, the one I, I was talking about. Pecora had her first IRL 3D live concert a few days ago. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one. Look at this. It's nuts. Just ignore Asmongold. It looks fucking nuts, dude. I bet that would be a fucking sick time, though. Gorillas did. Yeah, I suppose it's a similar thing, actually. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Because gorillas were, like, just cartoon characters, obviously, for a very long time. But, uh... Was it just like two guys gorillas or something? I don't remember. Yeah, hologram concerts. It was two guys and then one of them went on to do another another band or something, right? The holograms. I never saw the gorillas uh, holograms. But yeah, the cart the cartoon stuff um I used to really enjoy the music videos, yeah. Oh, was it Blur? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool to have like an undercover band like that. 40 minutes. Wait, what happened? Uh, just came out 40 minutes. Zamal Darkhold. 40 minutes. I don't think we've ever been in a dungeon more than 30 minutes except that one Pharaoh Sirius run. I think that's the only time it's been more than a 30 minute dungeon run. Yeah, sludge. <laughs> and I think we were in there for more than an hour because uh, well, it was an hour and a half run, right? Plus the first run that we had to go outside. Dungeons are 10 minutes. Honestly, I really like the length of dungeons in this game. Like, they don't drag at all. It just feels like I just want to go again. Like, if I didn't get my fix in a dungeon, I'll just do another one, you know, and it's fine. Okay. Guys. Uno mass. Pick wisely.
This one's a banger. This one didn't get old. Good old Tiesto. All reliable right there. All reliable. You get it stuck in your head? Yeah. There's a few people that have said this gets stuck in the head. So I got it. I owe it to you guys to put it in there again today. Trying to order food on my app has a cafe called Zugma. <laughs> it's an earworm. Yeah, it really is. Uh, flows super quickly as you get into the double pool wall to wall. Yeah, yeah. It's like wall to wall, boss. Wall to wall, boss. Like you could just farm dungeons. They're so much more pleasant to... Because stuff dies in not too long. In WoW, it's like you pull wall to wall, but you'll spend fucking eight minutes killing the trash between bosses and stuff. Not good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the singer is Tate McRae. Mm -mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm -mm. Do they serve Bofa? Man, we really built a little bit of a rave going up, huh? Just from a toilet break and everything. Vase. Vase has to join us. Join us, Vase. They're just curious. Like, what's going on right now? Innocent Sprout. That's a lot of people. Impromptu raids. He's joining. He's joining us. He's finding a spot. Come on. Sprout watching is so good. No, VOD friends, we're about to start questing, okay? Rave with us. Mm -mm. More Lalafels have joined. Dude, Fenrir even has the ring. He's got like the glow ring. He's he's stepping it up. He's stepping up the rave game. Do you have any games on your phone? Only Call of Dragon. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Guys, it might be that time. It might be that time. Why is there no in-game music right now? We just have foot sounds. Goddamn night time. Alright, that was gonna be the Uno mass. Yeah, no, it's it's night time, it's night time. Alright, GG's. Good rave, good rave. Oh shit, we're getting we're getting G poses right now. We're getting G posed by Yuki. Oh, this is a nice little pick, actually. Wait, boss is right behind. Right. Boss, I'll try and get you in through my legs. Oh, but then, then I'm blocking Hell Morrigan. Wait, why don't I just move forward? Oh, there we go. That works. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, this works. Nice little pick. Look at that. More pictures for the screenshot album. Hell yeah. So now when we go back through the Heaven Sword screenshots at the end, we'll remember this. We'll remember this day. Perfect. Nice little impromptu rave, rave right there, you know? Tongue spinning away. <laughs> spinning dab. Right up there. Thank you guys all for coming here. It's so cool that like, we can just randomly do that. And actually a lot of people just, just come, come over <laughs> and like show up. It's really nice. God, I wish that were me. Wait. What do you wish for you? Small apple pie. 
Was that what I was saying to Voss? Wait, wait, hold on a sec. Was that, was that sus? <laughs> God, I wish that were me. Spinning, right? Like tongue? Yeah. Maybe by glow sips too. Sorry, CDD, sorry. Look, it is what it is. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, wait, one sec, one sec. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Spinning, yep. Did you mean... You know what? Never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. No, never mind. All right. Let's do it, guys. Let's do... Uh, I'm thinking, do I do another Dragoon quest or some MSQ? I kind of... I'm kind of feeling a little bit of MSQ, to be honest. To be honest, to be honest. Like, I've got the level 56 ability now. I don't know where to keybind it. I can't possibly face getting another keybind straight away. So I think 56 is high enough to do some MSQ for a bit, you know? I'm just wondering. I think I put this on four, and then I put disembowel on like. Ah, uh, I don't know where to put disembowel. Maybe. I could put it on like shift two, maybe. Shift 2 could work. I I might try that. Mm -mm -mm. 8 is not it. Uh, shift 2. Maybe that works. Yeah, I go up to 5 as well. So, like, I am pressing 6, but only because it's an OGCD and... Uh, like I don't press it very often, right? So I do actually hit six, but it's it's fairly okay. But other than that, yeah, I can't hit seven, eight, nine, etc. I do have a, I do have this mouse, but I don't know. I don't like putting my like combat abilities on it. Only stuff like potions and taunts and like random shit like that. Yeah. So right now it's one shift to five. One shift to T five. That's my opener. That's that's pretty that's pretty janky as well. One four shift two. Yeah, now it's one shift two, maybe T if I need to true north, and then five into one into shift R. Um, one E R two three four. Uh, shift Q. Uh, I think I want to. I think I want to full thrust. I want to life surge my full thrust and then just normal my fang and claw, right? Straight to jail. <laughs> Shift control plus hash slash L. Wait, what? L? Use L and hash? How do you how do you hit those? Rip the 1409? Yeah. That did make it all the way through a realm reborn though. Rotation reads like fucking wingdings. <laughs> what is wingdings? <laughs> oh, then the number. Right. Shift, control, plus number. What's the slash L? Oh, letter, I guess. Yeah, I have my one. I have like one, two, three, four, maybe five. Q, E, R, T, um, F, G, and X. And then I have a shift modifier on most of those. Shift Q, Shift E, Shift R, Shift F, Shift G can work, Shift T can work, Shift X could work, uh, but I don't like Alt, I like, I like Alt 1, 2, 3, I don't really like Shift 1, 2, 3, I really don't like Control 1, 2, 3, um, I like Shift 1, 2, 3, 4, Shift Q, E, R, T, uh, F, G, and then Alt Q, E, 1, 2, 3, maybe I could do alt 4 but I would just feel weird about that because I feel like I would accidentally alt f4 or something you know if I had a keybind on alt 4 I feel like my hand would just muscle memory go to alt f4 so I, I don't want to put anything on that <laughs> shift 1 to 5 uh I don't really like shift 1 to 5 but they they are functional maybe it's something I should get into the habit of yo crimson dragon how's it going man hello um Life surge always with full thrust all the way to Endwalker. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I think this is the hardest hitting ability, right? Because, I mean, it's... Is that 400 plus 100 potency, or is it just 400 total if you do it in a combo? A combo. Yeah, it does see, like Dragoon has a lot of buttons. It has it has more like buttons that you press frequently than any class I've played in WoW, I think. Like just having two five part combos is that's ten rotational abilities. And then you have like bits that you press here and there as well. That's so many. I played Demon Hunter in WoW and it's like four buttons is your is your rotation. It's nuts. But I suppose you're not like spamming those 10 at all times. It's just like use one combo a lot and then the other combo every now and then, right? Five set combo while doing Ushidushis and keeping up buffs. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the little button next to one as well. You guys have that little S thing. I have a uh, uh, this. I guess it types in chat like a little dash. Tilde. Yeah, that's it. But but the Nord you can tell the the Nordics have this little like S thingy here on it. Yeah, because I remember I used to have to use a Swedish keyboard, and it really fucked my shit up, man. All the buttons are just in completely opposite places. Like the at sign is a is like Shift two or something, or like Shift four or something, or, or something like that. And and like the hashtag as well. And then, like, I think question mark is in a weird place as well. I don't know. It, it really fucked with me. I'm just used to the UK layout. Alt GR plus two. Yeah. Where's question mark on, on a Swedish keyboard? Question mark is shift plus. Shift and to the right of zero. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Whereas, like, question mark on my keyboard is just, like, literally next to there, right? So, wait. Sorry. So, you just go, boop, like, massive shift button, and then it's right there. So, I just go, like that. Yeah, I touched the camera. Then we have hashtag right there. The at symbol, like right there, shift plus right there. And then on the these keys, it's just exclamation. I think I think it's pretty similar to US keyboard, but US has like a really small shift button, right? And you have an extra key here, I think. And then you have like a smaller shift on US, I think, right? Sorry of having three extra. Oh yeah, true. Because you have like uh, air, uh, an or like over here somewhere, don't you? Yeah. Yep. 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 God, I can't believe the camera still works after that. Oh, oh, that is a good letter. Oh, is a good letter. Yeah, and you have, you have. How do you say uh, those those letters in German? Is it is it er uh, er uh, or s? Is that is the u? Do you say it like or or how do you say that the u umlaut? Well, I obviously can't read it like that. I don't know how to, how to say it. When's green screen? Er <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. So is it the same as in like Swedish and Norwegian and stuff? Because like theirs is the or is the little circle on top of the A. Air is the two dots on the A and uh is the O two dots thing. Yeah, B is like zzz. okay, like zzz. Yes, two I thought it was like two S's in a row. That's the B thing, right? Yeah, hard to Maybe, wait. Hold. How to say, say German letters. How to pronounce German umlauts in 10 minutes. Dude, it, it can't take 10 minutes.
Okay, German. Umlauts. For dummies. Ah, oh, this one. Here we go. <laughs> We're learning. Uh. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of like Swedish. Uh, uh, ooh, wait. Wait, no, I, I said the last one wrong. Ooh, okay. Uh, uh, ooh. Is that right? You see? <laughs> I see we are stalling. Well, we're just learning. We're actually learning. Clap? So... So in Swedish it's er, uh, and then or, and then this is er, uh, u. Okay, that's pretty similar. And uh, example, I used to live in Sweden for like four years, so I I did my fair share of Swedish lessons. So I know, I know a decent amount of Swedish. I I suppose, um, and obviously there's like carryover with like Danish, Norwegian, maybe some Finnish, but I think less likely, right? And I guess there's a little bit into German too, apparently. What law did I miss? Uh we're just we're just learning about alphabets. Definitely not Finnish. Yeah. <laughs> fin Finnish Finnish has uh got some crazy language stuff going on. It's really impressive though, Finnish, in my opinion. Okay, what about the S? Do they go over that? Chat, you try. Nah, nay. Fogel, Fogel. <laughs> Fogel, Fogel. Yeah, same in Swedish, Fogel, right? Okay. Sounds almost like an O. I must have been saying, uh, Broder, wrong, my entire German. Bruder, broader, Bruder. Because I was probably just saying this is Bruder. Dude, we could learn a whole language on stream together. Good fucking job, everybody. Good fucking job. All right. We all did it. One, four, e, ni. <laughs> Ein, vier. Wait, wait, that's two different languages. <laughs> Shit. Surely we MSQ soon. All right, now we're going to go MSQ. Okay. Et, vier, e, ni. <laughs> o, ein, vier, um, null? Oh, I guess that would be, uh, uh, and, uh, ni, nine. No, nien? How, how do you say it in German? Is it, uh, that's why I drive here. Boom, six, even, alf. Uh, neun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Neun, and then, uh, zain. Yeah, that's it. And then, elf, zwolf, uh, drei, sig? Something like that. Beer sig? No. Dude, I'm getting the two languages confused now. Dry zane. Dry zane. Dry zane. Beer zane. Fum zane. Sex zane. Z zane. Al zane. Noin zane. Uh, sh uh, 
No, that was almost Swedish. Uh, 20. And then 21, 22, uh, 23. Yeah, okay. And then in Swedish, it's... At, uh... And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? And then, uh, uh, wait, fuck, what is eleven, twelve? Elf? No. No, that's dude. I can't. I can't do two. I can't do two foreign languages in the same fucking segment. Elva. Uh, and then uh, what is it? What's this in German? But, <laughs> dude, I can't. I can't remember Swedish numbers now. Ku very hard. Yeah. Wait, what is uh eleven, twelve? 13, etc. In, in Swedish. Uh, is it Elva? Tolv? Or was that German? Is it Tolv? Yeah. Tolv, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, Newton? Something like that? And then uh, Shugi, right? Or Shugo or something. And then you say like, you can abbreviate to like, Shuet would be like 21, but it's like Shugiet is the proper way. Shugiet, Shugitwo, Shugitre, yeah. Or Shugotre, I think. Shugi Shugi, yeah. And you could be like, so you could be like, uh, uh, Shuhu or something. And that's like 27. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's difficult, man. I can't do languages. I, I, I've never, like, got good enough at a language that I can actually speak it confidently. But I know, like, bits and bobs from a, a couple. I, I'd say German and, and Swedish is, like, the, the bits I know most of. Shugohu. Yeah. Now I'll say 777. Uh, okay. Huhundet or Hutihu. Something like that. Yeah, numbers are rough. 55 in German. Uh, uh, dude, I'm thinking of Fem de Fem, but, uh, uh, Eins, zwei, dude, Eins, zwei, drei, uh, dude, uh, dude, I, I've, now I've forgotten five in German. Fünf, fünf, fünf und fünfzig. Yeah, yeah, fünf und fünfzig. <laughs> God, man. My brain, I'm like switching between English, Swedish, and German. Yeah, okay. Did I, did I, did I do the who hundred, who who? I remember actually, it was like one of my first, so I just moved to Sweden and I went to uh, like my girlfriend at the time's uh, sister's place and then their dad came and was like, now say who heard of who to who? And, and I was like, bro, I've been in this country for like two days. And he was like, yeah, if you say that, you'll be fine in Sweden. <laughs> so yeah, it worked out kind of in a little bit. You start with the last. Yeah, it's like one and 20, two and 20. Yeah. This make me laugh. French numbers between 70 and 89. Six and fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh same same like the only stuff I know how to do in German is like describe last weekend. It's like let's does Wochenende. And then we had to uh it was it was all like Ish Harbor uh video game gespielt and stuff like that, right? Like I played like gespielt. I played in the past tense or something. Ask a German to say squirrel. Einhornchen. Yeah, and then there's a Kaninchen rabbit. Uh, yeah. Ich habe ein Kaninchen. <laughs> it's like, in English, rabbit. Kaninchen. Oh, 
All right. Guys, it's MSQ time. Surely now. Surely now it's MSQ time. <laughs> I encounter 10 in English, German, French, Spanish, Japanese, and Hebrew. That's nice. That's nice. I could not do... I could... I could. Well, I, as you saw, I could barely do three. English, German, and Swedish, like, back-to-back. -back. Uno mas. <laughs> well, we're learning languages now, Rocky. The stream has developed from raving. Well, it's questing into raving, into language uh, education. Because we have so many, like multilingual people and also different nationalities in the chat right so everyone can everyone can teach each other everything here technically i can count to 10 in english <laughs> first thing into raving into schoolhouse counting yeah honestly it's pretty basic stuff i suppose any chinese learners i would like to uh to learn we used to have to um learn some uh some numbers when I did karate as well. I don't know which uh, which numbers those were. I can't count plus four. Hey, it's fine as long as you only need to keybind up to number four. Let's do MSQ now. Russ, twenty five minutes ago. Look, I keep getting sidetracked by you guys. You know. Malaysian, yeah. Uh, loads of my Swedish friends can hear the difference between cheap, cheap and sheep, or chip and ship. Yeah, I mean, same with a uh, job and yob. <laughs> uh, the I, I really like the whole like y equals j in a uh, or like j equals y in Swedish. So you're like, I'm gonna go to the yim. Gotta go to the pop to the yim. Did you say job twice? <laughs> job yob. Go to, go to the yim. Yacking off. <laughs> uh, it's just such a meme online. Whenever whenever a Swede is like they're talking in English, but they can't like cut that from their brain, right? That like. When you talk English, it becomes job. So they go like, yeah, so I was doing my job. <laughs> like they say the rest of the sentence in English and then they just say job at the end. And everyone's like, oh, a job. <laughs> Job's done. <laughs> yes, my lord. All right. All right. All right. All right. Guys, we're going to go to my new favorite zone. Okay. And I'm going to practice out fang and claw. It's going to be great. Job's done. What a fantastic rave we had. Oh, these lalas are passing out. It is cold out, guys. There is a fire somewhere. Here, look. Warm up. You must warm up these cold lalas. Come on. He's doing it. He's doing it. Can I ask a quick question about retail? Wow, or is there a better place for, and a time? Uh, you can ask me. I'll just try not to go on a rant about it. But yeah, you can ask me a question. Just us. Yeah. Yeah, I've been called that many a time, actually. Put the popotos in the fireplace. Ah, uh, here they go. Here they are. He was on the map. We were so close. Yeah, the Lala's just need to go, like, within warming distance of the fire, you know? English, but jumbled up the letters. Roasted popotos. Yeah, we're going to make uh, popotos au gratin. Okay, guys, I'm going to post in my Discord later today the recipes that we're going to be doing on Friday. All right. Friday's stream will be, I'll be doing the New Year's event in game to warm up the stream. And then we will be switching to cooking stream. And we'll be making three recipes from this book. And I'll post them in my Discord if you want to cook along. There's a couple people that want to cook along. So I'll post them in the Discord after stream today. If you need to go get groceries and whatnot, then I guess you have a couple of days for that. Uh, if you don't want to cook along, hey, that's fine. That's fine. But you can watch along and watch me fail at making... I'm going to bake some cookies and then we're going to make uh, popotos au gratin and um, deep fried okeanis or something it was called. It's like pork schnitzel, I think. On Monday stream during the maintenance, I think I might do a Dark Souls stream. 
I think I might do a Dark Souls 1 fresh save. Yeah, I might make some Garcil Gisil Greens uh, on the side or something. A little salad. Something like that. Uh, yeah, I might just do like a fresh Dark Souls 1 run just for that stream and see how far we get in the stream. Um, I reckon... Do you reckon we can get to ONS in one stream? I think we can. I think we can get all the way to ONS in one stream. It should be should be pre pretty okay. We're gonna absolutely we're gonna like do a mini speed run. Like ONS is the peak of the game anyway, so we can definitely do like all the first half plus ONS. I think. Yeah, I can't stall DS too hard. Yeah, we'll try for a deathless run. Well, okay. We'll see how long the deathless run lasts, okay? I don't think we're getting to ONS deathless. I don't think we'll even get to Bell Gargoyles deathless. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but we'll see how long I can go being deathless. What the fuck is that? Spor veg secti bolag saxon mutzen stuke fak ferengs personal becklender dags magasins for... Boards for the Latarans. Yeah. What the hell does that mean? Uh, that will be on the mainstream, Amatoria. That will be on the mainstream on Monday. Yeah. So we'll do the we'll do the Dark Souls save on the mainstream. But my when I do start the second stream, when I do the second stream, uh, it's usually pretty late at night, like midnight my time ish, when I just want to play for a couple hours before bed or something. And usually that turns into six to eight hours and then I'm fuck up my sleep schedule. I might, I've got some videos to edit tonight, but if I have time after those, we may do some Dark Souls 2 on the second channel tonight. We'll see. Because I don't have to get up in a certain time tomorrow. There's no stream, right? So. Wait, second stream? Yeah, I have my second channel. Sometimes we use some variety and stuff over there. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, I really, I'm really itching to continue Dark Souls 2, so. Right, uh, guys, I had the map open. It's time. Thank you for coming to the rave. Time to go to my second favorite music in the game. Hi, Lucy. How are we doing? The churning mists. Oh, look. Mutant was already here. Mm hmm. This MSQ, Despair. Wait, this is Despair? Here's my boy. He wants to be me, but he has less purple on his set. So he must win less, you know? My set's purple, so it's cooler. Uh, Rocky? Here you go. It's, ba it's my name backwards. Yeah. That's the second one. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Uh, Alphano ponders the means by which you might find Harris Velga. Heaven Sword MSQ pump. Here we go. Boom. It's time. His lance is technically longer. Yeah, I, I didn't have I couldn't find that one in my bag. I need to get that lance. I swear I've had this one before. I don't know if it's crafted or not. Alright, we're gonna find Horace Velga today, guys. MSQ Peepo leave! Don't worry guys, we can still the beauty of it is we can still chat shit while doing MSQ. That's the best. Track carriage stock to the company, pretend dirt shooter, compartment association, personnel clothing store managers. <laughs> But is that actually a Swedish word or is that just loads of Swedish words put together? <laughs> oh, that's actually the longest Swedish word and it just doesn't even make sense. Got it. Got it. Russ is doing MSQ. You're not hallucinating. Now that we have scaled the mountain, there remains the problem of finding Horis Velga himself. Oh, Moogle's arrived. What manner of creature is that? Koopo!
That's all good, Eclipse. I hope your uh, work and stuff is all going good. And welcome in anyway. Moogles Peepo arrive. Hello, Koopo. Oh no! They're off. Russ, do my eyes deceive me? Or was that a Moogle? Yeah, I've been seeing them since day one, baby. It was my understanding that they only dwelled within the Twelveswood. I certainly never expected to see one in the churning mists. If the Moogle does live here, however, he may know where Harry Svelga makes his lair. Quickly now, before we lose the creature. Oh, we're going to chase him down. Yo, fishy. What's up, man? Oh, boy. Moogles. Sludge. Why do you guys hate Moogles? I thought we liked Moogles in here. Time to get Moogle mogged. All right. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Moogle hunt. Torches out. Moogle hunt. Ah, he's gone. Russ, we must widen our search. I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, Moogles are the best boys. Good old Moogles. Oh, Aetheric Disturbance and Destination. I'm going to go Aetheric Disturbance first. The nearby... Uh, appears warped. You sense a concealing magic, sir, at work. Huh. Okay. Surveying. Oh, shit. Mod check. There is no sign of a Moogle in the area. Your sail's right here. Imagine if it's right behind her. I've heard tales of these Moogles, but it's the first time I've ever laid eyes on one. Are they they are rather adorable, aren't they? True. What? Why do you stare at me so? Can I not find a creature adorable? My heart is truly not made of ice. Oh, she's fucking pissed. Yo, uh, Jalalok. Uh, if you're a WoW refugee, how do you feel about the story so far? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying the story, to be honest. Um, I felt like... Um, I mean, it's good, honestly. Yeah, overall. I was going to say I enjoyed ARR more than I was expecting because people were kind of like down-talking, I suppose. But I appreciate world-building and character development, so I was fine with it. Um, and I think like the start of Heaven Sword has been a little bit slow, but we're obviously like building up to something, right? Like we're going we're gonna, to like be best buds with the dragons slash fight them all slash both. Uh, so it's going, it's going all right. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy it so far, I'd say. Yeah, people hate ARR way too much. I thought it was fine. I thought it was all right. I feel the same way. Yeah. Like, uh, it might also be to do with the fact that a lot of people probably played ARR only one time when before they cut a lot of the quests and fill, filler and slow parts of it and stuff. So I have, like, a better experience of it. Also, I'd say, like, my... Experience is like amplified a little bit by the fact that I'm streaming and I can like do the voice acting and this and that So it makes me like get more into the story than maybe if I were playing alone as well Yeah, but I can see I can see why like some people like action and stuff and non-stop action. That's fine, but also Like I said, um I think I think a lot of people probably played it before it had its changes made to it, right? Yeah, I thought the story of ARR in total was was pretty solid, like including the post patch stuff. There was definitely points where it dragged a little bit. I'll say, like, like the the cadences of like the patches. Um, you know, it's like, oh, there's a thing happening, primal. Oh, there's a thing happening, primal. Oh, there's a thing happening, primal. But then there was like that background political story going on with like Alda and like Teleji with the Nanamo stuff. So. And then, like, the climax was great. Like, with the whole, uh, you know, banquet and party and etc. And Raoban just turning into an absolute Giga Chaz. Like, that was all fantastic. So, yeah. Um, I'm, I got well into it at that point. I mean, I probably got well into it before that. Yeah, the pacing issues. Like, it felt like... It felt like a little bit 
I guess it's just because of how the patches came up, but it was like jarring from like, whoa, big thing. And then just like slow back down. It was like, it was like constantly like peaking and peaking and peaking and peaking. And then at the end, like a really big one, right? Rather than like a slow, slow build up. That only happened in, I'd say like the last two patches, I guess. Or even last patch. Another first time chatter. <laughs> yeah, this one smells good. Winter mute. Already a sub as well. So easy, easy there. Welcome in. Um, they didn't cut as much as people like to believe. Don't think that has much to do with it, if anything at all. What do you think people uh, dislike about ARR then? Like, do you think it's just people that are less patient with like setting a scene and building up characters? Because I feel like the payoffs, the payoffs are there. They have been so far, and usually the stuff that people say to me is like, "Don't worry, it gets better," or like, "Don't worry, like there's a big payoff and stuff like that." Because like for me, it's like television or a film or something if i like i'll watch a first season of something where not too much happens because like the end of the season is fucking nuts right and i'm absolutely okay with that like i i even i even enjoy the whole process of the whole building up and developing and fleshing out characters and stuff if you make it past that you're gonna spend thousands of hours yeah yeah and i i was honestly like hooked before i even finished like base arr right the fetching wine. Yeah, there was a, uh, there was, okay. These are, these are my like parts of ARR where I thought it dragged the most. Probably um, the bits before Titan when it's like, I know that they're like kind of taking the piss with it, but it was a bit much. It was a bit slow, like a whole company of heroes and that stuff. And then uh, the bits before Castrum Sentry where you're like, building Maggie and rescuing and getting the armor and learning the salute and this and that like that part and like going to the sewer and listening in I, I get it's all like storytelling points but that was like a lot of back and forth on the same bit it was like a bit drag um but they're like the only two points in the story I can really think of where I was like all right let's let's get it on, let's get on with it kind of thing other than that because then like the payoff at like the end of 2.0 ARR was great with the whole like all of that with like the little mission table and the the little like battle plan and stuff was awesome i thought so you got the payoff there and then like the trial of porta deku mana or whatever it's called was like insane like i love that trial even even the dungeons the only thing i disliked about those uh dun you know i didn't i wasn't a huge fan of the first dungeon what is it um not the praetorium but the one before that custom Merid meridianum that one was like a lot of trash, which also all had a lot of HP. And like those fucking sirens just being like, wah, 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 for like fucking 45 minutes into your ears. That was kind of annoying. Um, But I liked the Praetorium and I liked the Lydia fight in Custom Ridianum, right? And then I really liked uh, Gaius and I really liked both phases of the ultimate weapon pushed into one, right? And uh, La Habre at the end of that as well. Like, that was like triple whammy where they just hit every fight, right? Like, all three of those fights in a row were just great. In Nero, I don't really remember his fight that much, but um, I really like his character. Like, with the whole crystal uh, tower and stuff was awesome. Like, he's, he's a... Dude, I can't believe they didn't put Nero... Wait, he wasn't in my tier list, was he? I did a tier list of my thoughts on ARR and the characters. And Nero wasn't even on that tier list. But I would definitely put him in like high A. Oh wait, no, I did put him in. I put him next to Sid. He was in S tier with Sid, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 I did put him in. He was there, he was there. Um, yeah, he was there. I, put it, I think I put him in S tier. Yeah. I, pr I probably need to put that one on YouTube at some point. Yo, what's up, Pop Daniel? I'm doing good, man. How are you? As if 1.0 existing. Yeah, true, true. It would be interesting to, like... I don't want to, like, go back and play 1.0 on a private server, but I would like to um, watch a YouTube video or something which, like, summarizes the whole of the 1.0 story or something. That would be that would be a good react, I think, one day. That would be a nice little react. All right. I see no evidence of this Moogle of yours. Are you certain it wasn't a trick of the light? Mayhaps it was simply one of those strange plants shifting in a breeze. But Yusail saw it. And yeah, Alfie saw it. And I, the Stinian trying to gaslight. 
Gaslight me, dude. Man. Always. Every time. You're taking a break. Oh, really? What are you, doing? What are you playing instead? <laughs> I'm not sure what these etheric currents do. Must be a Moogle thing. Get Koopoed. <laughs> I'm sure I glimpsed the Moogle flee fleeing in this direction. Could he be concealing himself with magic? Yeah, but I can see through that, can't I? I thought I could see... I thought they can... Like, I can see Moogles, but they can only make themselves seen to everyone else when they want. Like, they can... They have an on-off switch, don't they? But I, could, I thought I could see them at all times. But I guess not. All right, one quest down. Alphano seems convinced that the Moogles hold the key to finding Hatrace Velga. Oh shit, we're going back to Kani. Okay. Russ is one of the most kind and caring and humble person I am happy to have found in the lovely stream and have found a lovely community that I can call my family. Can we get some hearts in the chat? Can we get some hearts in the chat? Lovers, hearts, and all that stuff. Thank you for the kind words, Pop Daniel. We're glad to have you. I'm glad that we can uh, we can spread some happiness, you know. F tier character doing something. <laughs> Carney Senna was at the top of F tier, okay? Alright? Top of F tier. She was the most useful out of the useless characters. Alright? Cut her some slack. Cut her some slack. Confound it. Could we but enlist the aid of of one of the local Moogles. I am certain Harris Velga would not elude us for long. Why would the Moogles know? I guess if they live here, right? They must have seen a big dragon. Especially as they can go invisible. Though the eye enables me to sense the presence of dragons, I can only identify Nidhogs with any certainty. We could wander the mist for days and not know if we were any closer to his brood buck brother. And those days we cannot well afford to squander. Shall we divide our forces then? Yasail. Lady Yasail, may I ask may I ask you to question any dragons whom you judge it's safe to approach. Got it. I shall try that. He's gonna be like Asinian? Don't get into trouble. I shall try, yet I fear the influence of Nidhogg's rage will render most of the Dravanians in the area deaf to reason. And what of you, Master Alphano? I have not yet given up on the Mughals. Russ, come with me to Gradania. I mean to petition the aid of the Mughals kin in the Twelveswood. Let's get the good king up in here. After that business with Mogulmog, I dare say... Sorry, yeah, Mogulmog. I dare say he, they will be glad to help us. Oh, that is true. We did kind of do them a solid there. Assuming you have no need of me, I shall remain here. Idhog senses both the loss of his consort and the coming of the eye, and his attention is firmly fixed in this direction. I mean to do what I can to hold his gaze in the hope that it might delay any action against Ishgard. Thank you, Astinian. Such a good distraction, isn't he? Come then, Russ. Let us make haste for Gridania and rendezvous at Nofika's altar. Ah, but I neglected to tell you. There is an aetherite of ancient construction here, which should make the return journey rather less arduous. Pray do not forget to use it. Got it. We got it. Nafika looking the altar of Nafika. Sinian's just gonna stand up in there. Oh, he's just chilling over there. Maybe I need flying for these etheric disturbance things. Okay. No, not the good king. Get the good king up in the up in the clouds. Oh. Dude. Oh, there we go. Dude, I didn't have a notification come through for ages. <laughs> Hi, smelly raiders. What's going on? How's it going? Sai, thank you for the raid, man. How was stream? What did you get up to today? How's Stormblood going? Adrian, yo. We back. we back. Adrian Angel Dust, thank you for the four months resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are we doing today? Welcome in, raiders. Welcome in, raiders. Yo, gamer. Dumping a couple cuties and running to the gym. Hi, chat. Bye, chat. Have a great session and have some good food after that one, okay? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, Cyber Raiders. Okay, we are... My name is Russ. 
I am the the uh, essentially the ascended version of Cyber underscore TV, like the slightly better version. So I may treat you to, uh, you know, a little bit worse content, but true. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, we are doing some MSQ finally. I did some Dragoon quests earlier. Then we had a little impromptu rave stream, of course, because that's just what we do. And then now we're actually doing some MSQ. So we've just entered, uh, what is this zone called? The uh, Churning Mists. And so far, pretty nice zone. Good views. Amazing music. And uh, we're about to go back to Gridania, actually, to spy on some Moogles, basically. Didn't know Ascended was a synonym for stalling. Uh, look, it's all planned. All the stalling is planned, and it adds to the content, you know? It elongates the MSQ. Okay? It means that we have more time doing MSQ content overall, right? It's like small little sidetracks. It's like, it's like going the scenic route, you know? You can go A to B, or you can go the scenic route. And you can still get there and have all the all the good vibes, but you see more cool stuff along the way, you know? Just a little four and a half hour stall. Uh, yeah, but that wasn't stalling. I did my Dragoon quests for like two hours, you know? This is an ARR. Yeah, right? This is Heavensward. We're pumping. See? Pumpers do eventually pump, you know? I'm out of ARR. I'm done with that land. You're actually going at a very, very decent pace. You hear that, guys? Very decent. You hear that? Thank you, Blixer. Thank you. Very decent. Not just decent. Paid chatter. He is not. Look, he is not paid chatter, okay? Very decent pace. I'll take it. Can we get that? Can we get that on my headstone? <laughs> Went at a very decent pace. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, Fenrir. Thank you for the gift sub to Snaku Paku. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I somehow have a sub here. Yeah, honestly, people have been going crazy with the gifties in the last month or so. Although the subpocalypse is coming tomorrow, I believe. We're going to lose, over the next two days, I think we're going to lose 500 subs. So, it's a rough subpocalypse. All I can do is highly encourage you to uh, convert the gift subs to tier one if you enjoy the content and can afford to and want to, of course, um, because that will help towards the partner plus, which we're currently pushing on month three, month three out of three. So if we get it this month, we got it for an entire year and that'll be absolutely insane. Yeah, we could, there's potentially 500 new PP points that could, could start coming in over the next few days. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see when the gifted subs run off. And then and we'll give them a few days to convert and decide to resub. And then we can start the gifting again. And we can push push the sub count back up. <laughs> yeah, minus 500 subs is is a it's a despair kind of day. But it's also it's also one of those days where you're like, be happy it happened, you know? Hey boy, what are you doing? I have a dog. What are you doing? You've just been out for a walk, haven't you? He's a good boy. Are you being a good boy? No, not in the bin. That's not a good boy, is it? Show dog. <sighs> He's a good boy. over here. Dexter. You can see his tail going. So cute. <sighs> watch out. Watch, out. watch for my wheels. Watch out for my wheels. Yes. You trying to go outside? Yeah, he wants to go out. Come on then. 
Right. Just remind me to that he's out there. Okay, guys. I'm I'm not a good dog dad. <laughs> Seizu, thank you for the uh, follow. Appreciate it. He's a sweetie. He's the goodest boy. He really is. He gets all the head pats. Dog's outside. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, what? What the heck? Plus two. Plus two, oh, baby. I did not go to bed. He's out there. Thank you. The dog is outside. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Azari, thank you for the two gift subs to uh, Neolidus and Futon. And uh, yeah, if you guys are here, make sure you thank Azari for those. Uh, also, th Fenrir, thank you for the gift sub to Snaku as well. Uh, I didn't get to see if uh, there was a little thank you. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Nice. Thank you for thanking the gift subbers, guys. Yeah, there's a puppy. He's a big puppy. He's like seven years old. Is he done yet? He's not waiting out there yet. We oiling? <laughs> we oiling? I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I don't decide. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do it, guys. Not again. Not again. <laughs> You missed some you missed some some oiling earlier, Boston. How do they know? Thank you for the 10 gift subs. Guys, if you got one of those, welcome in. Maybe some raiders got them as well, you know? Strange. No no no, don't don't worry about it. No, it's not it's not he's not actually a puppy, but he's a seven year old doge, you know. Thank you for 10 gift subs. Appreciate those. Guys, if you picked up one of those right now and you're in the chat, make sure you thank Voss and Bergen. Alright. Thank you, Voss. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we had a we had a little train earlier. It was it was getting me to like the point of anger, where I was like I had to let out a little. What did I I, I did like an angry kiss, you know? Like it was like a pretty rage filled kiss to the chat, but luckily, luckily it ended. It started and ended there. We didn't have to we didn't have to end the stream of anger. All dogs are puppies. Vossen doesn't have the balls to give twenty tier three subs. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Carbuncle, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that, dude. You can't guilt trip people into doing it. Stop pause champing it, guys. The last time someone challenged me, I ran 100. Yeah. All right, hold on. Dog's outside. One sec. Boy. 100 tier threes don't no no guys don't do it okay all right you can't you can't be doing that to people in the chat <laughs> whoever's not gifting a sub is kind of cringe not gonna lie <laughs> guys stop bullying the sub gifters all right they'll leave they'll all leave and then everyone's worse off uh, might as well say triple dog daring. <laughs> All bark, no bite. Oh my god. Look, I'm gonna stay out of it. I'm gonna stay out of it, okay? All I can do is the right thing and tell you guys, no bully. No bully. I'm small, I have no money. That is okay, alright? Everyone's got their money needs. Everyone, everyone earns different amounts of money and they use it for whatever they would like, okay? They can do whatever they want with it. It's theirs. It's theirs. You have to bully the streamer. Exactly. All right, let's go to Nofika's. <laughs> Doesn't have the balls. <laughs> when he gets to Heaven's Ward and clears the raid, I'll give 20 tier threes. All right, bet. All right, bet. I mean, huh? He can bully me back in private later. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. Well then, well then. What you guys do in your free time? Hey, that's your business. That's your business. Right, to Nafika's altar. Money is for subbing, be it for Final Fantasy, your favorite streamer, or a secret lover. See? That's what I mean. Each to their own. It's your money. You can do what you want with it. Okay? You can do what you want with it. No bully, y'all. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Alfie, 
I sent word to the elder Seedseer upon arriving in Gridania, and I am pleased to report that she has agreed to grant us an audience. If anyone can help us to contact the Twelvewood Moogles, it is she. Uh, we are expected at the Lotus Stand. I trust you are familiar with the Conjurer stationed at his entrance. I, of course, dude. This guy always lets me in. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a lady. Dude, I... Normally, it's this guy, right? Okay, I guess... I guess... I guess it's this lady here. The Silent Conjurer. The Elder Seeds here awaits you. Pray, follow me. She's in. We're in. Not very silent now, is she? I thought that too. I thought it was going to be dot, 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 you know? Hi. I bid you welcome, friends. The Admiral spoke of having met with you. But tis no less of a relief to see you safe and hail with mine own eyes. We humbly thank you for agreeing to receive us on such short notice, my lady. And for all you have done for us in our absence. Would that it were solely to express our gratitude that we came to you this day. Alas, the tides of battle yet dictate our comings and goings. Elder Seedseer, we would beg your wisdom in a matter that may finally bring an end to the Dragonsong War. Speak on, friends. Budget gone. No more voice acting. Oh, they were going to skip it anyway. That's fine. They skipped. Khan E gave us an in. Yeah, she always does. She's a she's a she's a nice one, Carney Senna. I see. So you seek a means to contact these Moogles of the churning mists. Koopoo poo, koopo pop, koopo popo. I say koopo. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Kuplo Cop. To what do we owe the pleasure of your company? I was struck by a sudden urge to bring you some fruit, Khan E. And I'm jolly glad I did. Tell me more about these moogles in the sky, Koopo. Oh shit, I didn't do my Koopo voice. Let me go back. Okay. <clears throat> I was struck by a sudden urge to bring you some fruit, Kani. And I'm jolly glad I did. Tell me more about these moogles in the sky, Kupo. And then Alfie said, I will gladly tell you all I know, though it amounts to precious little. We encountered a moogle high in the clouds of Dravania, and I had hoped that you and your kin in the Twelveswood might agree to facilitate a meeting. Oh, shit. Pray correct me if I'm mistaken, Koopa, Kuplo. <laughs> but there are legends, are there not, which speak of Moogles who dwell beyond the clouds. All right, here we go. Indeed there are, Kupo. Long, long ago, back when the world was still young, they say my ancestors served the gods up in the heavens. Of course, that was before their masters took to bickering like spoiled children. Ah, yes, the tale of good King Mogulmog the Twelfth. May his name ever be remembered. He is revered for holding fast to a rope of miraculous strength that his subjects might climb down from the sky and escape to the world below. Yeah, but that was all a lie. Did we not establish that? Hmm. Ignoring the more fanciful aspects of the tale, <laughs> it may well be that Kuplo's ancestors hailed from the churning mists Given how long his kin have resided in the Twelveswood, it is perfectly possible that the details of their history have faded into myth. Indeed, Master Alphano, such stories oft contain a measure of truth. Tis like the Moogles of churning mist tell similar tales to the world below. You can imagine why one, the one you encountered fled at your approach. Yeah, so they think they're in the heavens, but they're actually just in the churning mists. Ah. Oh, fleeing second nature to us. We often hide when larger races come trampling through the forests. 
Of course. Where's the one Moogle? There's bound to be more. Which is why I've decided to take a trip to the clouds, Koopo. They surely won't be afraid to talk to me. I was hoping you might say that, Master Kuplo. You will accompany us then. Just... Just try to stop me, Koopo. I'll admit, the thought of venturing outside the Twelve's Wood is a bit unsettling, but I can hardly refuse a chance to meet my distant, distant cousins. If you will have me, I too will accompany you on this adventure and lend my voice to your cause as an ambassador of Gridania. Oh shit, she's doing stuff! Yo! Carney! Uh, uh, my lady, are you quite certain? The Mughal translator. How oft has our nation turned to the scions of the seventh dawn in its hour of need? How oft have we asked the warrior of light to risk her life to save our own? I thought I'd give you a little canny voice there. For many times I say to you, and never have they refused us. Thus do I choose this day to offer mine aid to our allies for the good of the realm. Is this not just? <laughs> A most unexpected and most welcome offer, Elder Seedseer. We would be honored by your presence. Nodders. We take those. More like Khan Bay. <laughs> now she's silent. She's not even. Just She just should be called Conjurer. Is it true? I know that. I know that voice, but I'm in this cutscene now. It is true. Is it true that the Elder Seeds here means a journey with you to Dravania? I shudder to think of the dangers. I see you. I see you behind the tree. Now, Fika's altar is a place of contemplation. Visitors are asked to refrain from creating a disturbance. All right, all right. Yeah, rave at the altar. No disturbances. Did you not just hear him? Alright, Alfie. What's up, man? Pray return to the summit and inform our companions of these developments. I will serve as the Elder Seedseer's guide on the journey back to Som Al. Dude, that's quite a mission she's got to go on there. She's got to go all the way to Ishgard. All the way through both zones. Through the mountain, up through the dungeon, ascend the summit, and then appear, and then arrive there. Damn, if only we could teleport, huh? It being a path I have already trodden, I do not I do not anticipate any great difficulties. Besides, we have the Elder Caesar's personal guard to escort us. True, true. Moghome. Oh my god, it's called Moghome. That's amazing. Not disturbance if it bangs me. Alter rave. <laughs> okay. To the Moogle lands. Wait, where? Oh, here we go. Oh, this music's so good. She's not attuned. Yeah, so she, she can't actually TP there. But once she gets attuned, boom. Never again do you have to walk anywhere. SD. There he is. She going to lick her. Well met, warrior of light. Nidhogg has not stirred, but he watches us unblinking. Huh. 
Hmm. The elder seeds here herself answers your call. Then there is naught to do but wait. Here she comes. Scotland. <laughs> they are here, Russ. I'm surprised you didn't say they have come. Greetings, my friends. Oh, we're going to get a banger song coming in a second, aren't we? Greetings, my friends. I'm happy to report that our journey was mercifully event uneventful. The void as the road was to Dr of Dravanians, it would seem the dragons have abandoned some all for the churning mists. Please play the Moogle music. Elder Seeds here, may I present to you Sir Estinian, Ishgard's Azure Dragoon. Damn it, it's Kani music. It is an honor to meet you. It is an honor to meet you, Sir Estinian. I have heard many tales of our order's extraordinary skill and courage. When the music plays, you have to put on a voice. Friends, I feel it only right to inform you that we are not alone. The Mughals are all around us even as we speak, and I should imagine they are more than a little concerned by the horde of strangers that I have descended upon their home. Mayhap now would be an opportune moment to introduce ourselves. It does sound like her, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Never seen Russ and the ARR voice actor Vakani in the same room before. Well, now you know my secret. The cat's out of the bag. This should serve. I need to hear her new voice. I don't think I've heard her since uh, the voice actor must have changed. They are hiding, of course, but there are so many of them, Koopo. I am Kani Senna. My companions and I have braved the long road from the Twelveswood to share words with you. On this, the occasion of our first meeting, we bring an offering of light and wind. Go on. Ooh, she's doing stuff. Cute. Oh, this is like a this is like a ghost ghosty voice. Ooh, such a gentle and pleasing glow, Koopo. Hey! I am Moglin, the chieftain of this Moogle clan. Yo, Moglin, let's go. My liege. Chieftain Moglin, it is an honor to meet you. Greetings, I am Kuplo Cop. Ambassador of the Twelvewood Moogles. A Moogle from the world below. Your hide is of a different hue, but that palm is unmistakable. I might need a moment here, Koopo. <laughs> my compa oh, my companions were no less surprised to learn of your existence here amongst the clouds. I hope they did not startle you overmuch in their eagerness to make of your acquaintance. Full well can I imagine your wariness. I am told that men have not walked here in nigh on a thousand winters. Mayhap you will forgive them their forwardness when I unfold to you the grave matter which first brought them into your midst. My companions crave an audience with the great worm Harris Velga. They might that they might negotiate uh, an end to the war twixt man and dragon. Dude, Moogles are great. They are actually no cringe. An end to a war, you say? Hmm. I do trust you, Kani Senna. The light of peace shines brightly within your soul. Ah. 
But I'm afraid the same cannot be said to your friends. <laughs> it's a stinion, isn't it? That got that's got a sting, man. To be plain, we did not hide ourselves because they were the first of your kind to be seen here in a thousand years. Well, not only because of that. We hid. We hid because we smelled dragon blood. It actually is. Astinian is stinky, dude. Stinky dragon blood Astinian, dude. You're cool. You're cool. Fuck that guy. You're cool. Yeah. Stinky. Uh-oh. Stinky. These skies are home to many, many dragons. While some crave peace, such as Thrace Valga, many others crave the opposite, such as Nidhogg. Suffice it to say, we are worried that the presence of your blood-spattered warrior friends will attract the attention of the nastier kind and invite destruction into our happy home. <laughs> Me and Astinian both. Is that because I'm a dragon right now? Now, just a moment. Oh. Now, just a moment, Chieftain. Russ here may have doled out the odd trashing or two, but it's always been for a really, really good reason. She is a champion of the Twelvewood Moogles, and I'll not hear her good name slandered, Kupo. Now, now, Ambassador, let's not ruffle each other's fur. I shall, of course, take your testimony into consideration. Yay! Good blow cop sticking up for me. If I may, Chieftain, there is little room for us twixt strangers. Might we not take this opportunity to learn more of each other? Weep boop. They have pink balls, and Good blow cop has a, has an orange ball. An excellent suggestion, Kupo. In the interest of fostering friendship and keeping an eye on you, I extend to you the hospitality of Mogholm. Prove yourselves worthy of our assistance, and it will be yours. I shall be watching, Kupo. Alright. Slightly befriended the Moogles. We got this. That'll do for one day. That'll do. Kupo Cop. They have pink balls. <laughs> Slight friendship. Yeah, we went from we went from unfriendly to friendly. Or like from hated to neutral. Moghan and Moglo. Moglu. If your tummy's gloopy or your wings are droopy, I have a potion to fix that. This one's a big boy. Are you surprised to see such a fierce looking Moogle, Koopo? The Pom Guard must defend Chieftain Moglin at an all of Mogholm. Mind your manners in front of the chieftain and don't make him repeat himself. Damn, what's he going to do? Look at him sitting in the throne. Oh, that is so cool. Mogomo and Mogret. Have you ever seen such a spe splendid flower, Kupo? I water it every day. I can't wait to see it grow even more. Oh, look. I have one of the most important and difficult jobs in Mogholm. Watering the flowers, Kupo. You can't put too much and you can't put too little. Truly, it is an art form. Hey, look, there's the, the Moogle Mount. Look. As Maestro Mogwin finishes his latest piece, I can hardly wait to see it, Kupo. Wait, Mogwin. That's Moglin. Where's Mogwin? Mogto. Mogto. If you follow the path all the way to the top, you'll come out on the summit of Som Ar. There is such a lovely view up there, Kupo. Well, that sounds like an invitation. Let's go. Toes? Ooh. Nice. Did not expect that. <laughs> uh, ooh, peachy. That one was peachy. Yeah. Some all summit. And there's some moogles up here too. Ooh, pretty. We truly are in the, in the clouds now. Oh shit, what the hell is that? The 
House of Letters. Probably nothing. Trush. <laughs> Alright then. What else do we have up here? There's something up there as well. Maybe that's the House of Letters. Or this? No, that's the... The Barlin. The Barlays. Oh look, Mogul. Mog home is a wonderful place, but I like being under the sun so much more, Kupo. Feeling the breeze on my palm and watching the sparkly stars is just so relaxing. This mo this Moogle got taste. Stargazing Moogle. Oh man, this night theme is nice. Oh, that's just a vape, is it? Oh, okay. More Moogles. Mogmill. Dude, I haven't heard this night theme yet. Wait, triple triad. Small talk first. I'm going to build the biggest collection of shiny landlord treasures any Moogle has ever seen, Kupo. And then I'll bask in the envy of everyone in Mogholm. Twist his dick! All right. I'm terribly busy at the moment. I must clean my collection of shiny tools. We can play when I'm done. Oh, fuck. I just got, I just got turned down. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I saw you. I wanted to twist his dick. Wait, hold on. I meant I wanted to fight him in uh, thingy. Triple triad. Huh? Uh, I meant like like in a in the in game and like in a game of cards. In a game of cards, guys. I wanted to no in a game of cards. Add it to <sighs> Add it to the quotes. <laughs> I too wish to rotate his penis. <laughs> Mogzia. No other place in Mogholm gets more nourishing sunlight. So, this is the ideal place to grow kupo trees, cloud mellows, and other precious plants we want to protect from the br brutish. Dude, I almost read as British Skylords, Scoopo. Dude, this zone's night theme goes hard, man. Dude, I love the piano. It's nice. Do 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 the day theme yeah both both is amazing this zone this zone had the best music so far in heaven's sword all right i think i'm just above the lands now like doing stuff so i got i guess we gotta go back down into mog home look how cute it is down there wait what oh. <laughs> easy clap right back to it Tell me, in the world down below, do all of your kind look so different from one another? It must be terribly disconcerting. What was it Kuplo Cop called you again? The Warrior of Light. Russ. Huh. 
Your names are as odd as your appearance. Have you ever considered a nice Moogle name? Moglin is taken, by the way, Koopo. <laughs> as are Moghan, Mogmug, and Mogwin. These being the names of three wise Moogles who would administer the momentous challenges that I have devised to measure your worth. I call them the Trials of Trustworthiness. Mogstall. Come on! That one works as well. Mogstall. Or Mogrus. This will be on the test. Undertake these trials and we shall soon see whether, you, whether or not you are worthy of our aid. Titanium Bastard Sword. Wait, that's a warrior weapon. It's a sword. It's a gladiator's arm, right? Oh, wait. Gladiator's Paladin. Okay. Wait, there's no shield to come with it. Wait, what? Here we go. Marauders. Eh. Yeah. Wait, so they give three they give three tank weapons and then a samurai whip. What? Okay. The Uchi Katana. Uh okay, let's go with um I guess we'll just take the axe because I don't have one for this level. Hi. <laughs> Wait, are you off, Dr. Mark? So what happened there? <laughs> okay. So here's Moghan. Mog Mug. Ah, oh, here's Mogwin. I was looking for Mogwin before. <laughs> Test my trustworthiness with a trial. Right. Um, is it worth uh, starting these, doing like one of these quest chains, or are they going to take a while? Because we're at a time when like I could probably go a little longer, but I also wouldn't mind uh, finishing up if this is a good point to stop. Summer sword is added retroactively. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Thanks, good. Uh... Tanks could and used to wear DPS accessories, yeah. A small side quests. I don't mind uh, doing one or two. That's fine. Let's do this then. Mogwin would test your trustworthiness with a trial. Mogwin's the name, and art is my game. When it comes to painting, there are none in Mogholm who can match my talent with a brush, Koopo. I know why you have come. Chieftain Moglin has demanded that I test your trustworthiness. But as I trust no one to create art that will satisfy me, I instead charge you with retrieving a masterpiece I seem to have misplaced. Pictomancer. It was an ambitious and innovative work, guaranteed to fetch at least four Koopo nuts from the open market. You must find it. Question the masses. Surely a pebble painted with such vibrant color and unmistakable panache cannot have escaped the notice of every Moogle in Mogholm. All right, it's a questioning quest. We need to get information. This is just a quest, isn't it? Mogwin is missing his masterpiece, Koopo. Oh, you mean that paint smeared mass mess of a pebble? I have not seen it recently. A fact for which my eyes are profoundly grateful. <laughs> Mogto. Hmm, I don't know how, I don't know much about his stone, but I do know Mogwin's been creeping out the back way to some our summit for, for some time, Koopo. Maybe he left it up there. Creeping out back? Is it, is it illegal? I mean, we had one Stargazer Moogle up there, you know? Maestro Mogwin has misplaced his masterpiece, Koopo. Oh, happy day. If, if I am the swifter in finding it, I will soon have a genuine Mogwin for the price of a little persp perspiration. Honestly, who has four Koopo nuts just lying about to spend on such luxuries? Oh, he's off. The model one's just off, dude. 
Five Alps. Okay. Well, it looks like it's up top, and two of them went for it. Oh, one of them went for it. Four whole Koopa nuts. Well, what did you find out, Koopa? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, ah, yes. Now that you mention it, I do seem to recall leaving my pebble out in the sun to dry. Ahem. But the second part of your trial commences. Go, adventurer, and retrieve my masterpiece before some art-starved admirer sw swipes the stone for himself. Upwards. Onwards and upwards to the summit. Double the nuts. Yeah, four Koopo nuts is pretty big. Four Kuplo Cop nuts. Oh, so it's at the summit is different music. Oh, and then it's the piano music. Ah. Oh. We're on it. We're on it. Mog mill. Alright, where's the stone at? Painted stone. Why would he leave it here? Obtain the Moogle masterpiece. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could... Yeah, you stargazing. Honestly, good call. Oh wait, eyes are closed. Just a straight up nap. I would stargaze to this music. Wait! It's all cloudy now. Dude, it was it was starry before. Huh? No. Also, we can't see that demonic looking spiky thing anymore. Yo Hazard, what's up? Okay. Ugh. Oh dude, that's one of my favorite musics as well. Dude, this zone just pumps. Mog Mug would test your trust. Oh, that's that's the wrong thing. Wicked baby. Do you have it, Kupo? Is my masterpiece safe? I got it. I got it. Yes, this is my work. Is it not exquisite? I call it Contemplations of Zenith. Thank you, madam. At last, I can exchange my art for those delectable Kupo nuts. Chieftain Moglem will hear of this valorous steed. Get the red mage. Get the red mage weapon. Of course. Of course. Of course. All right. Next up is Mog Mug. Mog Mug would test your trustworthiness with a trial. Oh, and we can get a gun here as well. Nice. Hmm. Yes, you have the pleasure of speaking with Mogmog. Mog. I know, I know. I am the fluffiest, most enchanting creature you have ever laid eyes upon, Koopa. Isn't it just easy being this adorable? I can barely take a stroll outside without those relentless Dravanians throwing themselves at me. Why, they look as if they might just gobble me right up. In any case, fleeing their overbearing adul uh, adul adulation is growing a bit tiresome. Your trial, madam. It is this. Find these ardent archosaurs and slap some manners into them, Kupo. Perhaps a firm smack on the snout will teach him to appreciate my charm from afar. Give him a slap on the snout. Okay. I guess we're leaving the burrow. Wait, actually. Yeah, I think we got to go to the Aetherite. Do, 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 do. I hate doing side quests. Yeah, this one was pretty short. This one's pretty short. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sinity, I totally get that. Absolutely. So far, this this, pro this has to be one of my favorite zones. And I've like barely started it. It's mainly just the music. Also, there's Moogles. So that's great. Hello. Oh, I'll wait for you. 
Moogle enjoy us. The side quest to unlock the crafting. Oh no. There's a bull. There's a bull on the loose. There's mine waiting. <laughs> Hello. I have arrived. Oh shit, I get to use my new... Uh... Boom. Bang and claw, baby. Boom. It's got cool animation. Very nice. Okay, nice. It's done. Is that it? Is that the whole quest? I guess. I guess I was just beating uh, beating some sense into them, right? Boom. <laughs> Boom. This is how it goes. Crafting is an absolute joy except the Moogle craft. Oh, so is this to get like the Moogle weapons and things from Good King Moogle Moogle Mog? You were able to humble my Dravanian devotees. Wonderful. You're as capable as I am captivating, Koopo. Still, my precious perfection does not excuse those lutes from pursuing my, me so mercilessly, their tongues lolling and their bellies rumbling. The Dravanians and their ilk have much to learn about the acceptable acts of admiration. <laughs> Alright, is that the goo That's the gun? Alright, we'll get the gun. Boom. Oh, he has a follow-up quest also. Alright, Moghan. Morghan would test your trustworthiness with a trial. Yes, hello. I am Morghan, the foremost alchemist in Mogholm, if you must know. If your tummy's goopy or your wings are droopy, I have a potion to fix that. Or, I would if I didn't keep running out of ingredients. Luckily, you're here to do my chore. A uh, 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 trial. Yes, go forth, mighty adventurer, and mightily pluck three sprigs of cloud's breath for me. You'll find it blooming near the entrance to uh, Isle Tome. It's not the safest of places, so don't let yourself be too distracted by the pretty flowers, Koopo. All right. Let's go. It's not safe. It's not the safest. Struggling to get my endgame macros to work. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah. Crafting macros is the only time you're legally allowed to use macros, right? And now the Moogle retainer. Oh, no. How can I be two people's retainers at once? Well, I'm a whole faction's retainer right now. And to be fair, Alfie's not in sight, is he? We've got a G poser here. This is not recommended. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know you can use them, but I've heard it's uh I heard it's bad to um to use them for like combat abilities and stuff. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Cloud's breath. Oh, right. Yeah, we got one out of three. One out of three. There's one. I see them. Astrologer. Oh, yeah. I heard controller. Astrologian is, is really rough. And scholar. I heard like scholar is basically extremely difficult to play on controller, right? Huh? Can I fall? Oh my god. I, ca I can't. Okay. I actually tried it. Must be up the other side. Or up top, maybe. Do, do, do. 
I beat ya. Funk. Oh. Music changed. It's daytime now. Alright, okay, it got 6 a.m. Not heard the daytime music yet. Oof. Beast. It's a Miss Beast. Wow, this one is good. Call and control is very playable and good. Oh, okay. Oh, it's targeting, right. Mr. Beast. <laughs> Dude, violin goes hard, man. I just love all like orchestral instruments. They're so good. Now we got like organ coming in. What's that? Is that an enemy? Oh yeah, it's a sprite. What a banger. What a banger. Right, so this bagpipey thing is just the Mogho music. I got it now. Mm -hmm. Mokan, did you have any trouble finding Cloud's Breath? I do need it quite urgently, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Impatient Moogle. Oh, yes, these are perfect, Koopo. Now, I have the main ingredient for my Pom Tonic. Speaking of which, how are you feeling, miss? Should you ever feel your Pom losing its bounce, then I'm your Moogle, Koopo. I think I had this one, didn't I? It's a titanium one. Oh, it's literally the titanium one. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've completed the trials of trustworthiness. Return to Chieftain Moglin and await his judgment. Okay. Let's do it. Chieftain Moglin is ready to pass judgment on your trial performance. Russ, if that is what you insist on calling yourself, you have completed the trials of trustworthiness administered by the taskmasters Moghan, Mogmog, and Mogwin. During these grueling tests of character, I closely observed your conduct as well as that of your companions. I am, and I am decided, Kupo. Gather your friends before me now, so I need not repeat myself needlessly. I just have to tell them to come over. Come on, do I really need to do that? <sighs> All right. Come on, man. Just put the cutscene on. Are these trials over then? My task has been a little more than the household chores. <laughs> All right, I see. <laughs> We're going to talk shit about them a little bit. If our hosts elect not to grant 
their aid after working us like pack like a pack of chogo chocobos. I shall demand compensation in coupon nuts out of principle, but I hope it will not come to that. Let us hear the chieftain's verdict, shall we? We just got couponed, and Alfie wants coupon nuts. How go your trials, Warrior of Lights? I myself have been sent on a number of expeditions to chastise the local dragoon population, a dragon population. Did not that chieftain say avoid inflaming the Geranians? Such contradictions aside, our hosts seemed entranced, entranced by the height of my leap. They compared me to Mog, a lance wielding Mughal warrior of Eld who has also favored such attacks. It was meant as a compliment, I expect. But I doubt these furry lumps could outleap a, car a caracal lamb, much less a dragoon. Conclude your business here swiftly, Russ. I like not this place. Good old Astinian. We can always count on him to bring the mood down. Standing here in Mogholm, my thoughts turn inevitably to the legend of good King Mughalmog the Twelfth and his seat in the heavens. Like most... I thought it no more than a myth, a story for younglings that grew with the telling. But with every passing moment, I become more certain that we have discovered the origin of the tale. Full eager I am to hear what the chieftain has to say. Yeah, it, they definitely did. They weren't in the heavens. They were just up here, you know. You sail. What sorcery is this that my heart should stir a mere fluffiness? <laughs> oh. Russ, uh, I, I was... No, no matter. What was it? Chieftain Moglin has made his decision. Well, let us not keep him waiting then. Oh, she's getting soft. She's getting soft. Ice heart. <laughs> we become such friends, Koopo. Oh, sorry, guys. We become such friends, Koopo. My Mughal cousins love to sing and dance as much as I do. Chieftain Moglin has finally come to a decision, has he? Well, I suppose I better flutter over and see him then. Okay, Moglin, lay it on us. Please be voice acting. That would be sweet. <gasps> Damn it. Never have I seen such determined workers, Kupo. It would have taken us moons to complete all those dreary chores and niggling errands. Yeah, yeah, we saw through it. And have our labors proven the purity of our intentions, chieftain? <laughs> Without a doubt. In fact, there was never really all that much to doubt to begin with. You were all, after all, already friends with a fellow Mughal. Okay. But you see, before any meeting with Horace Velga could take place, certain preparations need to be made. And what better way to help you pass the time than by having you perform all the tiresome tasks that no one ever wants to do, Koopo. We were used. Ah, oh, shit. Is he going to kill a Moogle? Did the music cut out so suddenly? Grrr. He's just spotted a hype train. Uh-oh. He is not happy. Oh, dear. The horn. Bring out the horn quickly now. Are oh, they going to play him a tune? <laughs> oh, it's me. I thought they gave it to his Didion. We blow this wondrous instrument whenever we wish to speak with the great worm, Koopo. Oh, he was getting pissed. We, uh, we haven't perhaps been treating it with the care it deserves of late. And I think Moghan may have sat on it. So we need some time for cleaning and polishing and straightening. <laughs> oh, no. Put the horn in his ass. Oh, God. No lasting harm done, no. Now, we need simply heed to Zenith. The worm's dwelling to the west and give the horn a good old toot. We're in your debt, chieftain. Thanks to your noble gift, we shall finally have a chance to plead our case to Harry Svelga. Very possibly, yes. But I wouldn't get my hopes up too high, Kupo. 
the old worm isn't terribly fond of um uh, your concern is appreciated but i am quite certain that harris Vargo will welcome our overtures oh we're being judged hard now judged by a moogle if only we had pooters <laughs> where's pooters should we ever arrive at his lair come we have squandered enough time already she is fucking pissed. Who's more pissed right now, Estinian or Yasail? Chieftain Moglin, we thank you for your gracious hospitality, though we must soon take our leave. I pray that we may continue to nurture the shoots of this new sprung friendship twixt earth and sky. Of course, of course, Kupo. Visit us whenever you wish. Consider Mogholm your home amongst the clouds. Nice. I do enjoy Mogholm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Tanned in. Thanks for the help, Kupo. I doubt I would ever have found all the time for those rotten chores. Hey, hey, it wasn't my idea. If the chieftain had spent a little less time sitting about and a little more time chieftaining, things would never have gotten so messy in the first place. And he was the one who sat on the horn, by the way. But now all the errands are done and the horn is fixed. So all's well that ends well, eh, Koopo? Ah, Cute little quest line right there. That's how Mog Moghan blows the horn. <laughs> Here you go. Blow the horn, Koopo. <laughs> Blow the horn, Koopo. All right. I guess that's a good place to stop. We'll leave Mog home. Um, oh, God. It's going to be a while till next MSQ. Friday, we'll do New Year's event into cooking. Monday is maintenance. So we'll play Dark Souls. We'll do a fresh Dark Souls run right here on this very channel right here. And Tuesday, back to the MSQ. Wednesday, we'll do more. And Friday, we'll do podcast. Right, next Friday is podcast. Yeah. So you got plenty of time to catch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuesday, isn't it, mate? MSQ Tuesday. Exactly. Um, Takeo Silverlife, thank you for the follow. Anyone else who's new in the stream today, welcome. Thank you again, Sai, for the raid. If any of you guys are still here from Sai's raid, welcome in. Hope you had a good uh, little wind down after Sai's stream. Feel free to follow if you're new, like I said. And um, yeah, hope to see you next time. Uh, the call of If you're doing the Call of Dragons thing... Um, it is finishing tonight at like in... Let me double check. Let me double check. One sec. I think it's in about six hours or so. So if you're level 10 or something like that and you have some speed boosts, try and get your base up to 11 if you want to. Um, if you want to and can, of course. If not, no sweat, of course. Um, but yeah, if there's people like close, we're 28 out of 50. So um, yeah, two more at level 11 would be great. Then we can do an extra giveaway. Otherwise, thank you all for taking part in that. It will be disappearing tomorrow. Um, but yeah, if you're super close and you didn't quite get 11 yet, you got till... Uh, you got six hours to get it done. Um, so it's possible if you set it going and use a bunch, any remaining speed boosts or anything. But yeah, thank you for taking part in the Call of the Dragons stuff. It was, it was really awesome. Hope you had fun with it. I tried to make... Like, if I'm going to take those mobile games, I'm going to try and make them as fun as I possibly can. Um, because obviously I'm aware that, like, sponsors, like, a lot of people get a little bit, like, of an ick from sponsors. But at the end of the day, they get, they, you know, I'm only going to take sponsors which I think are, like, worth taking. And therefore, they, they make up a huge part in, like, helping me keep on doing what I'm doing. You know, paying the bills and all that stuff. I got bills to pay like everyone else. So, yeah, the sponsors, um... They're probably going to be like, you know, a semi-regular thing on the channel. I only take them when I think there's one worth taking. So some months we ha might have a couple. Some months we might not have any. Uh, so it should balance out. But yeah. Um, yeah, Bill's got to get pays. Yeah, it, it's, how, it's, a, it's an easy bag that doesn't rely on like you guys straight up just funding it. Like it's, it's a bit less 
crowdfunding. So that's good. Like, uh, I want to try and diversify in that sense, like not purely rely on crowdfunding because that can be a little bit hit or miss, right? So, um, but yeah, you guys have been super generous through the last month. Uh, and yeah, thank you for taking part in the Call of Dragons stuff. We might get a Hello Fresh one like next week or so, but that's like one that's just going to kind of be in the background running because it just has a base fee. I'll see. I'm going to look into it. Um, and I think most of you guys back and ship Hello Fresh anyway, so it's it's all good. So we'll see. We'll see. But I'll try not to take too many like intrusive, uh, too many intrusive sponsorships. That's kind of I'm trying to be morally right there. Um, but yeah, thank you for for taking part in that. It was good. Yeah, the bear raid was cool. Like, I tried to do, you know, I, I do want to do, like, some community stuff when I do those things. There might be other mobile games in future. There might be other non-mobile game sponsorships and stuff. Like, the thing is, they, they're the ones that pop off the, the most frequently and require the least negotiation. So, they're the easiest for me to land, I suppose. But I'm trying to diversify in that sense. Um. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. Appreciate you all. I'm going to see who's on to raid real quick. Um, let's have a look here. Let's raid Hazabella. Let's do it. Looks like he's doing some kind of raid or trial or dungeon or something. So I probably won't be able to watch too much, but I will throw you into his channel. Buttery voice, man. He does have a nice voice, doesn't he? He's a he's a handsome he's a handsome man with a good voice, that guy. So I will raid you guys in Tazabella. Go give him some love. Go uh go give him some follows and stuff. Go chat with like Heaven Sword stuff with him. I'll stick around for a little bit, but it looks like he's in the middle of something, so just make sure that he knows that I don't want him to stop what he's doing to accommodate for me. Like he should just carry on. I'm gonna say it in the chat as well. I'm gonna be like, don't stop. But sometimes he probably won't listen to me. He'll be like, Oh, I need to talk to you and stuff. But if he's in the middle of something. Make sure he stays in the middle of something and I'll just lurk. I'll go grab my food and stuff like that. Uh, and then I'll come back when he's at a more appropriate time or something. Yeah, I'll sc I'll scroll down and stuff. Yeah, I'm scrolled down already. Like, uh, like I'm scrolled down already. But um, yeah, I don't want him to like have to be like, oh shit, I need to stop my dungeon or whatever he's doing. Because he looked like he was in the party. Okay. So I will go in. I'll throw you guys in there. Feel free to uh, put some emotes and highs and goes and hearts and all kind of good stuff in his chat um even if you're going off to do something else right now if you're going off to watch another stream if you're going off to do anything else if you're going off to make some food just chuck a little uh message in his chat before you dip out that would be greatly appreciated um and yeah i'll see you guys friday for cooking stream okay i'm gonna chuck the recipes in my discord tonight so if you want to cook along with me on friday join my discord and check the news and announcement sections in a little bit i'll post the recipes there the ingredients list and all that stuff um yeah thank you guys i'll see you next stream and in my discord okay as always peace